Hello, everyone. Hello, and welcome to Season 1, Episode 1 of Traveler Pirates of Drynax, subtitle to be determined after they make their characters. And I'm so excited to see everyone here in chat. I am so excited for this cast, this crew, this group of amazing players. I kind of can't contain myself, is, is really what it is. Um, actually, no, I think that's not the right way to say it. I think, I, I think it'd be more accurate to say I'm so excited and I, and I just can't hide it, you know? Mm, thank oh, you. I'm just like, a, I'm about to lose control. I think I like it. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Um, hi everyone. Save it for episode three. Save it for episode three. Uh, you don't know what happened is, y'all don't know what's gonna happen in episode three, but we do. Um, <laughs> there, there might be, there might be stuff. I, I if can't, we make I, it there. I can't tell Right, you. that's true. It's true. Um, so this is the next big epic campaign on the academic foxhole, and we're playing Traveler. Um, I've been really excited recently to sort of revisit games that have their roots in the 70s RPGs that are not Dungeons and & Dragons, and this here is said to be the first science fiction RPG, which I actually don't think it is. I think Metamorphosis Alpha is, but nonetheless, nobody knows it. Metamorphosis Alpha didn't go anywhere, but Traveler uh, started back then, and it is still going strong all these decades later, uh, and it is the RPG where, famously, you could die in character creation. Um, we are using the Mongoose Second Edition version, where you where dying in character creation is optional. <laughs> and we will not be currently taking that option, although I'll just oh. remind them if they did die. Uh, we'll just let them know, hey, this would be where you would die. Just, you know, as a... <laughs> but no pressure, no pressure. No pressure, just, just for funs, you know. for funsies. Um, however... I like permain characters, so... Yeah, you know... Bring it on. <laughs> bring it on. But you can get maimed, um, or uh, people might target you for assassination. Bad things can happen for you. You know, it, it's possible. I mean, I'm, I'm game for a good maiming. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, on board. I'm a part of the maim game. Oh, the maim game. The maim <laughs> game. Sorry, uh, that's, a, that's, that's the... That's, that's, a, that's, that's a throwback. It is. It's the song I sing um, whenever we get subs. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and resubs. I sing, the, I, sing, I sing the name game, and so now it's in my head. Still? Yeah, I do. Every yeah, day. all right, there we go, everyone. I, I do it. Um, so, this is going to be amazing. We are playing... Uh, an epic sandbox campaign called the Pirates of Drynax, which is hanging out over there somewhere. But uh, it's a sandbox, which means who knows what these players are going to do. Really? I don't know. I know how it's going to start, but uh, <laughs> who knows where it's going to go. Um, this is a campaign that I like to think of this as a, it was created like in, you know, 74, 75, 76, 75, I think. And um, it's got that kind of vibe of a serious sort of hard-ish science fiction that you would get in the mid to late 70s, uh, which means... Um, it's sort of serious. Um, the player characters are like average Joes in space that have to deal with sort of like uh, overwhelming and large things. But it is not that kind of super grim reboot style that you would get in the 2000s. Um, like things are just, I don't know, the uniforms are nicer. I don't know. Like it's, <laughs> it's, it's got that 70s uh, rated R sci-fi uh, more than that like peak TV sci-fi where everybody is, I don't know an alcoholic and dead. I don't know. Uh, but I'm very excited for it. Look, look. Peak TV. Peak TV. Everybody was an alcoholic and dead. It, you know. Uh -huh. or they, I mean, I'm not the arguing. Days. I'm just reacting. That, that's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> those were the days. <laughs> but you know. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm watching this show. The main character's dead and also an alcoholic. And also they're having, having a really complicated relationship with someone who's also dead. That's why I don't watch TV anymore. I can't stand that. Yeah. Like, I'm stressed out enough as it is. I don't need all, I get way too invested with all of this. But also there's a moment where you're like, okay, now it feels like it's a bunch of Frank Miller just being a little bit excessive at this moment. You know what I mean? You're like, come on now, come on. Uh, but we're here for this and I'm very excited. Um, so I would like to go around uh, and have our amazing cast introduce themselves because this is amazing and um uh greg is that my do you have my buddy oh my gosh no oh, i didn't oh i didn't have my buddy <laughs> until rock but, at the but you do now don't you? It. <laughs> and now oh. i've got it so uh, my buddy and me catchy isn't it <laughs> yeah so i just oh, yeah. feel like i'm gonna need to tell the chat what's going on a little bit in the green room right now this cast, who I just said was amazing, and they are, are having some references, and Rocket Fox understands 
um, an earworm. And as just noted right yes, there in chat. She gets it. My buddy, my buddy, wherever I go, I go. he, he goes. goes. <laughs> if you know your 80s commercials, you'll know you'll know my buddy. I that's all I know. And that's also, how I've gotten this far in life. Kid sister was the was the other one. Yeah, look. Things are gonna be happening on this show, probably around episode three. Don't don't ask what, because you'll find out when we get there. Um and <laughs> I didn't get that reference because I'm as old as George Costanza. <laughs> So. Oh, oh, I didn't tell you the thing I was going to tell you uh, in pre. Um, there was all this complaint about uh, Marissa Tomei playing Aunt May being, like, too young and hot to play Aunt May. But, like, she was the same age as Wilmer Brimley in Cocoon, too. Like, she's, like, she looks young, but she's not young, right? To like, be fair, Wilmer Brimley just, like, always hopped out of the womb old this, you know this is me yeah he had a mustache as a baby it was weird uh, yeah. like nobody knew baby stash <laughs> yep <laughs> <laughs> so i would love for this crew uh to go around and introduce yourself um and i i would like to have some kind of opening question when you do your introduction uh, but you don't have characters yet. So uh, I would like you to say who you are. Um, we'll do like where we can find you at the end, but like who you are. And then um, one of your favorite sci-fi films or TV shows, but not from the 20th cent 21st century. So before 2000, like something, give me your, your fa one of your favorite throwback sci-fi things. And I would like to start mm, 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 with Ari. Throwback sci-fi. I only have one, so don't take it. Wait, with me? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hi, guys. I'm Ari. Um, I was literally just Googling to figure out when my show dropped because I don't know when it dropped oh. because um, surprise fact about me, a lot of my pop culture references are things that I acquired much later in life. So there are a lot of shows that I love that I discovered later. And I don't know if this favorite show of mine um, applies to the criteria we have set, but it's Firefly. And I love it so uh, much. That was it. That was it. That was all I had. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Cord. That was a one. <laughs> It's such a good show. Oh, so good though. I just love it so bad. Like, um, I I actually collaborated with Tony Beeman to decor to um direct an improv show like based on Firefly and Cowboy Bebop and like that sort of like oh, nice. space westerny. Yeah. So like, I love it so bad. Sorry, Myth. I apologize. But Whatever. It's also, fine. I'm killing it your character. Personal. I in knew this, it. I'm, <laughs> I'm killing your character in in character. <laughs> I'm maiming you. All I'm right. taking you down with me, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'm maiming you. So, for the record, because <laughs> some people flat. have reminded me that, like, it's apparently 2022, and uh, 2000 was what? 22 years ago. I don't I don't I understand think. anything that you're saying right now. Me neither. Uh, you can go to 2010 as your cutoff. So, like, just not in the last 12 years. That's That'll be my, my adjustment, because apparently... I don't know if that changed anything. <laughs> Well, um, I also don't know if that changes anything, but you know. So what I'm going to do is because I think this will be hilarious. Uh, I'm going to go to Greg next, and we're going to go with to Miss Myth last because I think if I'm if I need if, some time. No, no. If we're lucky, you'll come up with another one, and then somebody will take it in the meantime, and it'll happen right, three times true. in a row. I don't know if anybody's going to take VR troopers. But we'll see. <laughs> well, Greg, if they do, it's a lot of maiming you're going to have to get to. Hot, hot, Greg. VR troopers. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> No, hi everybody. My name is Greg. I've uh, Grimjack two one five zero two. Um, I love being here on Foxhole Fridays with the fantastic community that is uh, Troopers Academic Foxhole group and friends. Can't wait to play with everybody here. And I am going to throw it back to nineteen eighty, I believe, was the year, and a little Flash Gordon. Um, I to this day love that movie. Brian uh, Bless. <laughs> Well, Gold Gordon's alive. alive. <laughs> uh, um, the costuming uh, it alone is epic in that in that show. So, anywho, uh, that's mine. Flash Gordon, everybody. Greg, he saved every one of us. Greg, water yes. is leaking from her eyes. <laughs> Wait, 
Bring out I the ball. I haven't changed. Worms. I haven't changed. Bring out the <laughs> ball worms. No, not the ball worms. Yeah, just and then like when she like uh, when Dale Arden cartwheels through all of the laser blasts. Yeah, yeah, so good. I mean, come on, right? Right. I, mean, I, I don't know how else one would get through laser blasts. I'm just yeah, saying. you're not running. You have to cartwheel. And I will tell you, I had such a mad crush on Timothy Dalton as Prince Baron that uh, he was like my favorite Baron. Bond until you know <laughs> the more recent one. Like, now that I've been reminded of this, like I really want to make sure that my character can cartwheel through some glass in this show. Like, assuming I survive <laughs> to that point, either to if that you're point, you're not main, you can do point. it. Yeah, I don't know. You're I mean, what if that's the one thing that keeps you from surviving or being non maimed? Yeah, worth it, it. it's 100 percent worth it. <laughs> Man, they have glass all they glass in the eyes and the mouth. <laughs> I don't know what happens. The oh my goodness. Um, because again, we want to make sure that whatever myth might take might be taken first fox because it's just trolling hello everyone uh vr troopers i think <laughs> um so <laughs> hi everybody i am rocket fox and it is so good to be back back with trooper back with all of these amazing people who i've had the wonderful opportunity to play with all of them in various different places and i can tell you right now this is going to be killer um, yeah, and otherwise, you can find me. I have partnered with CyberNation Uncensored, where I'm producing a couple shows, one of which is this Sunday morning, starting my uh, show called Morning Play Cafe. It's going to be chill. It's going to be relaxed. I'm going to be playing Minecraft. I might yell on occasion. Who knows? To find out more, come and watch. Um, and yeah, I think, so for a bit um, I want to say the old Dune, not because I remember all of it, but because Sting in a Speedo, I mean, yo, that's, you can't ignore that. Um, but I do also want to say it's, I hate to go for the low hanging fruit, but I grew up on Star Trek Next Generation. Like I, since the moment I could watch a TV, like I, I watched all of them. Like I, I will be honest up uh, used to play star trek in the basement with my dad nice. i was the captain of course um so so yeah that one holds a very special place but no one knew back then but now it's so cool <laughs> <laughs> now, it's a, now it's a proud thing but now no everyone realizes then. how cool it is yeah yeah it was a remiss memory to run hey it was like uh twilight zone in space fantastic oh now you just remind me of twilight zone oh golly okay myth uh, I'm just gonna say, by the way, VR troopers. Go ahead, myth. <laughs> Thank you. Um, hmm. What was the criteria one more time? Uh, your favorite, or at least one of your favorite, or at this moment, your favorite sci fi show pre 2010. Pre 12 years ago. Yes. Show. Or film, whatever you want. Okay, okay. Um, Open. Um, Dune. Can I do that? Yes. My, right. deep, my name is a killing word. I figured it out. I, all right, I saved it. So Dune is my thing. Hi, everyone, because I was going to just verify. Um, uh, and Dune counts, I guess. But uh, hi, everybody. I'm Mythomatic. Uh, I uh, do a lot of things. I am producer, uh, streamer, performer, blacksmith. Uh, I am the creator of Spellwind over on Table Story. Uh, if you want to check that out, it's a homebrew 5e game that I've been uh, uh, doing for about a year. Uh, it's in my homebrew world. Uh, that I've been doing for like, and I've been writing and thinking about for the past 10 years. So it's been nice to, you know, tell stories in it and to start uh, playing around in there. But I'm super excited to be here. Uh, we did, we had like a, a session zero last week, like a, a pre this, I guess this is sort of our session zero-ish kind of. Um, but we had like a, a zero zero, um, a negative, a session negative one last week and where we got to meet and uh, uh, learn about one another and and to see and you know and did jive and stuff and it's super exciting i'm super excited we all get along really well and it's going to be a really great show i'm super excited it's great i'm excited it's that that's it i've got nothing else to say it's great it's perfect i'm super excited what else do i say hurry trooper help me i'm, I'm saying the same thing over and over so i'm super excited you're glitching you're glitching oh thank you <laughs> <laughs> thank you sorry uh, and i'm trooper super svp and i'll be uh less game mastering and more herding of, of space cats at uh, this crew. I'm Perfect. very excited. Uh, and I'm going to be very honest about my favorite sci-fi. There are many choices. Doctor Who, like all this oh, stuff, you, right? Yeah, that's a good one. But I'm going to go yeah, with 
the most honest answer. V from the 80s, right? V, if you do not know it, it's about aliens who come to Earth as our friends. They only want to help us, you know? Uh, and it, they'll give us cure for cancer, all the good stuff in exchange for like a little bit of water. But as it turns out, you may not know. They're actually lizard aliens that eat hamsters and also humans. And they're not really our friends at all. And uh, it's, surprise, <laughs> surprise. Uh, and it's amazing. I'm changing my to Doctor Who. I'm Doctor Who. <laughs> I love it. I like, like, like second that stuff. But like, here's the thing that you do not know. There were too many series, huge events, and a TV show, which people said was bad, but I don't care because the TV show had the tallest hair. Do you know what I mean? Like, it was like 1984. The hair was huge. And there was just like, oh, it was like Dynasty, but like, they're space lizard aliens. With, with Mark like a, Singer. Yeah, yeah. And like a, a resistance movement. It was great. It was great. Anybody? I believe you. <laughs> Do not dispute me. If anybody ever wants to know if Michael Ironside ever did anything that was good, yes. check out V. Yes. Okay. Also, I mean, I'm not going to say this was good, but he was in um, that movie uh, Hunter Adventures in the Forbidden Zone, which was a... Holy an, shit! Uh -huh, which was an exciting sci-fi film in 3D. Uh, and he was the bad guy. Uh it was when 3D was really exciting for a moment, and the 3D always looked like, oh, we have to do something in 3D. Look over there. You know, was that? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it was that moment. That's how it should be done now. Yeah, oh, Buckaroo just... Bonsai, too. I oh, that yeah. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Friday the 13th, 3 in 3D. Yeah, there was just, you know. A... Mm. But we are doing our, this is the session where we're going to create characters because uh, you should create characters together in Traveler. Uh, and hopefully nobody dies. Although, I mean, it is it is possible. Not, it's uh, actually yeah. not possible. But uh, there is an option to have everybody be dead, which we're not going to take. Although, I'll just I mean, I just want to know if I'm I would have died, it. my choices would have been detrimental. If I do die, I'm a clone of who I died from. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, I like <laughs> that. Um, I like that idea. So, I'm going to tell people winning. who don't know a little something about travel and what's going to happen, so we can find out who who we all are together. So, Traveler is a, is a setting. Uh, I mean, it's a system as well as a setting, but in this setting, humans uh, left Earth to go off into space, to go and become like the great explorers, like in Star Trek, you know? They go where no one's gone before, exploration, and when they got out there, there are humans everywhere. Everywhere. There are vast empires of, of humans all across the galaxy. And the galaxy's been around for a really long time, and they've got all their stuff going on, and the people from Earth, which we'll call the Soleimani or the Terrans, are like, what, huh? And everyone's like, who are you? Oh, you're from that little backwards place that nobody goes to and has thought about in, like, ages. Weird. Uh, huh. Um, and so, but that was thousands of years in the past. Uh, there is, this is a world where some kind of ancient, ancient alien species seeded humans throughout the galaxy. And there are humans and aliens have also uplifted animals, and so there's all sorts of uh, beings out there. But it's a place of massive multi-system empires that rise and fall. And we are currently taking place in the third imperium, which is like the the rate of the the third the third empire so there's the big large space. There was many that has come and gone and we are here in this space. Uh, but our story takes place starting on the planet of Drynax. Well, specifically the floating golden palace above Drynax. In this world uh, you have, at this moment, two very, very large, large space stellar interstellar empires that are um, right next to each other and a little tense, a little bit of a tension between them. The third Imperium uh, and the Aslan Hyret. And the Aslan are sort of like lion creatures, lion beings, and the third Imperium is mostly sort of human. Uh, and they are these massive empires. And in between these massive empires, there's a strip of space called the Trojan Reaches, um, a couple other sectors. And it's a trade space. People come back and forth. They trade. These two empires trade through these two, um, through this space. Now, some time ago, about 200 years ago, uh, the planet of Drynax was a very successful and... Um, it was, it was its own kingdom. It's like an interstellar kingdom. They had multiple planets that, that fell under Drynax. It was a place known for being 
exceptionally technologically advanced. They had technology that people still at this moment don't even have. Uh, they were a place of, uh, of learning and of trade and of the arts, uh, and so much so that they had this like giant floating palace, right? It was this massive palace all in gold that was on a, an anti-grav platform above the planet of Drynax, and it was where uh, the, the nobles and everyone would come in there. It was like this really amazing place, and um, some of the m best scientists and um, best artists were all here on Drynax. And they were able to do this because... Um, you know, those two big empires had to go through their space in order to trade, and they charged tariffs, as you do. Uh, and that generated quite a lot of income for them. And at some point in time, they may ask for a little bit too much. And the Asin Hirate just destroyed them. Just, like, came in, was a bit tired of paying tariffs to fly through their space, and bombed their planet to oblivion. Um, but they did not bomb the, the floating palace. So Drynax now is a bit of a husk of a planet. There are still people who live on this planet, though she's sort of irradiated and very little life can live there. The people who live there, the sort of the Drynaxians who live there in that space are sort of a, a bit Mad Maxi sort of folks, you know what I mean? Uh, and they live on this place. There are not a whole bunch of them, but most of the people uh, who were in Drynax all now live in the Floating Palace, which has been turned into what was once a palace is now sort of a city. Uh, and the the entirety of what was once Drynax live in this palace. All uh, what was once a grand ballroom is now like a, a space for little shops and, and little homes. Um, and everyone is there um, except for those who lived on the, on the planet. Now, having been destroyed and all the planets sort of lost to them, um, they have been in this sort of dormant space for over 200 years. The current king of Drynax, uh, there was some issues with food and they ended up they, there's a new planet. They have a new planet. It's an, an agricultural planet. It's quite small. Um, that they have taken over, but they kind of liberated it from some kind of some kind of gross folks, and it's now under the. So now you have two planets, one of which you can't really live on, too well, and a floating palace. And the king of Drynax has an idea. Well, his daughter, the princess, has an idea, and that idea was: we need to make ourselves big again. Uh, we need to revive, because all this technology we have doesn't really work, and we have no infrastructure with which to build all of these things. Um, and not too long ago, they found something, something important. They found one of their old spaceships, the Harrier. It's a Harrier-class ship, and it is a ship that was used to rule the skies. And this ship was well, pres <coughs> well preserved. I mean, it's over 200 years old. What, what can you do? Uh, one of their last ships, uh, and they, of course, could not build something this grand and amazing and impressive now because they don't have the infrastructure, but they found one and it works. And so the royal family came up with an idea, mostly the princess, who's quite the tactician. We will gather a crew and we will give them this ship. This ship has not even been seen anything like this in 200 years. What we will have these people do, who will be, perhaps they're loyal to Drynax, who knows? We will have them be privateers. The king will issue them a letter of mark that will authorize them legally by the authority of the king of Drynax, who nobody recognizes anymore, uh, to... Um, confiscate goods from ships coming through these spaces and the idea being that this will give money to Drynax which will allow them to rebuild but also if there's piracy in this area well and then Drynax is able to stop the piracy well then clearly we should be recognized as a place again and in the meantime our privateers might want to go and try to make contact with the planets that had once been part of the Drynax uh, Empire and get them to become all these unaligned and sort of miscellaneous places and get them to sort of join together and that hopefully if they can do this subtly enough, quietly enough, by the time the two big empires that have their, that are breathing down the necks of Drynax realize what's happening, they'll have no choice but to recognize Drynax again. And so, although the letters have not yet arrived, our crew right here are going to be four of the people asked, 
and charged with this great responsibility of becoming privateers to help rebuild Drynax. And hey, if you're successful, you all might become dukes uh, and have your own spaces, right? There'll be, there'll be quite a bit of reward for helping bring back Drynax to its sort of greatness and glory. Uh, so that is where they're going to step in, but we need to find out where they started. So we're going to do character creation. And <clears throat> the first step in character creation is, tell me what your name is. Let the naming begin. Let the naming, the naming begin. <laughs> the naming. The naming and then the naming. Menomina. Menomining. Do, 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 do. I would love I would love some names. That's what I would love. G give, give me some names. I think I'm going to be Severance. Mm -hmm. For no reason. Yet. Okay. Okay. But then we'll figure that out. Right? Right? Together. Yeah. Together. Maybe. 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 There we go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Auntie thank Mame you. with an I. That's my that's my cyberpunk character, Auntie Mame with an I. Uh, just Sorry. Or um, without an eye. Or without an eye. Because, because, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Eye patches, piracy. It's oh. important. Um, eye patches are in. They're in. What other names do we have? And I know, Greg, that your character's name is Matchbox 20. I understand that. But, like, just, you know. Right. The 20th clone. Yeah, the 20th clone. <laughs> of Matchbox. Uh, no, my, my character's name is actually Valentine Val Morrissey. Oh. Yeah. Hey, hey, there it is. Hey. Absolutely. Absolutely. Who else do we have? See, I'm I'm actually speaking of the question you had at the beginning. I'm doing a little reach back myself, and uh, I'm going with Harlock. Mm. <laughs> Fox, an I original. Loved, oh, that art style was so good. The long, uh, my heart there. Oh, that's ins an inspiration for my own works as well. Oh. <laughs> I'm just I'm just brought back to anime from the 80s and I'm very excited. Right. Oh yes, uh, as Galfor says though, uh, capes are indeed in. So mm -hmm. capes are always yes. in. People say you don't need capes. I don't know what's wrong with them. They they haven't they worn need... one to experience how in they really are. <laughs> Ari, what about you? I can I can only think of like people getting sucked into jet engines with capes. I'm sorry, that's where my head is at. I'll just pull my head out of there you know and what? put it over here. Uh, Terica, huh? Just get good. I'm just saying, like, if you get sucked into a jet engine because of your cape, you just need to get good. That's all. Like, just be better. I mean, yeah, all right, right. I, I, I will. Learn Maybe from that. part of my maiming process. <laughs> Terica. <laughs> okay, for another deep cut, do you want to know what that reminds me of? What? I, I don't know if you watched Gem the Holograms, but Gem's real name was Jerica. I didn't, mm -hmm. but now I have to, obviously. That's, yeah, that's I mean, the only answer. Because she is both an orphan, Jerrica, whose I think parents were like massively rich and they gave her all this stuff, but secretly she's got these earrings that are also holograms that are connected to a big supercomputer. Mm -hmm. And when she touches them, she turns into Jem, the rock star. And then they oh. uh, solve crimes. Or uh, Alternate identities. I like this. Yeah, this yeah. is already like <laughs> in my wheelhouse of awesome. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, or they, I, I, when they mostly they try to like fight against the the misfits who were the punk rock band, punk new wave band that was trying to get them, mm. and the misfits were cooler. That's just, I, like, I didn't want to say anything outright, but I mean, <sighs> I feel like we all know this is true. This is just all right. All statement. right, you two, shattering my dreams. <laughs> I see this. <laughs> okay, that I just had as of two seconds ago. No, no, but you have to go and see them because <laughs> the artwork is super interesting. Um, so we have names. The next question that you do before we do any kind of rolling or anything like that is, I must ask you, what is your background? And what is your favorite color? What is your, what? Blue, no red. Ah! Um, what is the weight of an unladen swallow? Um, so with your background, this background is kind of give us a sense of like where we, we start, when we start, you'll be 18. But like, where did you grow up? What kind of, uh, what kind of space did you grow up in? Now, when you're sort of thinking about this, there are, this sort of um, typical, traditional, sort of generic things you can think of, like a colony world, or I'm a, on the asteroid belt, or whatever, whatever, right? All those things are open for you, and and 
uh, optional. The fact that we're quitting Monty Python, Max Ryder, lets you know that we're doing old school. If people want to know what it was like in the old school, old school gaming just meant quoting Monty Python. That's it. That's, yeah, yeah. That's, the, that's, for three hours. <laughs> that was it. Um, that's it. That's uh, episode four, right? Yeah. Every, and then, yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Uh, so Cheetos and Monty Python quotes. That's, Cheeto, that's yes, old, that's old school gaming. And maybe Joel. Joel Actually, Joel. it feels really appropriate yeah. for this episode because we're not dead yet. No, you're not dead. Sorry. Oh, I'll stop. Um, <laughs> yikes. I love that. Um, so, for this particular campaign, there are four, uh, three campaign-specific backgrounds that you could also choose besides whatever you're imagining. You could be come from like a. You know what? It, like this, the setting of Traveler has got everything you can imagine, right? They're like high tech city planets, and then they're like super agrarian, uh, clan of the cave bear places. Like it's a wide range of technologies across uh, the universe, the charted space. But there are three specific locations you could also choose to be from if you so desire for this particular campaign. Uh, you can be from Drynax, the floating palace, uh, which is where. Uh, like this, the it is the the seat of where Drynax is, um, and you would sort of like be if you were from there. You grew up in the in the decaying wonders of the Citadel, and with like the history, the glorious history all around you, but uh, not so much growth. Or you could be from the planet Drynax, the waste the wasteland, and you're called a, a Vespexer, which is the people who live there, uh, one of the tribes of people like the sort of these wandering groups of people who wander this blasted surface of Drynax. And um, you are there making that sort of living. Or the third option is you can be from the planet of Asim, which is this minor agricultural world uh, that is the only province left of the kingdom of Drynax. Uh, and before then, uh, Asim was ruled by a, a, a very not pleasant group of people called the foundation very cryptic uh and you know life's a little bit better but you know it's still pretty much a low-tech backwater so those are three sort of uh, specific to the trojan reaches where you're at the drynax area where you're at if you would want one of those backgrounds or any other that you could imagine and i'm going to just start taking some notes uh does anybody have any ideas for where your characters came from uh is there so in our session negative one, uh, I remember you bringing up a, a certain people who have some sort of very strong mental, um, very sharp minds, sharp into other people's minds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Do they all come from a certain place, like a planet, a planet of... Well, they're a massive empire that like is quite dangerous. They're also a bit far away. Now, you can have psychic powers without being Zodani. Uh, anyone can have psychic powers. It is just a bit illegal. I I want to be... Well, wait, I'm sorry. Let me, let me be very clear. It's illegal in the Third Imperium. And you're in the Trojan Reaches, which is not ruled by anybody. So, you know. So, make your own rules is what I'm hearing. That is also um, what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I'm thinking <laughs> I, I, want to, I want to be one of those people, but like kind of... You know, when a, a mighty, mighty empire spreads and they just keep spreading like urban sprawl, uh, kind of in the, the far out suburbs. Mm hmm. Uh, let me ask you, in that case, um, why did you come to this space? You know, there were a lot of, uh, not a lot of opportunities kind of left in that area. It's like when you grow up in a small town or city and you've done all there is to do you're kind of bored and so you you fly out to the outer reaches of space just to see what uh, there is to offer interesting okay yeah so you it's came like in from the, from the sort of like the <laughs> outskirts of the zodani empire and then you traveled quite far to come to this sort of wild west as it were um, Harlock used to enjoy very many Zidani westerns um, on the equivalent of the TV. <laughs> I see you. I see you. All right. What else do we have? What else do we have? The planet Drynax is a wasteland? Yeah. Yep. I want to be from there. 
<laughs> I like that that was your first question. Like, oh, make sure like it really it's like really it's not great there. It's like awful. Yeah. I love it. Is it the worst? Is it the I'm worst? There. That's Thank where we're from. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. I love it. Um we'll come back to that. Um Perfect. other two folks. Uh, um are, are you a human myth? Great question. Because Dranax is mostly human, but in this area you still have some. Uh, this area is mostly populated by humans, and then there are the Aslan, because uh, there's a huge Aslan group. And then there's some Varger, which are sort of like jackal, um, jackal people, uh, who also sort of come back around in the area as well. But like the big groups in this area are uh, humans. Maybe a clone. Uh, and a clone of what? I don't know. That's for you. But are you a clone of a human or a the wolves? They're wolves. They're oh, wolves. human, I think. They're yeah. like wolves, jackals, you know? Okay. Wackles, if you will. Um, or jolves. Uh, I think. Um, Jackal human hybrid? I can't, I can't mash that together. Jabba, Jabba, Jabba hybrid? <laughs> I, I, uh, I believe or... it's pronounced Willem Dafoe. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. That's it. <laughs> I got you. That's the one. Thank you. I okay. now I need to play. A, I will be a. Can I be a clone of Willem Dafoe? Yes. Perfect. Um. I don't think you understand what you've just asked, though. <laughs> it's true. I don't. It was a firefight. Um. I think I want. Um. Well, I'm just the, immediately. I'm thinking of like <clears throat> spoilers. <laughs> Matrix. Uh, Matrix spoilers. Uh, content warning. Um. The. Uh. I'm thinking. Uh. You know, like, is it was it the second one with there's like the guy who is in the real world who really acts a lot like Smith, and you're like, is he? What is that guy? Is that Smith? Did he get out of the Matrix? I want to be like that sort of, where he's like, what? Who's he? What is he tied to? That's what I and I think he's like an outcast of a clone, but he doesn't know who Prime is. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, I, I, I'm writing that down. I'm gonna. Um, do you know you're a clone? I don't know yet. May maybe I don't know yet. I'll just we'll we'll, we'll think about that. We'll think about that, uh, and I'm gonna try to get a good yeah. a, a good okay. picture of what the Zadani look like, uh, because I feel like you'll like to see them, and it'll be awesome. Um, it would probably help a little bit. Yes. I, I, I was I, trying to Google it, but I'm getting a lot of different things. Oh, There's a, a vast uh, array. Uh-huh. I, I got things. Uh, they're, they're like, they're humans, you know, uh, but they're, I, I'll get you some stuff. <clears throat> Are you or Greg? Oh, I thank you, sir. Um, I want to be from the, the floating palace. Um, Sweet. I don't think that like, like it's, yeah, I want to be from the floating palace. Kind of like not, obviously there's not really a structure anymore in terms of like hierarchy of things, but obviously there's probably some remnants of it oh, that may still exist to some certain extent. They're still nobles. Like they're yeah. all in there. Like you still have a king. I think I'm and... like a nobles kid. I'm yeah. Like, I'm like a, a noble kid. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Like it's there. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They're, Thank like, you. You still have a whole range of nobility. Now, some of them are nobles who are like, you know, the Duke of the planet of so-and-so, but you all don't have the planet of so-and-so anymore. So <laughs> awkward, uh, <laughs> you know, but like, if you did, if you got it back, you would like, that would totally be your planet, but. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, no. You just um, don't have it anymore. It's uh, it's, it's complicated, but it doesn't negate our circumstances or who we are as individuals and our level of understanding of the world. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Greg. Well, on the opposite end of the spectrum, I think my character is going to be from, was it a sim? The mm-hmm. uh, agricultural world. Mm-hmm. Uh, not uh, the child of a farmer, but the child of a, the person that would basically be in charge of collecting whatever the the local commodity would be. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know. Quartermaster kind of? Yeah, yeah, grain processing, yeah. that yeah. type of stuff, you know, just. Mm-hmm. And um, it, so it's not even, it's not even like, fun farming i mean i grew up on a farm but it's it's this is the person that just has like yeah they don't really do anything other than count other people's work um and so Um, i think that that's 
that's the, the the conundrum that he had he would have have had uh you know dreaming of a floating palace oh and all of that wonderful yeah, stuff absolutely oh that's awesome all right so with that done we do the easy part we uh roll for characteristics um i would like to note that this is not unlike Dungeons and Dragons, where the kind of scales uh, of like a range of what is a good stat, you know, you might think of like a, you know, like a nine to 12 being very, very good, you know, um, but we're only rolling 2d6 for your stats. Uh, you might get more later, you know, but uh, <laughs> we're rolling 2d6. Um, what I would like you all to do is, if you don't mind, uh, roll 2d6 six times and then there'll be a secret seventh time. Uh, your, let me pull up a, a, a character. Well, it's sheet. not a secret anymore. Well, it's, I know it's not a secret anymore. Actually. Do you want us to roll one at a time, and then we can all go around and see what our first number is? Um, I want you to roll. Or do all you want us to just spam? And because you can decide where you want to put them. Mm. So, so that so that's an important moment. You have you have the agency to decide, and you have three, um, you have three. Physical stats, strength, dexterity, and endurance. And then you have three social stats, intellect, education, and social. Uh, social is like your social standing. Um, and just so you know, there are no hit points uh, in this game. Okay. Um, there aren't. Uh, what happens is you start taking damage. You take it off of your endurance. And then, uh, then your strength and dexterity. And, you know. So violent. So yeah. violent. <laughs> Ooh, a three, nice. Uh, I'm yeah, that three is wonderful. That is. Uh, <laughs> write your stats down somewhere. We're gonna write. We're gonna all roll our last seventh stat. Yeah. Together at the end. Um, Which I, may or may not be what I think it is. Right now, I'm gonna note this. I'm having a house rule. The house rule is forty-two. If what you have rolled does not equal 42. If you add them all up together, you can bump something up until you hit 42. That's the average of the rolls. So if you like roll all threes, you're gonna be able to bump it up a as you as you wish. Uh, because, you know, I'm like trying to be nice and friendly before all the bad stuff happens. I mean, what? <laughs> what if I get weird and do it this way? What? I just, what? I, what? I didn't, I didn't even, what? How? Can I do that? One of each, right? Yes, uh, that is true. Except that it's minus, you have a minus three on it. Ah, uh, balls. So add three to each one of those. Okay. That's not bad. Right? Because if you if you hit the, if you hit your character sheet, because you have a zero yeah. in it currently, it has a minus yeah. three mod. So whatever yeah. you roll, if you do it that way, you Damn. can just add three to what you have. Okay, thank you. Now, while you're doing this and you're rolling your dice, as this is happening, I thought I'd just share uh, a couple things to you know to think about, uh, so that you know what these things are. Your endurance is your is your main hit point, uh, although I suppose theoretically you could lose other things as well. You know, there's a lot of ways to lose things, um, but intellect is smart. Education is like how much book learning you have. Social is your social standing, like your social rank. Uh, strength, dexterity, endurance. I feel like those are fairly, fairly um, transparent. But before you decide 100%, I will let you know that if you want to get into certain jobs, you need to qualify for those jobs. Like if you don't have really good endurance, you're not going to be able to be a Marine. It'll be very hard for you to qualify for that job. Um, if you want to be a noble, you're going to want high social, right? So like different sort of career paths want different things. So keep that in mind. And let me ask, Greg, what are you thinking? You rolled first. Tell me what you're thinking. I don't know. The rolls aren't great. So, uh, <laughs> well, you got That's some okay. tens and nines and sevens. That's pretty good. Right, 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 right. That's your secret roll will be a good one. Let's see. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I'm really leaning towards, because I've been playing, I've been going fighter heavy recently. Oh, yeah. 
um, I'm really, really leaning towards uh, either scholar, mm -hmm. rogue, or like administrator slash diplomat because mm -hmm. that would be the the goal to get off the planet to yep. blah blah blah. Yeah. So one mm -hmm. of those three, I think, and I qualify for each of them or can if I need to. Yeah. And so I would say, because uh, you all have the book, you know, peruse which careers you might you might be interested in because that could uh, give you some insight of where you might want to put those stats. Uh, you know, just to to ponder it as as we go. Uh, diplomat, of course, we'll see if you if you uh, if you get into the career. I mean, that's always a question. Myth, what about you? I can put these stats obviously wherever I want, but can I just put these right into the? Can I just plug them right into the, the total and character sheet? Yep. Okay, cool. I didn't know if that was going to adjust anything weird. Um, let me take a look at this one more time. Um, what am I thinking? Wow. This was not what I was expecting this character to go. So I have intellect is at seven. My souls are... I'm just completely making this random. Oh, yeah, um, you went so down like, the line. Mm -hmm. I just went right down the line. I'm not even picking where these things go. Mm -hmm. um, so three. education... Yeah, yeah. But my education is at 11. My social is at 12. Mm -hmm. My intellect is at 10. Interesting. I don't know. I really don't. Um, I think, um, and you said the, the career paths are in the book. Mm -hmm. Let me mm -hmm. take a look at the book. Uh, now, see that what... sounds, now I'm going to note something just for the record. Um, the Navy is pretty intellect heavy. Um, because the Navy involves like a lot of piloting and astrogation. It's a, it's a kind of an intellectual service because there's a lot yeah. of, uh, so people are like, Oh, the military, that's me all like, like super hua. Like, right, right, right. But they're more about space. Navy. Yes. Uh, they're the ones who are like manning the Cleaning ships. The ships. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, Chad MB notes that the Navy is also more status conscious. And that is, that is also true. That is also a true statement. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, mm. Also, what about our other two folks here hanging out? What's going on with your stats? Oh, I need to roll those. Yeah, um, I, I was like, I was reading a book. I was doing all these things. Yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking like thug, crazy pirate man, but now I'm like, okay, this changes things. I think that was math. What are you doing? What is that? Oh my god! I oh, I needed to put the negative oh. three on there. Oh no! Why did you put the did negative three twice? there? Oh no, you didn't need to do the negative. That was just me because I was. I was doing yeah, weird. don't put any negative threes anywhere. Okay, ignore all of those rolls. <laughs> you got it. There's, you don't need it. Was... It's just a two d six. Oh my gosh! Okay, here we go. <laughs> I was the one who was making it weird. That's better ish. Mm -hmm. Oh god, better ish. One, yeah, two, three, four, five, six. That. Remember, if what you've rolled is below 42, you can bump something up until your total is 42. Because a 42 is your is like is basically is basically average. And that's a house rule, but like, you know, so you know it. I I, I like definitely it. appreciate that because I, I I'm gonna add these up, but you guys my math is shit, but uh eleven <laughs> twenty one like below that. 32. So I think you got 10 points you could put somewhere. Sweet. We're going to bump some of those threes up, probably. Mm -hmm. And everybody check to make sure your total is uh, 42. Lord. I'm also pulling something down right now that I will let you know about in a second. Uh, what about you, Fox? I'm thinking... Hmm. I actually... I... I rolled my dice with my hands. Uh, so, hands? Um, what are those? I know, uh, right? I Well, I, before placing them, I was looking kind of at the career path that I might, if things go well, uh, want to follow. And I'm thinking, I'm kind of thinking agent, mm. which would also take somebody kind of away from their mm -hmm. home area and something that uh, someone of my people might be good at mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um yeah so i'm thinking that As we were which i think is probably more on the intellect side i will also note that uh, for the record 
um, in this particular game, there will be a set of skills that as a group you will get access to at the end. So that if nobody has piloting, someone will have piloting. Oh, good. Because like, we're all in the ship and no one can fly it. <laughs> because you know they they do they do care and they do want to like you know. Um, so it's it's not going to be a nose goes situation. No, it will not because they're like, hey, everybody make your character find out what happens, and at the end, if nobody has piloting, somebody like there's like a little like a little pool of skills, and somebody each somebody will get to each get one uh, that might be necessary or needed. And you know. And by the way, I'm looking for something for, um, for Fox. That's what I was looking for. Fox, if you're going to be Zodani, uh, I'm going to tell you something about them. Uh, let me see. Oh, good. <laughs> well, you know, you might, you might want them 253 and I'll, I'll drop it in the, in our, in our box for you as well. Uh oh, something happened to me on the screen. I don't exist anymore. I see you. Where, 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 where? Then I don't know. Yeah, when you um, when you had the PDF or something, oh, it did... was pick. It was taking an overlay oh. of the monitor and not the. Oh, that's software. weird. Well, we don't want that. Oh my god! I've turned into a PDF. Don't be yeah. a PDF. <laughs> That's no fun. We don't, we don't want. It's all part of character creation. You have to go yeah, with this it. Is, this is just the way it goes. You know. Sometimes you turn to a PDF. That's sometimes. the option we chose today. We, we, <laughs> we're not going to. We're not going to kill off one another, but we can turn to PDF. Yes. We knew somebody. Hey, was I made these choices. I will live with them. We needed a doc character. <laughs> Our lock is gone. It is now a Matchbox PDF. And that's, <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> we have those choices. Um, okay, so have you all decided where you want to put your initial stats and have you all made sure to check that you equal to 42 minimum correct i'm almost there i'm super close and while you're doing that i'm still like vamping i need to get access to my desktop because there is a file there that i need to have access to oh I can trooper where did you drop stuff for me well i haven't dropped it for you yet oh that's why i'm not seeing yeah, it that's why never mind i take it. it back but i but i will i just don't have it yet here and where is it m here uh, 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 um, here we go uh 253 i'm pulling this up so i can give you some info when you need it i think i may be a merchant Oh, yeah. I'm angling or at least angle. start. By the Do way, noble fox. Yes, your education cannot be higher than your society. Well, I'm. That's that was to check on you. Make sure you're paying attention. I was just about to change. No, no, those. no, because <laughs> that's how Zodani are. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. you are, your education is limited by what your social status is. For oh, the that makes sense. Okay. Let me switch these around then. Just, just noting it. That's, that's part of their, their thing. Do you want our stats when we have them statted? Um, hold them as a surprise, but let me know when you're done. Uh, I'm not surprised. Will... Uh -huh. My surprise is ready. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think so. Take a look at it and see if I'm trying to do sneaky things. I mean, maybe you are. Because uh, it's I, me and odds are real good. I, I doubt it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that looks good. Um, okay. And that, that, it, that adds up to 42? I think so. 16. I, double check my math for the love of God. Is it 14, 28, 37? Yes, it does. You were good. Um, now, because we have a Zodani here, I'm going to need you to do something for me, Fox. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what's your uh, education in social? Uh, I'm 
just staring at them. They're staring at me. Oh, you haven't decided yet. Now you just you have to wait. And you you said uh, social's higher than education, yeah? It has to be because um, okay. we're that way as a society. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'll go back to this. Okay. Yeah, got a little bit of class thing going on. I'm ready. What was the question again? Initially, uh, what's my education and social? Yes, please. Uh, my social is 11. My education is nine. Okay. Um, Hi, Rex. <laughs> could you please roll? Yes. Two dice. Okay. Done. What number did you get? Uh, eight. If you will go to the powers tab of your character sheet. It has psionic strength. Ooh. Eight is your rating. Hey, all right. Because Zodani are all tested for psionics immediately. Many people are never tested, but they're immediately tested. Um, and let me see if there's anything else I need to let. Let you have an eight. It's fine. Fine. Uh, and what is your social standing? Uh, 11. Did you say the eight is the strength level yes. or the? That is the strength. The strength level, okay. Um, um, but okay. yeah, 11 was the social. Just so you know, you are a noble within Zojani society. Um, kind of, you're the lowest of the nobles, but you are you are a noble at the moment. Just- no, I'll take it. Take it. Um, so their own titles. So, and really, um, Proles do not get psychic training. So luckily for you, you have enough of a social standing to be able to get psychic training. Because Yay. otherwise you would not have. Uh, uh, yeah, so just just note it. All right. Next things next. Everyone's got their stuff settled? settled? Yeah. I need everyone to roll 2d6, and you're going to have to write it somewhere in notes somewhere, because I don't want you to forget it. I, I'm going to adjust the character sheet so there'll be a space for you. Is this our secret one? Mm hmm. Greg, please note seven. Oh. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I hope it's good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. This is your luck score. <gasps> oh. Yay! Oh, yay, you guys. Oh, good news. Oh, oh no. <laughs> um, we are adding the characteristic luck. And this is how it will be working. So you can use luck for two things. Basically, it's going to be used for two things. You can spend luck points to um, increase a roll if you need to. And then the luck points will refresh at the beginning of the next episode. So that's nice. Um, also, if you need to know if you're lucky or unlucky, there will be, you know, luck rolls will come into play. Um, for example, like if someone's going to hit with shrapnel, you roll luck and see... Who gets the worst role? They get it with a shrapnel. That kind of a thing. Um, or who might be like, who might be the winner of the, the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes? You know, we could do that thing. Just some luck. Um, however, because no one dies in character creation in Mongoose Second Edition, every term you choose to take after your first, your luck will be reduced by one. Perfect. So if you decide to stay in for a gazillion years, your luck is not lucky. You your luck diminishes with age. Love it. So that's a thing to note. Note you have your luck. All right. That needs to be an album title. Your luck diminishes with age. <laughs> Matchbook 20's new LP. Uh -huh. right. I'm sorry. Your uh, luck diminishes with age. The thing is, I don't know what genre that is. I don't know if it's prog or if it's like... I feel like it's... I, I feel like it could be something weirdly experimental. That's... Scott. Yeah. I just... Mm. Okay. Not going to think about that right now, but I'm thinking about it. So, background skills. Ska punk, blues punk, electronica. So, everybody will be able to get, and I, just to let you know something about how skills work. Uh, if you go to the skills category, right, there are a bunch of skills that you can click and then uh, show which ones to show. If you do not have the skill, you do not have it. When you get the skill, you get it at zero, right? So, if you have the skill not at all, then it's just not going to be on there. But if you have it, it, you 
if you attain it, you get it at zero, and then each time you can bump it up a little bit further. So mm. I'm going to name a list of skills, and I would like you to pick um, some background skills. Now, you're going to receive a number of background skills equal to your um, education uh, modifier plus three. So on your character sheet, you'll see what modifiers are attached to what score you have. So like a six, seven, eight, nine, I believe are all, uh, no, like a six, seven, eight are zero modifiers, like a nine is a plus one, like a five is a minus one. Uh, so that is calculated for you. Um, like zero, if you have a zero score, that's a minus three. One to two is a minus two. Three to five is a minus one. Six to eight is a zero. Nine to 11 is a plus one. 12 to 14 is plus two. 15 plus is a plus three. Um, so educations. What are your education scores? Uh, what are your education modifiers? I'll go first. Please. Mine is a three, which means negative one. Uh, you, you have an education of three? That's correct. That's because, yeah, I know where you grew up. Uh, so you've, yep. <laughs> did you, by, <laughs> by the way, did you add up your skills to make sure it's a 42? I did. Okay. <laughs> believe me, believe me. I'm just Several checking. times. I'm just checking. <laughs> I'm just checking. Um, so. I did. Minus one plus three is two. You have two background skills. Um, if you have your book with you, it's on page nine of the core rule book, and they are admin, animals, art, athletics, carouse, drive, electronics, flyer, language, mechanic, medic, profession, science, seafarer, streetwise, survival, and vac suit. So, dearest Greg, two. I could pick two, right? But they added a few more here in the character sheet that I would like to explore. Like, um, but those are not background I think, skills. Ah, uh, well, then I guess I won't explore them. Mm -hmm. um, These are skills that you can get from like the things you would have gained between the years of one and eighteen in your life. Age nine. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And well, um, then you know what? I'm going to go with admin and survival because that only makes sense. I like it. Uh, so then, make sure when you click on your character sheet. Um, It'll, you can say select which skills to show, and then you just click on those ones so that you know that you have them. Um, yes. Um, Ari, what are you thinking? What is your education? My education is eight. Mm -hmm. So you get three background skills. And you want to think what kind of skills would you have gotten growing up? So these like reflect well, your 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 pre pre career life. <laughs> My silver spoon life. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, quasi silver spoon because again, you know, it's t it's tarnished, but it's still a silver spoon. I don't know why we true. have to talk about these things like they don't exist. No, no, it's still a silver spoon. That's true. That's true. Offended. Yeah, yeah. Um, how many like animals go through your former like palatial living quarters? Um. Well, I believe so. Hmm. Like I haven't thought about animals. Yeah. That's a good question because I feel like out of everyone there, nobles would be the most likely to have pets. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And so I could actually see myself being around a lot of animals. Mm -hmm. um, I think language is another yeah, one. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And mm. I'm kind of vacillating between back suit because of like the, you know, Traveling. Um, or art. And I'm leaning more toward vac suit be for a lot of reasons, but also a little bit of metagaming, let's be real. Okay. I, I'm with you. All right. Um, tell me, I just, I want to know though, actually. Um, yeah. Where did you get this vac suit training? Like what in your background, uh, like what were you doing where you were running around vac suiting? Well, I think that my parents were trying to expose me to all of the other, like, um, cultures and civilizations and things like that. And in the process, they were like, you need to be able to survive if shit goes bad because shit mm -hmm. has gone bad in our yeah. past. Can I say that word? Anyway, stuff has gone bad in the past. Yeah. Um, so I think that's kind of where it's coming from of like, yeah. of just overprotective parents taking it a little too far. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Um, myth? Um, you want my education, correct? Yes, please. 11. Ah, so with that 11, I believe that's a, a 
plus one, am I correct? It is. So you have four background skills. And uh, you grew up on the wasteland of, I did. of Drynax. What skills did you gain growing up in this sort of... In this select skills to show which are the ones that are not... Right? Because you, you gave me a list. Yes, and that's list on nine. It's admin, animals, art. I think I made the wrong book here. Uh, this is nine on the, the core rules? Yes, core rule book. Uh, Ma, nine. here it is. Found it. It's on eight for me. <laughs> oh. Um, okay. I have four of these? You do, because you're well-educated for somebody who lives in a very interesting kind of wonder about how you got this education in this sort of miserable place. Did, like, were your parents or were you apprenticed to somebody very important? Homeschooling. <laughs> Homeschooling. But like, it seems like you must or what be... It, or was it bioengineered? Was it bioengineered? Uh, I have some questions about what you're doing on this planet. I with that will education. have those answers when we play the game. Mm. <laughs> I just have questions. I'm I also have of, those questions. Some kind of fancy um, all right. Mm. Know. A weird. Like maybe somebody was hiding you. That's weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I like where this is going. Like, um, it's as if he's part robot or something. We'll see. We'll see about that. We'll, we'll Just, see about that. It's so exciting. I'm, there's there's still the opportunity of me having one bi one bio arm and the rest is a robot. I was I was worried that we'd pass that moment. <laughs> it still can happen. Okay. You can still get there. Okay. Until chat on oh, the, it's, Yeah, it's a robot with a prosthetic arm, but the prosthetic is a human part. Yes. Uh, uh, and they're compl they complain about it all the time. Uh, um, hey, it's like you hold hands. That was draft number one. Um, so I have four of these to choose from. Yes, you do. And so let's go with what you said. Like I was being hidden because that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. In a place where no one's going to look for you. Streetwise. <laughs> Come on. Streetwise. Admin. Mm -hmm. I don't know what profession is. Or carouse. But I think those look good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what I think what may happen, or at least what I'm thinking is for the character, is I'm hoping to become the reason... The, the clone or whatever aside, background aside, I think career-wise, I'm trying to go for merchant, maybe free trader. Yep. So like there's an, there's an easy transition into being a privateer. Yep. Um, and uh, I have a lot of like social face stats. Yep. So like I could also be the face. Yep. Um, we also have uh, an agent potentially, mm -hmm. which could be someone who has been brought in. This is just me thinking about, of course, the narrative or anything else. Yep. Um, that brought in um, to keep and make sure that the group is in line. Mm -hmm. um, and it could be potentially my character's management background in free trading onto why, like maybe, uh, maybe not, because we also have Greg's character who has management background. Well, here's the thing. In we'll being find out like in a bean counter. How you all right, what happens, exactly. Yeah. yeah, so this is this is this part. Okay, so um, carouse, where is that? Where can I read up on that? Uh, that is um, uh, that is the ability to schmooze people quite well. Carouse. All right, carouse. Um, dibs. I have that one too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, so I'm going to do, I'm going to click on carouse. I'm going to click on, uh, what were the other ones I had? I said street. Streetwise. Carouse. Admin. Admin. And profession, I think. And profession, I, I was think thinking you said about. Profession. I did. Uh, and what's how does profession what, and, work as a skill? Yeah, yeah. Well, that profession was... is a large general skill under which mm -hmm. you would sort of choose something more uh, like a specialization, right? What, what is yeah, the. Yeah, so. Um, profession, so, potion making. <laughs> So uh, specialties include, so a, prof a traveler with the profession skills trained in producing useful goods or services. Uh, there are right. many different professional specialties, but each one works the same way. The traveler can make a profession check to earn money on a planet that supports that trade. Um, and so you can sort of earn money that way. Um, 
there are a huge range of potential specialties for this skill every for every one possible profession in the universe, right? Some examples yeah. suitable to a science fiction setting are given here, but you can come up with other ones. So, for example, Belter, mining asteroids for valuable ores and minerals, biologicals, engineering and manif- man- managing artificial organisms. Smuggler. That's not a... That doesn't produce goods. You're producing goods. Construction, hydroponics, polymers, right? So you're thinking about a profession being the building of something, like the creation mm-hmm. of something. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm doing this because it's like hands-on. Mm-hmm. No, thank you. I, now I know you mean profession. Um, thank, before I didn't like know what you were doing. That's right. helping me, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. It's like production labor? Yeah, I'm trying to think of like, what would, if a chemist, like what if I was like a drug dealer mm-hmm. and I was making, I yeah. was making vices for people. Yeah. yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so you I You are have the a, clone that knocks. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Like that could be kind of cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because once again, like looking at it from a meta top down, yep. we have the background yep. of our manager potentially yep. that is going to our quartermaster, who is yep. potentially going to be Greg, because he is a bean counter from the the agricultural land, um, and then we have up in the, <laughs> the uh, um, my planet needs me, and uh, the um, and then we have also like a potential agent. We also have yep. a potential noble, right? Yep. So these are what we're the, the potential of where we may be sculpting this, and I think. What we need is the person who does stuff. We don't really have much of a gunner yet, but that's kind of cool. We'll figure that out. Mm -hmm. We may also just be a bunch of face business people who need to try not to fight. And that could be super cool um, in this game. And I think that'd be sweet. Yeah, so I think what if that was, hmm. Uh, Would you, now the question becomes, what do you want to call this? People in chat are yeah. saying pharmacist. Now, one person says pharmacist without quotation marks, yeah. and one person says pharmacist with quotation marks. Really, you yeah. know, there, 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 there are a lot. Like, of like there's chemist. I mean, chemist can like, well. a, like, a, a, a half, half pharmacist, half specialty uh, a grower, farmer. Yeah, yeah. Of specialty I'm a chemist, goods. but I know how much. Yeah, I also have a grow room in the, in in my in my bunk. bunk. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I'm going to mull over what my profession is. Is mm-hmm. that cool? Can I l- let that simmer? Um, street and, chemist. And yeah, by I the way, Ari, I, neither I, I persuade nor stealth are in the background skills. Oh, okay. So, okay, cool, cool, cool. Never mind then. We're sticking just, with that just, other option. Just, just, I was, I mean, I was uh, looking at the full list. I got so excited. Yeah, the full list comes when you get your careers, you know? Uh, street uh, chemist, uh, says Stormbender. Street chemist is a great way to phrase that. <laughs> that yeah. could be your profession. Essential oil seller. Street yeah. chemist. Yes. Street <laughs> fine. Love it. Uh, Rocket, what about you? What is your uh, my question? Um, my education is a where to go? A nine. So you get since I have a one modifier. Yeah. yeah. So you get four. Um, my question for a profession: What about a uh, creator of tiny ceramic figurines? Is that <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> little precious moments? Little precious moments. I don't yeah. want that. I was just curious. <laughs> well, no, I was just thinking that might be art. That's art. that's true. That's true. It, um, it might be art. I'm thinking I'm going to go with Carew's. I think it might be a profession because it's producing goods. I'm looking at the specialties for art and you have performer, holography, so making holographs. Um, oh, rec- holographs. Recording and producing, aesthetically pleasing and clear holographic images. Uh, instrument, playing a particular musical instrument. Visual media, making artistic or abstract paintings or sculptures. No, see, it would be art. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so I'm thinking Carew's. I'll sell it. I language I, I can push it on anyone the first one's free i only need one oh. <laughs> damn it <laughs> electronics and would art come into play like as far as being able to identify art yeah, like so art historian mm-hmm. be able to i don't know tell the value of certain artworks absolutely <laughs> all right yeah There's so i'll take yeah, absolutely yeah Carew's art language and that's really good we're gonna talk science. people into stealing their stuff 
Okay. I am so on board for this. I'm so very exciting. excited for where we go. Yeah, right? I'm very excited for this. Because I, I am, like, expecting in, like, the go-to, like, space pirates. You think, like, we're going to have gunners. We're going to kick down doors. We're going to go gun and blazing and docking might. ships. But we, we may have to, mm -hmm. but we may not want to, I like, mean, to start, right? Step one is maybe we'll talk it out, which is really exciting. I still haven't let go of that idea. Of being very polite. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm still like, I've got this thing mm -hmm. and I'm like, that actually is kind of, that, the polite that's pirate. not going to happen. So let me ask you, this is yeah, where we're going to get scammers. into it. Um, please write down somewhere. This is going to be very important. I would like you to write down on a piece of paper, um, number yourself like one through each line is each term you're going to take because with each term you're going to sort of age. So starting with term one. Anyone has the option of a per, of a pre-career education, if you like. Um, and since we're using the companion, we have some expanded options for uh, career, like, you know, career options for you. Oh, sweet. Um, so the book itself gives you university or military academy. But um, in, uh, in the companion book, you can also choose colonial upbringing, merchant academy, Psionic community, school of hard knocks, or spacer community. You can just choose. Mm -hmm. You can just choose to be psychic. Um, well, you have to uh, roll. Roll into it. You, right, have, to, right. you have to qualify. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, but you can you be like, not, I'm going to go down that path immediately. You may not get in. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. And if you don't get in, you don't have a backup. You either get drafted or become a drifter. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happens right. is like that's the that's the hard part. That's the hard part. You're, you're like, I want to be this, and you're like, yeah. I'm going to apply to be this, and if they say no, well, well, yeah. Guess what? You're yeah. a drifter. Uh, how would that you're... work with um, me already having a skill in psionics? Would I need to have done psionic community? Um, you don't have to if you don't want to, uh, but you just start force sensitive, pretty much. <laughs> just so, well, you, <laughs> yeah. You start with people knowing that you're force sensitive in a society uh. that will definitely let you go and do that. Um, mm -hmm. Other people may not know. People may have psychic powers, but not know it yet. Do you know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. So they may not get that training at this point in time. So um, I, I love this. Yeah, I love this character creation. Every time I play Traveler, I just get so excited about the character creation. Right. It's so great. All right. I'm gonna try I had to, I had to blow up for a second. You have to yeah, I'm going to try and roll into the psionic community. Um, okay. So if you would like to get into the psionic community, um, I'm psionic going community to, college. to uh, try to get in. <laughs> Call uh, it what it is, please. All right. Apply. Oh, no. Um, I've already applied for things recently. Mm -hmm. Let me ask right. you, what is your intelligence? Uh, 12. Fair enough. All right. You need to roll eight or higher on oh. psionic on your psionic strength okay so roll 2d6 and then you get to add your uh, psionic bonus oh okay your modifier right which is uh do you have a mod i don't i don't think you do right i don't think you're at so nine. yeah no it's it's at an eight it, it, it doesn't show me a modifier at this yeah, point then you do not have one all right mm. Mm -hmm. Let's let's find out if you nine. Okay. Boom. Because here's the thing: you might want to get in, and they just may not accept you. They oh, they're just, going to accept all of this. They just may not accept you. <clears throat> Some travelers I got a nine. <laughs> are lucky to be born into a community where psionics are used, which you were, and will receive testing and training as a matter of course, which you did. Such communities tend to be either psychically or socially isolated, physically or socially isolated from the wider universe or the Zodani space, um, which can leave a traveler without necessary skills when venturing out to begin a career, which may be why you left. It is unlikely the silent community will be among the upper echelon society, unless you're Zodani, in which case you only can be. Um, you know how it is. So this is what happens when you get into uh, your pre-career. your pre -career. You're going to be given three skills. I hope you're ready for it. Uh, yes. Um, by the way, all of you in your character sheet under skills, uh, the skills that you've chosen as your background skills, please make sure you check the button that says trained so oh that, right thank you. so that it is clear that you are trained in that skill and your skill level is zero but you are trained in it <clears throat> harlock 
you now have yes. profession zero, science zero, and streetwise zero. Say that one more time. I profession, heard you and then just. Okay. Profession, science, and streetwise. Okay. Um, how does that, out of curiosity, interact with the background skills I chose? It does not give you a bonus. Sometimes it'll stack, but this one is just like they give you the base if you've not already been trained in it. So if, okay. you, if you want, you could swap out one of your other background skills for one of the other ones that is there available for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we're going to just kind of start to see who gets qualified for what. Um, <clears throat> does anyone else want to take a pre-career education? Or do they want to just jump into their their career life. Where is pre-career? I saw that. It's somewhere here. Hold on to my book. So you can be a university or military academy, um, or you can be um, merchant academy, psionic yes. community, school of hard knocks, spacer community, or colonial upbringing. Can I'm going to go spacer if nobody else is. Oh, I was going to do merchant one, merchant, merchant university, merchant college, merchant Merchant fun times. <laughs> uh, I was also wondering about the spacer community. What's, awesome. uh, what is the spacer community? Well, people who grew up uh, in orbital habitat or asteroid belts, uh, and you live like any of else, like in a high-tech space, but you are, uh, your homes are mostly... Benda. Yeah, you know, you're like, you're, you're living out there in space, and that is where uh, you live in a space habitat. That is where you grew up, um, which sort of makes sense. Um, Cities. I changed my mind. You're my guidance counselor. You've steered me away from that career path. I appreciate it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look, I didn't mean to run you away from the space uh, community. I can choose something else if you would like to be spacey. No, it was uh, Trooper's description of it. I was like, mm -mm, no. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, in that case, well, Trooper's description actually really worked for me, so I'm on board. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so um, what is your... Now, I will just note that your homeworld... Um, I believe you can automatically get in because you grew up on the floating palace, which is super small and tiny, which means you can automatically qualify for the spacer. Um, you get vac suit one. So you're now at one rather than zero at vac suit. And any two of the following, astrogation, electronics, engineer, or profession. You're muted. Yes, I am. What is astrication? That's the ability to plot charts. And if you want to like navigate in space, uh, yeah. especially to go through jump space, be able to fly where you want to fly and not get lost, chart good paths, that is astrogation. Cool. It's like navigation, oh. but in the stars. Uh, perfect. Uh, it's like astro. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, astro what? it's like astroturf. <laughs> But well, also, but also but, irrigation. It's you like know, like turf. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that whole thing. Yeah. Um, so I could choose two. Mm -hmm. Is that right? And they were. Uh, I, I remembered profession and astrogation, and then like the rest left my Ele mind. Electronics and engineer. Awesome. Um, what's the difference? I think I'm gonna go for actually. Hmm. Astrogation is definitely going to be one of them, and I think the other one will be um, electronics. Excellent. Excellent. All right. My other peoples, what do we got? We have two folks here who are pondering pre-career pre education or, um, you know, they just jump in. Uh -huh. I... Um... I want to do Merchant College, but I don't know where I would find that. Uh, that's in the Companion. Okay, I'm in the Companion. Page 32, PDF 31. 32-ish, uh, 31-ish. Uh, so you would, uh, what, is your, what is your social standing? 12. Oh, well then you do not have to get, you, you're, you're, you have to roll a 9 or above uh, on intelligence. I'm a baron, by the way. Oh. Baron Severance. Very nice. I'm very yes. excited about it. I need an int roll from you. You need to make a nine or higher. Okay. No pressure. No pressure. An int roll, mm -hmm. nine or higher. Mm -hmm. 
press the button. Please do. I pressed it. I'm going to press it again. It's not letting me do it. What's happening? Does it want me to... Where is it? Oh, I've got a blurb thing over here. Oh. Submitting. You rolled a nine. I rolled a nine. Uh, a nine you, or higher? Uh, nine or higher. That's what you needed. You have been accepted into the Merchant Academy. Wonderful. I, I'm going to let you know because it was closed. You might not have gone into your school and then you would have been like yes, in well, the Marines. Uh, and then That would have been real cool. <laughs> Immediately drafted. Um, okay, cool. You must now, uh, it's part of getting into the Academy, you must choose yeah. if you would like to follow the business cool. or the shipboard curriculum. Business or shipboard? Mm -hmm. Shipboard being? Uh, doing merchanting in space on ships. And business is just literally trying to make money. Mm -hmm. So if you, uh, if you go with business, you'll get the uh, skills from the broker table and the, yep. of the merchant career. If you get the ship card crippling, you're going to get a bunch of all the merchant marine skills. So like, you know, are you trading on a planet side or are you trading in space? What do you think, Sam? What are we thinking? I'm thinking I like both, but... I feel like in space has... Space is probably going to be good like for the, the whole meta thing. But, yeah. yeah, but then there's also the point of I'm... I, Give me a port so in my, in, in my character creation, in my character's timeline right now, I'm just, I'm such a nerd about this, I'm so sorry. You're so 18. in my character's timeline right now, You're on this, like, I am... Planet. I am, and and now I have the choice in this moment to be off of the planet or stay and educate myself still on this wasteland. I mean, honestly, I think it boils down to a question of how adventurous does your character feel? Because if he's willing to embrace yeah. the risk, he's going to leave. Yeah, yeah. I think there's also a part of me that thinks that value in life, because my character is also a clone, um, thinks that value in life and wants to be validated for his own life. So oh. when he's at his own deathbed, I think he needs to be like, look what I've accrued. You know, those people. I think that I you know, I want him. So I don't know if I want to have made I know that I want to make I know I want him to go to space, but I don't know if this is the point yet or if I want him to hang out and try to learn his streetwise and his money making here planet side mm -hmm. because if we all go to space, mm -hmm. Here's something that's me meta thinking too. If we're all going to space to be politicians in space, what happens when we make planet fall somewhere? And then what? And then what? You know? Then do we are like there's a hierarchy between ships and ship captains and blah 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 blah. But once we land in the station or on a planet side, then what's the politics? We don't have a captain. We've got now. Okay, I think I'm gonna stay on. I think I'm gonna stay on the ground. This is me talking myself into this. All right, I think so I'm gonna stay on the ground. If you're ground, that means you're working at starports. Right, so like you're sort of like on that part mm -hmm. versus like sort of going out into space. Yep. Oh, we'll go to space. It's not yet. Not yet. Not well, because right? because there's also a part of me. Yeah, I think there's also a part of me that's like maybe I am was hired on. We'll see. Okay, never mind. It's a part of the thing. It's All okay. right. Um, I'm gonna do that. What do I do with? I'm okay. doing the, the Are space. You ready? One, not Please, the space one. I'm gonna tell one. you some skills. Mm -hmm. um, you get all of the skills in the broker line of the merchant class, the merchant career path, which means that's because you went to schooling for you. You might just leave and become a merchant marine, but you, you got your schooling. Got it. This. Got it. Uh, so you were going to Oh, I get... just automatically get starter broker. Yes, you do. So you're Sweet. going to get admin, advocate, broker, streetwise, deception, and persuade at zero. And that's on page 34 of the core rule book. But I have admin already, which means I double it and I get a bonus. Not yet. When not double it. Yeah, but I this, from the starting you it just cancels out for the starting okay. part. But once you above okay. that, then you okay. actually boost. Got it, got it, got it. So when I when I go into terms, then yeah. it'll boost. So what are my other ones? I'm sorry. It's admin, advocate, hmm. which is law. Yeah. Broker, streetwise, deception, and persuade. Oh, and debate. oh those are good. It's like law and debate. And uh, deception and persuade. Mm-hmm. Ooh, mm -hmm. yes. Um, I am very excited for this character. I was not expecting to be a face, but I'm very excited to I do so. I need you so. to roll 1d6. Uh-huh. Did it happen? One. You also have the drive skill. 
didn't like that. What right. were my other choices? Don't tell me. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> Greg. Okay, so I too am a huge fan of what we're doing right here, and I am fully prepared since everyone else is, has done really well. That get ready for the dreamer who gets washed out. <laughs> really? <Yeah>. So let's. <laughs> I am oh okay. So uh, uh, <laughs> my guy who's mad about everything because you were drafted early, and right. you're like, oh. <laughs> my my fresh faced eighteen year old who is ready to get off this mud ball yeah, and go to university. Oh, that's so sweet. Since okay. nobody did that, I thought I'd yeah. do university. You should okay. totally, you should totally go to university. And I, I think so. Yeah, and I, I'm ready. You could you roll for me, um, education? Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> education. Yes. Oh, please. love it. You this <laughs> Perfect. Plus. This is a negative one, by the way, uh -huh. everybody. You need to roll higher than a six, six or a higher. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is two d six, correct? Yes, please. Minus one. Love you so much, Greg. Yes. Oh my God, I did it. You did okay. it. Hold on a minute. Buck the odds. Let's talk about this. You have an education. Uh -oh of three, right? Which means you have not gotten yep. good schooling. Sure. And it was your dream to go to university. He's a bullshit artist. If you have an education of three, that says to me that most likely your family, they never went to school. You right. didn't have a lot of people around you who went to school, but you love, wanted to go to university. So much. Why? He didn't want to be where he was, and his family had just enough money to get him where he wanted to be, which he believed was university. Mm -hmm. um, he never wanted to do the work to get into university as far as educating himself when he was younger, but he is an exceptional liar, mm -hmm. and he can present himself as an energetic, enthusiastic, mm -hmm. learned student. And I guess that's what he did. Okay. I board of directors or board this. of admissions. <laughs> so you get to choose. I'm going to give you a list of skills and you get one of those at level zero and one at one. Oh, I, I see two coming in. Uh, I, really? His education is three. His intelligence is nine. Nice. So um, by the okay. way. Um, that's really good. I love that. That is really good. Which increase your education by one, by the way. Oh, hey, I'll take that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, please. Now, of these skills. Still negative one. One you get at zero, one you get at one. Admin, okay. advocate, animals, either training or veterinary, art, any, astrogation, electronics, any, engineer, any, language, any, medic, navigation, profession, or science. Uh, he's going to take navigation. Mm -hmm. At zero or one? Uh, zero. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you what, let's take, uh, what were my, I had advocate, what was right after advocate? Um, after advocate was, oh, you didn't have advocate, you had admin, oh yeah, you did animals, animals training or veterinary, and then art. Okay, yeah, nope. Admin, advocate, animals, art, astrogation, electronics, engineer, language, medic, navigation, profession, science. I'm trying to think of what he would use to be not great. Let's go with language. Okay. And you'd like that at two? Yeah. Okay. Please. Uh, sorry, one. It's at one, right? Because one, yeah, right. Rather zero than zero. Mm -hmm. I believe Ari. Your pre-career? Oh, you went you went oh. psionic. Has everybody got theirs? No. No. Okay, went what did psionic. you? No. What did what did your yeah, choice? Yeah, I already didn't for, do anything. Yeah, you didn't. Make, you haven't made your choice yet. What are you gonna do for pre, pre-career? If you wanted for, a pre-career. Pre-career. Uh, for pre-career, I thought I was doing the space air community. Apps. Oh yes, and you got that, and All you right. have yours. So everyone has theirs, right? I do. Excellent. You know what this means? Now we die. Everyone yes. dies. This is where we lose our hands. Now you all yeah, means it's, it's main time. Main time. Yeah. It's the main game. I need <laughs> each person to roll 2d6. One at a time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Ari? No. Sorry, Not Greg. Are you ready? Sure. Kind of, I guess. Yeah. You're going to talk about what yeah. happens while you're sort of in spacers, sort of. You're training. not supposed to roll doubles in this part. Oh, nice. You become involved in a tightly knit clique or group and make a pact to remain forever friends wherever in the galaxy you may end. Big uh, roll. That's 1d3. Best friends forever or buddies forever? Oh, oh that's so cool. Uh, hey, how do I roll 1d3 uh, one one in here? Okay. And then just cut it in half. Two. You get two allies. Um, and I believe in your uh, prime... Just note it down somewhere that you have two allies. Uh, two allies. Here is your first Biffles. opportunity. They're called Biffles. First opportunity. There is a rule here in this version of Traveler, because this is some group character creation, as it were. You can have one of those people be one of the fellow players. If you do, you both get a bonus. <gasps> So you help Greg. <laughs> <laughs> he did go to university after all. Yeah. Yes. So what ends up happening is that if you share, um, if you both have something, if you can sort of build this into each other, one of your, if you build an event, any of the events that you get, because we're all doing our events right now, if you build one of the other players into your event, then you can choose a skill and they can choose a skill. And they either get a skill or bump up one of those halves as long as you can talk about how that is related. So do I can only choose one other player? I can't choose mm -hmm. two other players. Only one. What if your other uh, your other ally will be a uh, be an NPC that you could just sort of think about who they might be? Okay. Can we turn it down? Yes. <laughs> Not saying I want it. But I'm just saying. I mean, noted, Myth. Noted. Just, <laughs> no thank. Thank you, but no thank you. I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was actually thinking just in terms of where we're at and where we've been at in space and kind of like story narrator arc, um, either Rockette or Greg, because they're actually in space. Yeah. I assume, I assume the Academy is somewhere in space. Mm -hmm. Although I'll also note that Myth's character is on the planet of Drynax, which you are just also flying right above. Oh, okay. All so right, so I'm in the area. Yeah, I'm, 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 like you're, I'm like, in the vicinity. And there's a lot of trade between the blasted out miserable Drynax and the the floating palace above. Hmm. Okay. 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 Um, I think I'm going to leave this to fate. I'm just going okay. to, uh, I like roll the way you a think. D6 and you're going to be in the order in my screen and that will be the answer. All right, Greg, it's you. <laughs> I love it. Hell yeah. I need to know how you two became so tight that so you have decided that you would like scour the like follow each other around the galaxy, like whatever it is, you would be there to help each other. I want to know what happened. Um and I'm gonna note if two travels two travels agree, then any event rolled for one travel can involve another. Only one travel needs to have rolled a specific event, then you will find more exciting travelers, right? You can link together. It's very good. If an event can be linked between two travelers in this way, they both get one extra skill of their choice. You may gain a maximum of two free skills from, from the connections rule, and each connection must, must be with a different traveler. For each connection you make, you may gain any skill, but cannot bring any skill above level three. So, note who you have your connection have with. It. How does this happen? I think that Ari's character would be everything that my character would mm. have dreamt about noble from the floating palace um you know oh, that's the bridge that's yeah. the you know he bullshitted his way as basically as far yeah. as he could go and you know ari's character's from the the last leg that he can't get to but i have something to throw out because i'm working with this idea that this guy's really not like a piece of shit but like just not really you know like a go-getter um if we get a skill why don't we both pick gambling? And that's oh my how we god, yes! I am so on board for that. And also, like, 
I feel like when we met, you were like, ah, oh, it was like, a, oh, let's, let's, it sounds like you were going for like a status thing. But I think like uh, on my character's side, it was like, oh, man, this guy's effing cool. A All true right. friend. Let's hang out. Yeah, like yeah. like it was like true, like actual friendship. And then it was like, I will die for you, man. Like you back there covered for me when um when like the library lady got all pissed at me and like that's it. Here we are, packed for life. It's like you can hold off librarians. I'm good. And I would say too, uh, building off of that, on three separate distinct occasions, you and I have had to punch our way out of gambling par parlors yeah. that we probably have been cheating in. Oh, and, definitely. Uh, you yeah. know, the stories of, of shiners and drinks shared, and then of course, you know, the educational background. Really he doesn't really care much about that, but um, yeah. And I think for my guy, for Val, it was, oh, this person's from the Floating Palace. But then it was like, this person's fucking cool. And then the floating palace just went away. And so Aww. what's really Aww. cool is you 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 characters have the same background. Yeah. And you also players have the same background. <gasps> ba, ba, ba. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh, I Crazy. will note uh, for the record that I can imagine that this university you study that was probably in the floating palace, right? This is like the like the sure, yeah. where this knowledge is still kept. Now that also means it's that scripted. you also get this third. There's a trio of you. That NPC is also your ally. Mm. Is also Val's ally. You have to decide who. I kind of like no matter who is the one that was hired for whatever this Pirates of Dry Drynax thing is. They're like, oh, but come, my friend, come. Yep. You know, like, but I also have this person too. He's really I cool. feel like he's it, a super was... shitty student. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was totally the case. Where it's like, no, 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 no. It's a package deal. Like, yeah. take it or well, leave I got it. A perf I, got a, I got a buddy who needs who needs a job right now. And yeah, I got a perfect person who needs, who's got this. Yeah, I, I got a perfect person in mind. Take the gambling. And now, Tim, who's the third? I love that. I want to write that down. Who is the, who's the third? Can we, how do you, Greg, how do you feel about the name Gem for our third? I, I love it. If that's what we, we, we earlier spoke of a gem, and I will uh, gladly carry that image throughout this campaign. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It is actually gem. Excellent. <laughs> it is earrings, everything. That's rock. I'm into it. Yeah. I love it. I'm so excited. Um, gem with legs. Greg, you rolled. And you rolled an eight. An eight? I did. Is that you die. No. Uh, <gasps> I right, get sorry, out. Sorry. Well, <laughs> it was fun, everybody. So. <laughs> it was great. Oh, my God. No, no, I have to resuscitate him from the dead. He's my buddy. That's a package deal. Package deal. All right. Oh. If he's going, I'm going. <laughs> you can just weekend at Bernie's me throughout the whole campaign. Just... Are you ready? Should yeah, join a political movement. Roll oh, do I? Social. Of course you do. You need an A million. I'm sorry, what was that? I was Roll, making social, a roll society. Roll social. Ooh. Ooh. I actually I'm not bad at this. You want to beat an Eight, you get eight or higher. Oh, uh, well, that's the kiss of death. <laughs> I will know. Plus one is an eight. <laughs> oh. Ahem. If you are Sneaky. successful in this role, plus one's with a lie. Here's the lie you did. You become We're a leader make it. in this political movement. Gain one ally within the movement, but one enemy in wider society. So you're going um, to gain an ally and an enemy, and I'm going to note you what we've just what we've established is that you are studying in the floating palace, although you are not from the floating palace, and you've got some buddies going on, and you in in university have joined a political movement, and you are a leading figure in it. Uh. Do I have to make up the labor move? Yes, or the, oh, just, it's a radicalized labor political movement yeah. okay. based upon what he saw growing up mm -hmm. and friends of his that, you know, whose families lost everything, mm -hmm. you know, because they couldn't make quota mm -hmm. or, and, and things of that Nerf nature. Nerf herder union. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're no longer scruffy looking. Um, <laughs> and I would like to say the rival, mm -hmm. unbeknownst Enemy, to that person, way. Enemy, and this is important because there's a difference between sure, right, a rival, an enemy, a friend, and an ally. 
Okay. Okay. So I'm going to play, I'm going to play, I'm going to throw this out here for you trooper and you tell me if you want to catch it or throw it back. Um, It can be my enemy, but can they know me by my position as opposed to know me by my appearance? Because I want my enemy, the person that despises me, that would kill me if they could to be my dad. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I want to know the plot thickens why that is. Well, because they hate one another. And when the, <laughs> he wouldn't, it, the, 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 his father just doesn't care about him, thinks he's what he is. I imagine um, your father, like you go off to university, what are you, getting, what are you putting on airs? Right. And spending money, yeah. you know, oh, which yeah. I'm sure his father loves, um, given would your, his position. Would your father kill the position and not know that it's you in that position? Is that what you're saying? I, absolutely. He would be, if, you know, he could hire an assassin, take out yeah. whoever is the head of this, and it's you. you know, radicalized, you're right, correct. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. Mm. Love it. And So you don't necessarily hate each other. He just hates the, whoever's in that position. My character hates him. But you hate him. Yeah, has, yeah, he has no, yeah, he has love no love for me whatsoever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great, love that. And if he found out that I was the person, then he would hate me. He would have no qualms, you know. Right, but, okay, cool. Switch. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So you're a little bit. Um, this is term one still, by the way. We still yeah. have like. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to make sure your 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 group is a little um, clandestine, is what I'm hearing. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, you're gonna have to think about your ally. So you have an ally in this group. So think about who that might be, and we know who your enemy is, and make sure you have them written down. Um, gotcha. Fox or Myth, you're up next. Any problem? I'll go. I rolled a seven. You go. What are, what are we rolling? What are we doing? Two D six. This is the this is the term, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seven. That's yeah. right. I remember. We're, we're oh waiting. my. Oh, oh no. My, my. Well, you rolled a seven. Yes, she rolled a seven. I did. Cool. Oh, oh no. Is a plus one? Did you? You don't get a plus one. Where did the plus one come from for Greg? Uh, because he was rolling uh, his uh, uh, social, and he has a plus one. Sweet. This is just a straight up two D six. Not even a stat, just a straight up 2d6. Myth, why don't you roll? You want me to roll? Oh, okay. no. Okay, we're saving that. Oh, one. geez. Okay, okay, okay. And I'm just rolling a 2d6, nothing 2D6, weird. 2d6, please. Oh, man. Because uh, somebody rolled a special number. I don't want it. Mm, okay. <laughs> Here I go. I don't know if that's true. I rolled a three. Huh. I see. Huh. You're in the Merchant Academy, that? yes? Yes. You're going to have to explain some stuff. You have some splaining to do. Oh, uh, yeah, I figured. And remember, you can always pull in somebody else as well, if it is if it is relevant. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I have to call my liar friend. Your right? time in education is not a happy one. Mm. And you suffer a deep tragedy. Perhaps you become hopelessly addicted to drink or drugs, or a failed romance leaves you in tatters, or a fatal accident involving a close friend shakes your confidence, you crash and fail to graduate. (gasps) No. I love it. Okay. What happens that gets you, what tragedy makes it so that you are not actually able to complete the Merchant Academy. This is where my villain arc starts, by the way. <laughs> I don't think I'm kidding, actually. I'm very excited about this. Um, I think... Um, hmm. I think his voice teacher wanted him to be a tenor. That's it. You know what I mean? Like that is it. You know? <laughs> Done. And he's definitely I can turn a person. Person. You know? Um, no, I think uh, <laughs> that was a, that was a, that's a that's session a... negative one joke um, for all of you uh, out there. It's um, an in joke for all of you out there. Um, I'm going to. Um, I think like like the drug thing is just that is the like if everyone's okay with that, um, which means. I get to role play as a drug addict. Is that cool with everyone? I mean, I don't, you I might don't have, mean. Well, we'll find out where you're at when we when you muster out. That's true, right? right. When I muster out, because maybe uh, maybe something happened. Maybe okay, you cool. sort of get through. Right. Maybe you, you don't tried your own product. Yeah. 
Yeah, right. And, <gasps> was, and, and maybe maybe oh. I tried my own product and it one, it was wrong. Oh. And two, now I'm addicted to it. Um, wow. I was also thinking, yeah, yeah, I don't know. This is just me. What if, because I'm a clone, mm-hmm. I have to now have the drug or I deteriorate? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. First off, so I you can't myself. quit. Mm-hmm. I can't quit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's an um, addiction and, it's, and a necessary yeah. medication. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, it's <laughs> a, and it's a medicine for me to stay alive. Um, May I ask you a question? So <laughs> I like how it's like, this is the bad thing. And then I'm like, hmm, how about worse? All right, go ahead. My question is, did you not know you were a clone until this moment? Yeah, I think that's it. Right. Um, I think that's it. Maybe because, and then like I did blood work. They're like, why are you, what's going on? Like maybe I was, I I flunked out as an addict and then I went to get blood work done. And then they were like, you are showing signs of, hold on. And then that's when I, your cells are all just what? deteriorating. Yeah. And they're like, this it, like is... maybe, maybe it was like some kind of a party drug that really isn't that big of a deal for yeah. other people. <laughs> for other, for prime people. Right. Right. And then you're like, why uh... are you reacting this way? Right. Like something is like, it's spiraling away. that doesn't really make a lot of sense for some people. Cause it really, especially for you, if you, you, if you know street chemistry, like that's weird. Right. So maybe there's something yeah. with your chemistry that was responding poorly, but at this point in time, it's already sort of spiraling and you are out mm-hmm. i'm out so mm-hmm. that means i get to pick next term yeah either draft or drifter 100 uh, drifter but that's exciting did anybody was anybody involved in this situation by the way Ooh. <laughs> are any of our other pcs involved this is what i want to know do i get any bonuses in this does it yes. say like you Whenever get one you or two in another pc into oh i just event, can you both get a skill of your choice. Who would save me here, though? You know, um, I don't know. This is up to anybody. Um, like, if that's the event that happened, I fa- I failed out because the academy was like, "You're you are out of control." Yeah. Um, and then and I, think I... You're selling drugs to fellow students. I mean, I'm just yeah, saying. yeah. <laughs> I've started to make it. Yeah, I've started to like make it so I can live, yeah. and then I've started to sell it. Yeah. For because it's a business school. Yeah. Um, so I, um, oh. right. <laughs> and so, uh, and then, uh, exactly. Um, and I'm like, what do you mean? I'm, I'm doing exactly what you said. Um, and <laughs> perfect. Um, so I flunked out. I'm still very smart yeah. with my education, my intellect of 10 and my education of 11. So I still have, yeah. y- you know, everyone's got that smart drug addict friend. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. Um, and where they're like, oh, they're like, I'm not, I'm not addicted. I know what the science is that gets me to, I'm not, it's fine. And you're like, hmm, that's still addiction. Um, yeah, that's what, that's me. Um, so I think, um, I don't know. I don't know if there's anybody that would be, Just is there anybody slight, that think would be in this? Sliding yeah, something. Would somebody be in this there. event? Yeah. Um, I imagine that Harlock as somebody from far away uh, who is, drifting ever closer uh, would likely have seen a lot of things, come across a lot of weird situations. Yeah. Uh, so m- maybe initially when uh, when our clone friend finds out, like starts looking in Baron less Severance, conventional please. places to figure out like uh, some answers or things like that. Yeah. How do you feel about this? Here's the offer. So you heard about clone and now coming to investigate clone? Uh, more like, because this is still, because this has to be kept at the event of your yeah. drug yeah. dependence and uh, selling yeah. drugs. And I, I don't know if I made it into being an Asian. <laughs> yeah. I apparently rolled something really. Oh, right. We don't know yet. Right. Uh, let's hold that for a second. Yeah, I let's hold roll... that because we don't know. We don't know what you have. Oh, no. You rolled but now we have. a life event. <laughs> Okay. Which is special to hold oh. the red table. Oh. If you could. Yes. <clears throat> doesn't happen that often. Please roll 2d6. Okay. Uh, you go from a the, six. The regular event to a life event. 
You flipped oh. a Mars a rover and you are. Uh, I rolled a six with that most recent new relationship. Oh. A romantic relationship involving you deepens, possibly, I'm sorry, new relationship. Or you become romantically involved with an existing ally or contact. If you have no contacts or allies, gain an ally. Ooh. Now I'm going to know okay. this is still 18 to 22, so who knows what happens to this person later, but there you go. You're right. Um, ooh, life event. Mm -hmm. uh, new romance, new relationship. So what if, what if in part with the, um, the whole leaving mm -hmm. of home going far, far, mm -hmm. far, far, far away, mm -hmm. um, maybe within this psionic community, maybe uh, Harlock meets another uh, psionic person. They, they get real close, they get real close, but then something happens um maybe maybe there's a surprise attack from somewhere mm -hmm. um and harlock thinks that this person is dead um and absolutely crushed harlock goes out out to sea slash space okay i will note riding off that. into the star set i will note that this person is an ally so they are alive and they are an ally and that's like, you may think they're dead, but there's somebody out there who is an ally to you. I'm gonna know Good. Um, so do you then, is this where, you, is the connection between you two that you in this moment end up uh, partaking quite a bit of these party drugs and that might be how you know each other? Related into this event or, because you don't have to be related to the event at all. It's just, a, it's a possibility if you wanted it. His mm. uh, getting kicked out of university getting kicked out of university because if it's not there we can do the next one so it's up to you pitch it one more time sorry i was uh the thinking because you want to because i was also into pitched your, into yes pull into your event uh, and i was thinking like in the and if fox is like it could be me how would that might have happened what might have been that uh, that you yeah, sort of left because be. of this event and you fell into this space uh, of space. perhaps buying drugs from him uh like what like what would be the uh, i think if it happen? if it was fox i don't think it would be now I yes, think it later. would be like probably because mm -hmm. I'm going to be probably going into drifting. Yeah. All right, so we'll, if that's the case, then we'll do it. Different then, event. yeah. So what I think could be, um, Greg sent me a message. That's why I was like, pitch that to me again because I was thinking about what Greg said. Greg said, "What if?" Which could be now. It could be now, Greg, or it could be later too. Um, but what Greg also says, "What if one of us, as in the two of you, meet us?" Meet me as if I was recognized as the prime, but I'm not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good, but I feel like that's which not is this interesting. Event yet. I think it's not this event. I don't think so either. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, so. I, I think that would be a later event. Yet. Yeah, I don't think I have anybody yet. All I'm right. still alone on my own. As case, as a later event, though, maybe it's yeah. somebody yeah. Uh, I'm supposed to be uh, keeping an yeah. eye out for in a bad way. In, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. In which case, I need you all to roll for graduation. Except for me. <laughs> yeah, you don't get to roll for graduation, my friend. Because you, you take that. You failed. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry. Like, not, and I don't mean that in a judgy way. It was like you know there was some problems. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, when no, you find out you're a clone, clone, that's that's heavy stuff to deal yeah, with. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I need Fox. I need you to roll. Um, psionics. You need a six plus. What is your uh, in? What's your intellect? uh 12. you get a plus one to this roll okay and i need a six you say six or higher oh uh with a plus one that's a 12. ah someone passed with flying colors <laughs> that's the second number you needed you graduate with life of it yo who can read all the minds <laughs> please note the following increase your psy psionic strength by one yay um we're going to have to test you for your psionic talents. We will do that, but please note you're going to get a plus one in any one of your talents. So just note you're going to get a plus one in a talent. Please add the skill science, uh, psionicology. So you're going to have a science with a specialization in psionics at one. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm going to write this down because you'll need to this. You're going to get um, all of your psionic talents at one and one gets to advance to two 
because you are an honors graduate. All right. That's very good. Uh, and then your enlistment in the psionic career is automatic. You don't even have to roll to get into it. You automatically uh, get in. All uh, right. They, they came looking for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, please add this to your character sheet. Um, <laughs> gain a rival who is unhappy uh, that you left the community. However, if you're an honors graduate, you get an enemy instead. <laughs> Fantastic. Enemy is hardcore. Enemy is not like, oh, it's like, uh. So, well, I, I listen, I graduated with honors and left the community. Yeah. I was so like, I'm going to take all this yeah. somewhere else. Somebody is your enemy. I'm going to need to know who that is. Who this enemy is who's going to try to, you have a nemesis who's, who's not a happy nemesis. about this. Who may come and find you? <clears throat> yes, I believe we have a spacer. Um, I need you to make an intelligence check, eight plus. Um, what is your dex? Are you talking to me? Mm -hmm. All right, what is your dex? Six. Okay, you get a plus one to this roll. You want to hit eight or higher. Okay, and that's 2d6? Yes, please. And you get your intelligence bonus, right? Uh, what is your? Oh, I didn't add any of that to this. Uh, but you said my didn't my dex plus my intelligence is two. Uh, no, my uh, intelligence what's your, what's is your, one. What's your intellect mod? One. One, and then you get a plus one. Uh, so that's an eleven. Awesome. You just missed yeah? honors. You just oh, missed honors by one. That's bullshit. Uh, um, Thank you, Craig. Um, are you? Please note the following. Um, you took asked for your skills you took um you have back suit one right mm -hmm. uh, and you took astrogation and electronics correct uh now you get also engineer and profession at zero Yay. and now you may choose any of astrogation electronics engineer profession which you have at zero and increase that to a one um, I'm going to increase electronics to a one. You How many do I get to increase to a one? Just one? Just one. Yeah. But your back suit should it. be a one already. My back suit is a one. You also get the pilot Hi. skill at zero. Hey. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. You may also increase your dexterity by one. Oh, yay. That's lovely. You, however, it decrease your anything, society, but... your social by two. Oh, uh, that's nice. Because it's not super fancy, you know? That yeah. said, if you choose... That just, that just um, happens? Oh, no. If you choose to go into the merchant free trader career path, um, you get a plus one to enlist, gain a commission or promotion in that career path. Oh. If you go merchant. Um. Just note it. You don't have to, but uh, you are set up for a bit of success to be a merchant, a free trading merchant, unlike your friend who got kicked out of school. <laughs> <laughs> your future friend. Future friend. My future friend. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. True, true, true. Uh, uh, well, I... um. <laughs> you have to just think about it. I was originally going to go with something else, but I might be changing my mind. So this is how it works. This is how yep. it works. Yep, 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 yep. This, this is what happens. This is what happens. Uh, university. <laughs> they laughed at me at university, but I'll show them. I'll show them all. <clears throat> You're role playing my character. <laughs> um, <laughs> Greg, shall we see if you graduate? Yes. I know I won't, but let's do it. <laughs> I need you to roll. Do you, could you just choose not to? Intelligence, six or higher. Okay, I have a plus one to whatever this is. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, a six. six! You are lying your way through school. Oh my god, that, that that bonus one is That's always the lie, so like you said. Man. Yeah. <laughs> um, we probably have the best night on your graduation. Like, you want to get the drugs? Well. <laughs> I know, I got friends yet? Mm -mm. Um, let me ask you, um, what were the two skills you chose when you went to university? You chose um, 
I ended up uh, switching them to uh, language and navigation. Please increase I think, those the two. by one. Both of them. Nice. What were those? What did you get? Navigation and what? Language. Sweet. Language. Sweet. Please increase your education by another one. Oh, oh my God, word. This is so cool. Now, please note the following. Write it down somewhere. Not permanent, but write it down. You're going to get a plus one to qualify for the following careers. Agent, Army. Nice. Citizen Corporate, Entertainer Journalist, Marines, Navy, Scholar, or Scouts. Because you graduated from university, unlike your dad who thought you never would. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, F him. <laughs> also, um, graduation allows a commission role to be taken before the first term of a military career, so long as it is the first career chosen after after university. So if you decide to go in the military, you can roll for a commission before you go into that career, and which means you would get to enter into that career at a rank one officer. If you go, it's like military. ROTC, right? Mm -hmm. It is. It's like ROTC. Noting that. Um, and <laughs> Mid, exactly. I'm so sorry. You got kicked out of university. So all those really cool benefits that you could have gotten, you don't get any of them, but let me it's tell fine. you, don't you even tell me gotten, because I just want you to know it, you know, if you'd graduated instead of getting uh, kicked out uh, for all of that, uh, you would have increased a skill, right? Uh, you would have increased your education. You could earn. You could enter the merchant or citizen career automatically at rank one with a big bonus automatically, which means that you would like be already in a foothold to be super successful. Uh, that would have been really great for you. Uh, if you'd gone graduate with honors, you would have come in at rank two which is like amazing. And you've gotten all those automatic skills if you just not had that tragedy happen. Um, and you would get like a plus one in all of your advancement checks to advance in those careers. Wow. That is so much salt that was just just tossed into this Oh, room. oh, good. Oh, whew, I'm just, done talking about what I could have had. Good could, thing I didn't listen to any of that. Yeah, yeah. What could have <coughs> happened? What could have happened? That was just for the audience, I guess. Yeah. So, my <laughs> friends, you're all 22 years old mm -hmm. and uh we're gonna do our first term from now on each term you take right, that wasn't even the term you will uh <laughs> you know there there are things that are happening here uh let's uh let's see how this goes if we might <clears throat> which career would you all like to follow into this is the i don't have a choice uh well you or have do a choice I? I mean you just i could try to be a merchant school. again you can try to get into the job. You got kicked out of Merchant Academy, but you can try the job. Oh, sweet. And then if I don't get it here, then I'm a drifter. And, oh, sweet. Yeah. This was like you're like, oh, kind of set yourself up for success, and you kind of didn't. And how does the luck work? Well, luck, you get to spend those luck points to increase a roll. Right? So if you rolled like a three and you really needed a five, you could spend those two luck points to get up to that five. During character creation? No. Okay, okay. I'm going to say that would no. be cool. Sadly, no. What if you could, but you mm -hmm. burn them forever? No, I don't want you to burn okay. your luck forever. Right. Right, That's okay. so All terrible. Right. Well, I'm, I'm weird like that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'd do it. All right. Uh, I feel like that means you're up. Okay, no pressure. No pressure. So I am trying to not get maimed. Right? So is that the, that's the name of the game? You would like to become a merchant, is that correct? Yeah. Afterwards, it happened. Oh, of course. I think I'm still... I mean, I don't know if you know this, but everybody has talked about you. Okay, that's fine. Uh, is it possible to kind of go a drifter for a year and then go back? Or once, or is that... It's up to you. I could try that, right? Yeah, it's up to I feel you. like narratively that would make sense to be like, oh, you're out of here. And then I go do a drifting thing and then come yeah. back and be like, hey, guess what? I've got this. Hmm. It's up to you. Would you like to be a drifter for a year? Like a gap year. Thank you. It is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> maybe this isn't my time. Yeah. Um, let me take a look at drifter really it's quick. It's automatic. You automatically qualify to be a drifter, by the way. Right. Yeah, it's just a thing. But I, will but I could also automatically be drafted if I wanted, right? Yes. It's, but the, I, it's, the, it's either, the, it's either the, the, the good or the bad or whatever. But here. I will note, you only get the 
when you're for your first career, you get this full complement of skills. If you, but you actually did get them from being in the academy. So being a drifter would not be like the you know the, the worst thing. thing. Yeah, because then because then I have double. Yeah. I think I want to do that, and then maybe next term I'll try to go merchant. Okay. In which case, you automatically qualify. Just, just so you know, you take that, everyone. All right, because cool. you're a drifter. Um, uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, which, which? Um, please choose one of the following: barbarian. You live in a primitive world without the benefits of technology, which would be where you're from. Wanderer. You are a space bum living hand to mouth in slums and spaceports across the galaxy. Or scavenger, you work as a belter, asteroid miner, or on a salvage crew. I think I'm the kind of guy who likes to roam around. Yeah, I'm the wanderer. You're the kind of guy. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please take the following. Skills at level zero, if you do not have them. Drive. And uh, if I do have them. This is your basic qualification for it, though. So it's going to give it to you. After this, after your basic, then thing, you get bonuses from it. But this is so, so this still isn't so so me so me being a drifter isn't actually beneficial. Uh, well, you're gonna get six skills. Right, but if but if they stack, I'm not getting the bonuses. No. Poop. Okay. Um, Drive, fine. deception, recon, stealth, streetwise, and survival. There would have been such good ones there to stack. Okay. Um, I have w- stealth, survival. Yo, these are dope. Uh, and what was the other one? It's drive, deception, recon, drive, stealth, deception. streetwise, and survival. Recon was the other one. Oh my gosh, I am such a seedy spy thief, man. You are. Um, I'm going to have this all see if we can get into our career, uh, and then we'll um, <laughs> come back to this. Uh, yeah, then we'll do the other part. You know, which is the life event that I have. No, the rolling for survival. Yeah, but- that part. Uh, yeah. All right, because I can just die. Yeah, yeah. Ari, uh, what yeah, yeah. would you like to go into? Uh, well. Or try at least. Uh, <laughs> try, 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 try. Mm-hmm. Um, am I correct in thinking that I don't get any advantages for attempting for the noble um, piece? What it was is just for merchant. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That is right, just for merchant. That okay. is correct. Um, for noble you need to roll 10 plus on social to qualify oh and i i do not have any modifiers on that just yet mm-hmm. balls um i think i'm going to rebel against my parents and um run away from the noble line and toward the merchant line Interesting. Or scammers, as they say. So. Um, interesting. Uh, I find that fascinating because you are of noble birth, but what you've done has not really pleased your parents, it seems. I don't think so, yeah. I think that they're disappointed in me. Mm. They did so much to keep me safe, and here I am mucking about. <laughs> Your friends? I mean, come on now. I, I know. They are not happy. They are not happy with my friends. But you know what? Package pair, buddy. Package pair. <sighs> All right. Um, I need you to You're going to love when you become a privateer. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. I need you to qualify. If I believe, if I'm if I'm correct, it's for Merchant Marine. Or is it a free trader? Which was it? Was it uh, Merchant Marine was the one I was thinking of. Okay. Uh, you need to Because roll... that's the more educational one, right? Um, yes, it is. Uh, okay. You need to roll four plus on intelligence. And okay, you get a and I have one. a plus one with my intelligence. Okay, and then also for for graduating so well. Oh yay! So it's impossible so, for you to fail getting in because you know you. Absolutely, you're in. Good news, everyone! You are now a merchant marine. Oh, excellent! Um, my parents are so delighted. They are not delighted. That's cool. <laughs> I just need you to know that they are not. Uh, in case you were wondering. Uh, I feel like you, you know, they're very disappointed. Please take the following I... skills. Pilot, uh, back suit, athletics, mechanic, engineer, and electronics. 
So some of these I already have. Do I just level those up? Um, no, not for the for your starting up. Do you have deception? I don't. Do you no. have streetwise? My recommendation um, would be to go free trader rather than merchant okay. marine. Let's do that then. Because free trader means you're going to go independent and go off in space. So the skills you would get for that would be pilot spacecraft, which might mean you have you can then have two different specialties for pilot. Oh, okay. Vac suit, deception, mechanic, streetwise, and gunner. Cool. That's that's how you go with that one. Yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. My parents are so happy that they forgot to invite me to the Christmas party. Wow. Uh, <clears throat> uh, wait, what, what, was, what was that list again? I like, I'm not sure I caught all of them. I was like, doo, 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 and I was trying to find them and I didn't. Uh, anyway, pilot, which is spacecraft. Got that. Vac suit. Deception, mm -hmm. mechanic, mm -hmm. streetwise, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. gunner. Cool. Thank you. You can shoot things out of the sky. Um, okay. Fox. From my car. Why, yes. Five. Which career would you like to go into? Well, I, I remember you saying something about that uh, I wouldn't have to roll to get into certain. Is it just certain ones? or? Uh, I believe it's the uh, psionic one that you just don't have to roll to get into because uh, you just get to be in it ah that seems pretty good okay <laughs> uh, it is done uh, i will just note we have to go and roll something for you uh, which we will do okay. but let me get it for you Ahem. please choose one of the following assignments because what you choose is important uh, wild talent you developed your powers without formal training which does not seem right Adept, which means you're a scholar of the psionic disciplines, or Psy Warrior, you combine combat training with psionic warfare. Psy Warrior. <laughs> and so it is done. Uh, please note the following. Uh, some of these are going to be regular skills, some are going to be powers. Telepathy. Mm. Oh, okay. oh my. Okay. <clears throat> Telepathy. Awareness. Okay. Teleportation. <laughs> mm -hmm. those, My dreams. <laughs> those three are psionic powers. Gun, Fantastic. Gun combat. Okay. Vac suit. And recon. Fantastic. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, you noted this, the bonuses you have. Yes. Good. Keep that. Keep that in mind. Because uh, mm -hmm. we'll come back to that, Greg. I'm going, I'm going for it. Uh, this guy is trying to get it. as high as he can. He's Me trying too. to get as close to, right. He's trying to get as close to the floating palace as possible. Mm -hmm. He can't be a noble. That's just out of the cards, mm -hmm. but he's going to try to be a physician. He is going to try to take the leap and get as high in the societal standings as he possibly can. I miss playing with you so much. Okay. To so be a exciting. scholar. You I love you, buddy. <laughs> a six plus on intellect. On intellect. Okay, so I do get my bonus on that. Cool, okay. Come on. This is the one I want, so I'm sure I won't get it. Oh, my God. I got it again. With the one bonus, the, one? the lie. Yes, he gets the lie. into medical school. <laughs> yes. You get into medical school. You're going to become a medic. What this the means, lie. please note that that's your first term, medic. Um this is what you get. Please note the following. You get all of these skills. Hell yeah, let's do it. Medic. Electronics. Investigate. Medic again, which means you bump it up from zero to one. Oh my gosh. Persuade and science. Holy smokes, those are all ones I have not had. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now... Does that of course, because you lied your way to get more skills. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've not been there yet. Oh, that's this so cool. is the greatest. Has, you know, and yeah, everyone, that is so cool. Everyone has um, rolled to get into their space. Yeah. Awesome. Are you all ready? Uh -huh. Survival roll for our survival. Yeah, because anything can happen. Yep. <laughs> we just and we're just making a survival roll. Oh no, we don't have. Yes, we'll we do. No, we don't. It's a skill. Never mind. I should stop talking. Um. Greg, education four plus. 
<laughs> education. Mm -hmm. I'm still at a negative one on this. Okay. You need to get four or higher. Ooh. Spicy. You survive. Uh, you survive. Medical school. <laughs> you survive medical school. If you school. failed that There was role, a lot of gunfights. Roll something yeah. else is what we'd have to do. Uh, uh, you would God. have to leave your career is what would happen. Just so you know. And something bad also would happen just because that's how that goes. Uh, but what if you rolled two sixes? <laughs> what if you rolled 12? That's good. Just, just good? Uh, no weird wacky event? Um, free trader. To survive, you need a six plus in dexterity. <laughs> well, at least it's not a negative one anymore. That's nice. Mm -hmm. ah. You also survive. You may continue in this career. Okay, okay. It's not, it's not looking good. Our drifter friend. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to roll a seven plus on endurance. Oh, I gotta. The tension is real. I gotta go to the virtual, mm -hmm. virtual mm -hmm. desktop and mm -hmm. click the thing. Mm hmm. I'm just telling you, Al. Six. Uh, you need a seven plus. Right, that was a six. That's yeah, a six, perfect. but you need a seven. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm okay with whatever this is because you can't kill me. You can't kill me. Uh. Well. I'm already. What that means is you cannot continue from on as a drifter. Drifter? That's fine. Is it? I didn't want to anyway. Please roll <laughs> 1d6. Oh, God. I was going to go merchant. Clearly okay. being a wanderer is not working out well for you. I'm the kind of guy who has no idea what he's doing in his life. I'm a wanderer. Crave structure. I got a six. And drugs. Oh. Structure and drugs. I see. Um, Me too. So, you know how you were a wanderer, right? I do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You do not know what happened to you. There is a gap in your memory. I love this so much. So much. But you're going to have to do something other than wandering next term. You don't know right. what happened to you. So. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. Oh my god. Does Harlock know what happened to you? I love this we will so much. Out. I mean, you mind know. powers. <laughs> Do you know, Trooper? Harlock could be what happened. Yes. <gasps> <gasps> hey. Sorry, buddy. I thought you were somebody else. <laughs> During my Harlock. drifting, I memory blank. I or do I remember even drifting? I need endurance right. from you. We're drifting too hard. Yeah, I'm wondering. Oh, right, endurance, cool. you say? Please. Six plus. Okay. Let's see. All right. Can I just, just so it can be seen, can I just click the little button? Sure. Can oh. I ask you for something? Yeah. Um, does this automatically put the modifier on? Okay. A seven. You survive. <laughs> just. <laughs> you survive. All of you all survive. And that means we roll for events. Okay, I feel like we've already had a couple of events already. Cool, 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 well, this yeah. is now our This is the greatest event. character creation thing I think I've ever. Yeah, done. you've never this you've never amazing. done Traveler. I've never yeah. done Traveler. Oh, it this is, is amazing. so cool. Yeah, I love it. Fox two d six, if you please. And remember, if you pull in somebody else for your, uh, not everybody survives Kabinak. Not everybody survived. Um, you may pull in another player into your event if it makes sense, and you both get a bonus skill. So. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Please. That's a 10? Roll 2d6. 10. Oh. I rolled a 10. Oh. Nice round oh. number. Please write this down so you can remember it for later because it will be important. You pick up potentially useful information while using your psychic powers. Ooh. Gain a plus one to any one benefit roll when you leave your career. Hey! Which is going to give you like more money, more stuff, right? You've got some good information. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
I see, I see. Oh, I, I suppose there is a, uh, a thing that we all need to do uh, after we do this event. It's, it's, it's important. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll do this now for you because I'm at your page. Because you're in this career this term, you do get to roll on one table. This is how you advance your character. Would you hey. like personal development, service skills, and what's your education? Uh, nine. Advanced education or more Psy Warrior. If you hit Psy Warrior, those skills I told you about, telepathy, awareness, teleportation, gun combat, back suit, recon, you roll those again, which means you can increase those skills. Or you could do personal development, which will give you, depending, a bonus to your education, intelligence, strength, dex, endurance, science, sci psionics. Service skills is telepathy, clairvoyance, telekinesis, awareness, teleportation, or any talent. Uh, or advanced education, which is language, art, electronics, medic, science, mechanic. Oh, man. Those service skills sounded kind of nice. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. All right. Uh, which means it is now time we have to do something for you first. <laughs> Are you ready? Maybe, yes. We have to find out which psionic talents you have. I have... No, no, no. Teleport, teleport, teleport. Oh. No? We're going to oh. start first here. This is the... Oh, those are just... You're gonna you know what? I'm on board. On I'm here. Of, right? I'm hip. I'm with it. Okay. So, there are one, two, three, four, five, five possible talents. Telepathy, clairvoyance, telekinesis, awareness, and teleportation. You're going to roll for each one. For each one, each additional one that you roll for, you get a minus one to that roll. So okay. the later ones you roll are going to be harder to learn. Right. The earlier ones. But each one gives you a bonus. Telepathy is super easy. And I believe you actually automatically get telepathy. I think you just get that one from, from, your, from your training. So you don't have to roll for that one. You have it. Okay. You have telepathy. Um, Let's see. And what, what were the other ones? Uh, telekinesis. Uh, telekinesis, clairvoyance. clairvoyance, awareness, and teleportation. So, what I need for you to do is to roll for me, if you do not mind. Um, to Which one would you like to try for first? Clairvoyance, telekinesis, awareness, or teleportation? Um... Let's go clairvoyance within the realm of Traveler. How, how does that work? Well, each talent has like powers that you can do within mm. them. But you can sense, you can sense things at some point in a distance as part of clairvoyance. Uh, tactical awareness where you can sort of perceive dangers and foes around you. Um, clairvoyance is about the viewing of a situation at a very dislocated point. Okay. Uh, clear audience is hearing. Uh, clear sentience is seeing and hearing at the same time. Um, let's start with uh, a crowd favorite, which would be teleportation. Okay. So you get no negatives because this is your first one actually rolling for it, uh, and it gives you no bonuses. So you, I need you to roll your psionic power uh, ability. Okay. Um... I still don't have any. That's, that's fine. What? Oh, ha any mods on my... Oh, on your Sanex? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yet. Uh, it's a seven. A seven? I don't know if that's good yet or not. You need... I believe you need an eight. Oh! So uh, sad. But... You are going to get it because of your rolls, right? Which means you're mm -hmm. not going to base. It's not going to give you. There's like a a bonus you're not going to get. Yeah, because I, I have it from being yes. a psi warrior. I just yeah, but I'm okay at it right now. Basically, you could have gotten a better score at it, right? Um, what's next? Um, let's go with telekinesis next. I want to move everything with my brain. Uh, you get a plus one. Plus one? Mm -hmm. Total. Here we go. Here we go. This is going to go well. Seven. Did you get the plus one? Did you add it? 
Yes, I did. <laughs> All right, I believe you. Um, I do I see a plus one there? Also, all right, sync 2d6 plus two for your, okay. Wait, it looks like you rolled your endurance. You need to roll psionics. Oh, no, I was rolling him. No, you rolled endurance. With my hands. Oh, okay. I was like, so sorry. I was like, that's endurance. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was for the, the last. hand roller. Yeah. I'm a hand roller. Um, what's next? You've got clairvoyance and awareness. Um. All right. Uh. Clairvoyance and awareness seem kind of similar to me. Let's go clairvoyance with clairvoyance. Is easier than awareness. Let's go with clairvoyance. Uh, you may I want like to do the that sound of it because it's easier. Oh, that makes sense. Let's go with awareness because I like the sound of that even better. Minus one. Okay. Here we go. Oh, minus one. Do I know? What am I shooting for here? Eight. Eight. <laughs> Eight. The moon. The moon. Oh, go with a minus one. I got a seven. <laughs> you love the sevens. And then a clairvoyance. I do. No minuses. No minuses? Okay. Mm -hmm. Ten. You get clairvoyance at level zero. All right. Okay. And now all those things I told you that you got before, mm -hmm. you can now add them, but that clairvoyance is going to be bumped up. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm which I think I give you three from graduation, and now you're going to get all of those. Yay. And for each time you get it, add one to that level that you have. Okay. So please roll 1d6. Or tell me when you have them in there, because this is important. Um, yeah, oh, no. Hang on. Uh, uh, with the additions from graduating mm -hmm. fantastically. Mm-hmm. And your um, sign warrior skills, which was another teleport telepathy awareness teleportation. Uh, oh, so that would, would that be two or three? Uh, you have telepathy. I think your telepathy should now be, uh, did, you graduated with honors, right? I did. Yeah. So you graduated with honors. So your telepathy should now be three. Okay. That's what I thought. Um, and we're going to put my extra... And you're aware, uh, what were the graduation ones? Um, let's see where to go. Uh, that was telepathy, awareness, and teleportation. So those should all be at two because you graduated with honors. Okay. Right, and your telepathy is going to go up one. And now your awareness goes up. Uh, well, those actually, you're not going to get the telepathy, awareness, tele the, the tele t if you already have it, it's not going to go up for that first roll. Uh, for yeah, the side okay. warrior. So telepathy should be a two. Awareness should be a, a two. And teleportation should be a two. Basically. Okay. All right. Psi right. awareness, teleportation, and what else? Uh, awareness, teleportation, and telepathy. Sick. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I did get clairvoyance with this last. Yes. Yes, you did. Skill gaining. Yeah. But just at level spidey, one. So you have Spidey Sense talk uh, uh, that message, come in and then you have teleport. Zero, at level zero. Okay. Yeah. Um, so clairvoyance at level zero. Yep. Um, and Sweet. the ones you graduated with, right? Yes. Or were telepathy, awareness, teleportation? No, you didn't yes. get teleportation in graduation, did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, good. Excellent. Excellent. So roll 1d6. 1d6? Okay. Uh, A6. Any talent you want, any of those five, which would you like? And do what with them? Um, if you don't have it, you gain it. If you do have it, you increase it. <gasps> Fantastic. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, you know what? No, I've which, been which interested your, in which are your talents telekinesis. Right telekinesis. What's that? What are your talents right now that you have? Um, hang on. Let me, let me write this in before I forget that I can now move things with my brain. Yeah, that's sick. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. So. Wow. Our. You have telepathy? Yes. You have. I have te telepathy, awareness, teleportation, clairvoyance, and telekinesis. Are you missing any? 
I the Code Veronica Larson we're just, you you have five I, right yes you have all five yeah just noting it nice. you have all five you have all five wow um, wicked yay <laughs> I'm good because we're here on your page I need to ask you a question would you like to try to be promoted you know what I love promotions sure I thought you might <laughs> uh, endurance I'm afraid six plus it's row moded it's the p is silent in this case otherwise Ooh. it would be psyker yeah yeah that's right <laughs> um did you just say a 2d6 i missed it i'm sorry uh, 2d6 <laughs> please you want to get a endurance it's your endurance six plus endurance six plus endurance okay here we go here okay. we go that would be a 12. oh i see all right well in that case you are promoted hey Sick. there are things that happen when you're promoted oh no mm -hmm. you are now um uh, um let me That's go get your actual one uh as a psi warrior you are now um you're called a psi soldier oh you may soldier. if you don't mind get if you do not have gun combat any you get that now you can add one to your gun combat and if I already have it, I can add one to it. Mm -hmm. Or take a different specialization if you like. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, you're getting better. You are now rank one. Please note it. You have been promoted to rank one. Okay. And we rolled for advancement, which was great. Um, you're going to now be moved up four more years. Just know it. And you can decide okay. if you want to continue on. But uh, we're going to move to someone else at this moment. Uh, who's next in their career? Are you agent? Or are you, what, if, what was this term? This is I'm a sci warrior. warrior. <gasps> you do get Out there just wow. chucking people around with my brain. Wow. Uh, you do get um, an extra roll. You remember that skill table we talked about? Where you can yes. sort of choose which ones you wanted to roll on? Yes. Because you advanced, you get to roll one more time. What would you like? Um... Let's go with. And for for the record, this is on page uh, two thirty six for the psionic career path. Make sure you have your career paths up. Uh, which page is it? Two thirty six. You said. Or two thirty seven of the PDF. Um. Oh, here we go. Nope, that doesn't work. <laughs> my PDFs. So they're like personal development, which is like upping your stats, service mm -hmm. skills, which are all of those, uh, your uh, psionics, advanced education, which are some different skills, and then Psy Warrior, which are more specific to, which include that gun combat back suit recon. Yeah, you know what? Let's do, let's do Psy Warrior. 1d6? 1d6? Mm -hmm. Right. Three. Increase your teleportation by one. Yay. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I will ask you, would you like to continue on in your career? For right now, I think I shall. Excellent. Things are turning up, Harlock. Excellent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pushing your luck. Who's next? <laughs> you should listen to this. I'm so and, cool uh, with our muscle on the ship so far being a psyker. Oh, yeah. I think that's sweet. Hey, it's security. like Stranger Things in Space. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, who's next? That'd be so good. Did I already go? I'll go. I no, like I only, I mean, I only Fox has finished this her, her this cycle. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. All right. I'm, Space I'm or things. Anything. That's great. Yeah. Space or things. If you could, um, you have survived. I would like you to roll for your event. Is what I would. Oh. Like. Okay. Um, could you? That's roll a two. Event? No, 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 Fox! You're done. You're good for this cycle. Oh, you're, you're good. We've got. I'm out of here. Lived. We've got our. We've got our. I'm out of here. Later. Yeah, you're done. Um, could you roll if you don't mind? Uh, you're in, so you can choose it to roll on your skill table. You can either do personal development, which gives you bonuses to your uh, characteristics, service skills, which are uh, a lot of your doctor skills, advanced education, which you can only do if you have an education of ten, which you don't, or physician. Which one would you like? What was the second one? Uh, service skills, which is uh, driver, flyer, electronics, diplomat, medic, investigate, science. 
Let's focus on the physician one. Okay, 1d6. How does your first term of your training go? I, I can't imagine it goes well, but let's do it. One! Uh, you were doing a physician? Yes. Uh... Increase your medic by one. Oh, wow. Like okay. That. Now, roll 2d6. Let's find out what events hit you in this first term of being a medic. A physician, a doctor, a healer. Yeah. Eight. Do I add anything to that? Nope. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question. It's, sure. There's a thing right here under events. And remember, you can pull in another character to get bonuses mm -hmm. to skills. <clears throat> sure. My friend. Yeah. You have the opportunity to cheat. I do that. I, in I do some that. <laughs> of course. Advancing your career I <laughs> and research by stealing another's work, or using a oh, yeah. device, or taking a shortcut, so forth. If you refuse, you gain nothing. If you accept, roll either deception or administration, and you need an eight plus. And if you succeed, you get a plus two to any one benefit roll. And may, and may increase any skill by one level, but you also gain an enemy. If you fail, you gain the enemy and lose one benefit roll from this career. One benefit roll, what's that mean? Like, I, I lose... Once you decide you've finished, you get to roll a benefit roll for every term that you served in your career. And those things... Oh, uh, so I basically give up a term. Um, no, you get the, be the benefits for the term, which involve money, ships, parts, guns, good stuff. Like once Dental. you get out, you get stuff. <laughs> and so the question is, do you want to risk it for the biscuit? Are you a person who, did you cheat? Or do you want to see if you can roll that eight plus on? See, I, I don't have any of the things that you mentioned. I don't have administration. What was the other one? Deception? Uh, deception. So what would I roll instead? Um, I believe, didn't you get admin or deception? I didn't. I didn't get either of those. So then you roll 2d6 at minus 3. Oh, well, then I can't do it. Yeah. So you refuse to cheat? I would love to cheat. I want to cheat. I, I welcome cheating. But I can't take a negative 3 roll because I, I have to have an 8. You do. Would I mean, your character still cheat? Well, like, my character's a gambler. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. My character's a gambler. Okay. And if he yeah. knew that the odds were stacked yeah. against him, then he's not going to do that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. okay. Yeah, you're right. Let me ask you this like, question. Yeah. This event where you do not cheat, but you have the opportunity to do so. Just saying, if you want to be a drifter. Do you pull somebody else into this event? I was going to pull in Fox so she could use her mind to steal the shit. And I, but Ooh. you can't do that. So. Depends. Then I'd owe her one. Maybe. Yes, you would. Maybe Wouldn't I? Yeah. She lets you know that you should not cheat. Well, she can read my mind and she would know that I don't believe that. No, no. <laughs> so. the, the thing you're going to cheat on, which again, stealing somebody's stuff, they're like, what you're cheating might be, might be, who knows what it might be. Um, that maybe she knows, she can see, read somebody else's thing. She's like, oh, no, 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 no. If you do this, you will be caught. Well, it could be it's a situation where uh, maybe he's already under a little bit of suspicion yeah. and uh... mm -hmm. maybe she like pulls you back that last minute, perhaps it's up to y'all. I'd, I'd oh, oh. negative... Right. I'd have to roll a negative three or do I roll the no, base no. stat for that? No, no, you just you you have refused to cheat, but you can pull her in as a as a reason why you did not do the cheat. No, no, no. I'm asking just to clarify because I don't understand meta wise. I know I don't have that skill, but do I just roll the base stat without any bonus, uh, or do I have to take the negative three? You would you would just roll two d six, and you would have you would get a negative three because you don't have you're not trained in the skill. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Thanks for talking me out of it. I guess. I mean, you can still do it. You just have to roll an, a twelve or an eleven or twelve. <laughs> you a gambler, we, Greg. We, we, we've seen my rolls, right? <laughs> <laughs> just, just saying. Um, so Way to play the odds. <laughs> do you pull somebody into this? I'd love to, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I, there's no benefit to it though, right? There, oh, yes, there is. You gain a skill, and so does the person you get pulled into. You pull into it. Oh, 
then it would definitely be that would be the meat cute for uh my character in foxes as if that's okay with her um that you know i uh, the the, the award-winning physician and up and comer um uh you know goes and asks her to steal something from one of my colleagues yeah. and i'm talked out of it so um i sure to show my ass to my new acquaintance yeah. but at the same time uh fox if your character doesn't you know kick me to the curb right away as far as uh, acquaintance friendship goes then um that's that's the meat cute you know mm, interesting what skill do you gain and fox what skill do you gain I'm going to take deception because I need that shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fox, what about you? You can either gain mm -hmm. or increase any skill you want. You know, let's see, where is the actual skill list past? It's on your character sheet, actually. Um, oh. If you go to your character sheet, there's a little button that says here. click here to show the skills, and those are all the skills, and you click on which ones you want to have uh, be visible oh let's see uh, oh yes there they are um let's go with hmm how about persuade okay take it because because you persuade him not to do it mm-hmm um greg would you like to try to be promoted Oh, yeah, I, I can do that. Please do. Uh, roll education. You need an eight plus. <laughs> wow. Wait, I had only known. <laughs> I had <clears throat> only known. But I will note, if you go into uh, personal development, you might be able to increase your education uh, next time around for the next term. Bullshitting has gotten me this far. Let's see if it gets mm -hmm. me any farther. Would you say eight plus? Eight plus. Uh, yeah, I didn't make it this time. Uh, close. Oh, you don't get a plus one? No. Not oh, this, almost. <laughs> oh, I was like, are you kidding me? Uh, so you couldn't close. lie out of this one. Very close. You tried. Very it wasn't close. a good lie. Got okay, okay. Man. Uh, we have a drip If only drip. I had gotten that research, I could have, they would have kicked me over into. Mm -hmm. ah. mm -hmm. It's true. Um, Ari and also Myth. One of you yeah. two is up next. What's up? Go for it, man. You want it? Okay, hold on. Apparently, I want it. Uh, or I. Um, uh, no, sorry, I, was, I didn't I was mean letting, to. I was letting the dog out. No, no, I don't care. No, I don't care. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's do this. I. First, let's have you roll for your skill. Okay. You have the chance of either personal development, service skills, or wanderer. And you're on. I meant I don't mind. I don't. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I, mean, I don't mind. I don't mind. Um. All right. What was uh? What am I rolling? I'm rolling a skill. Uh, you can choose either personal development, which gives you some characteristics, service skills, or wander specific skills. In service skills, you've got like athletics, melee, recon, streetwise, stealth, survival, wanderers, drive, deception, recon, stealth, streetwise, survival. Personal development this, is plus to strength, dex, endurance, language. And this is in the time. <clears throat> this is in the time that I don't wander. remember. Yeah, that is correct. Mm hmm. I can choose personal skills. I can choose. Mm -hmm. I'm really going to what? I'm sorry. I'm... Uh, 1d6. But I'm on which table would you I'm rolling a d6. Got it. Which table? Mm -hmm. Either personal development, which will get you either characteristics. Oh, I see. Service or wanderer. Got it. Mm hmm. How would you like to develop at this moment before something bad happens to you? How would I like to develop in this moment personal development? Okay, go ahead. 1d6. Jack of all trades, baby. Take that skill. It's a, kind of like you can that use it in a, all sorts of ways. That is a good it's one, nice. right? Don't I get everything is trained? And it's, a zero? you can use it in, in exchange for a number of things, and it's very hard to get that skill, actually. Okay. Right? Because all right. very rarely do you get that skill. All right. Uh, however, unfortunately, you were mustered out, so uh, that's nice for you. It's not that uh -huh. nice for you. Um, it's so nice yeah. for me. But you know what we can do for you? Because you've been mustered out, because uh, uh, that's how that goes, you can um, 
roll me a, would you roll me a, would you roll for me? I'd love to. Please, if you don't mind, only one term. I do not. Um, could you roll? Um, I think it's a 1d6. Is it a benefit? Mm-hmm. So I so if I, by not making it through drifting, I can't advance anymore. Not in, not in drifting, no. I'm drifting. Oh, so I can choose to if I wanted to go Something into drifting. Okay. Well, you actually you cool, have cool. to because you can no. I drifting. can't go into yeah. I can't be in drifting. Yeah. yeah. All right. So when I'm rolling. I'm sorry. Um, one d six. One d six. Three. Um, you get interesting. One write it down somewhere. One thousand credits in cash. And an ally. Somebody is your ally out of this whatever weirdness Not happened us. to you. No, someone else. Think about it. And I don't know. Somebody helped you. Maybe somebody, you woke up with no memory and there's somebody there who helped you. You know? Cool. All right, Think hold about on. it. Yep. Okay, Ari. Something else I needed to write down. <laughs> There's this whole part of me. It's it? like, it's gem. It's gem. No, no, no. That's too circular. But like, yeah. you never know. It could be. You don't know. It could be. It could be. That's totally it's, fine. It, I mean, um, it is a small world. Think of, and you're in the it same area. Small world. It is a small <laughs> giant axe. You, you could have gem. Um, tell me. Mm. An ally development. here? Not a contact. An Say ally? Again? It's ally. an ally, not a contact. Ally, okay. which is much stronger, much deeper. Yeah. All right. Person development, which can up your characteristics. Service skills, which are kind of general skills. Um, mm-hmm. Free trader specific skills. And what is your education? Uh, it's pretty high. Is it eight it's or eight? Eight. It's an eight. You can exactly. al- you also qualify for the advanced education table. <laughs> what would you like to increase your skills in? Let's do personal development. 1d6. Was that you? A three. Nice. I think it was me. Increase your, it was in, me. Increase your endurance by one. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I will survive. Yes, I'm you will. Alive. I need you now, if you do not mind, to roll 2d6. Okay. Eight. Yeah. My Is that friend, good? Yes. You, in this first term, are embroiled in some sort of legal trouble. Oh, yeah, appropriate. Mm-hmm. Is gain, it my parents? Are they suing me? Well, you can tell me. You are going to gain one of the following. You choose. Advocate at level one, admin at level one, diplomat at level one, or investigate at level one. Um... They might be writing a part of the. Uh, they might be writing uh, Harlock. No. You might be losing your inheritance. Is what I'm trying to tell you. I don't know. It's up to you. I might be losing my what? Inheritance. Inheritance. That's that's what I think it is. I think my parents are like, nope. We told you not to do that. We told you to do this. We tried to keep you safe. And if you're not going to play by our rules, you're not playing by any rules. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not playing by any rules. Um, so what's and. All of this is obviously said very politely. Well, like, you before know, you decide, tea. you might have to decide which of those skills you take, and then you need to roll a 2D, 2D, okay. 2D6. Okay. I think I'm going to take a diplomat. At one? At one. Okay. Yeah. Roll 2D6. Don't roll a two. Okay. 2D6. Mm-hmm. Don't roll a two. Mm-hmm. So like we'll this? do. Okay. Exactly like that. <laughs> You don't go to jail. So tell me, uh, what what is this event? Uh huh. Good news. Because then it would have been you would have lost that career path, and you've gone into the prisoner career path. As a matter of fact, is what would happen. Oh, to my parents are so kind. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, they they were definitely because they were trying to take away my my inheritance. They were mm-hmm. like, we're gonna do this. But um, I assume that the way that our society works is that like unless you can prove that your child has done mm-hmm. something, you can't just write them out of your will. Um, Do you pull one of the fellow characters into this with you? 
Um, I am kind of thinking about it, Greg, just because like ride or die. Greg has had two already, so you can't pick him. Oh, never mind then. Greg's I don't had two. I don't think that I I don't think it makes sense for the other folks though. Cause Harlock isn't from the culture and is a drifter. You never heard he, he doesn't even know what he is right now. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't I don't think that I have I don't think I've got one of our, our peeps with me. I think it's just me Fair. being like, listen, mom and dad, I get it. You're upset. Life's rough. I'm gonna not live by any rules and that's hard. Uh, that does happen sometimes. My camera's it going does. back in a second. Um could you roll if you'd like to advance uh, intelligence? You want a six plus. Uh, uh Jer notes that Harlock's mind skills could be useful in a court case. That's true, but how would uh well okay 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 is there is is hard I mean, skills up for hire at this point? At, you tell me how you met. Oh, you got four years. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Could yeah, be. I mean, uh, Harlock's already interacted with uh our budding doctor, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. I imagine would be around the same area? Mm -hmm. Question yep. mark. Yep. I kind of like that actually. If you're up for that, that could be how we meet. Is I'm like trying to figure out how to negotiate with this this with my parents in a very like out of court way as much mm. as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. And so with my merchant skills, I like sort of reach out and I'm like, Hey guys, who knows a person? And then we sit down and have a conversation mm -hmm. and I'm like, I, I can't help, but I know somebody my parents mind mm -hmm. like a little bit, just read it a little bit. Oh yeah. Greg, I bet <laughs> we have the conversation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I dig it. <laughs> that sort of implies okay, cool, that cool, you're cool. doing some kind of, uh, you're kind of doing some, Psionic work for hire, Harlock. Just just a little freelancing on the side, That's you know. Interesting. You gotta keep that hustle up. What skills do you both get out of this? Mm, let's see. And I can't stack, right? Or can yes, I you stack? Can. This is I stackable. Can. All this is like a plus one. Oh, I really feel like I'm stacking my diplomat skill then because that's what it's all. Oh, what or do I stack deception? Or do you stack deception? Yeah, I can stack one, right? So mm -hmm. it would either I think the the ones that make sense are either we'll get a new deception or diplomat. One. Or like an entirely new skill is also I'm feeling a little deception myself. Do it. I mean, maybe we had to do something sneaky to uh get the inside Ooh. info on uh the Ooh. legal documents. True, true. Because I'm not trying to go above board on this. I'm trying to solve it outside of the legal system. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, oh wait, if you're going deception though, I might go stealth. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, I'm into it. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, in which case, I, I present as your uh, your lawyer that you oh. <laughs> you're like them you, occupied you, while uh, <laughs> you might just sneak into your parents' place, but also open their just, drawers and see what you find. No, just yeah, just go on. You know where everything is. <laughs> Um, and also like, oh, no, they're coming back. Don't, not, not yet. Go hurry. Yeah. Um, a little heist. Um, roll intelligence. You did a six plus to advance in your career. Do I, so I just clicked the intelligence thing. Mm -hmm. I assume that that allows me to roll. Does it already count the modifier I have on there right no, now? Or do I need add to a, add that add in? Add another plus one because you get a plus one to all of these rolls. Oh, you, okay. Because you graduated with honors. Oh, right? because of, well, okay. you didn't graduate with honors, but because of your graduation, successful graduation, you get a plus one for all roles to get promotions. Ooh, okay. I mean, in, I like in this. this. In this, I'm not going to argue with this. Okay. Um, so, you advance. You are now Yay. a rank one merchant marine. Uh, pardon me, free trader. Uh, and as a rank one free trader, please get a plus one to your persuade. Oh, lovely. Oh, I don't have persuade yet. Does that yeah. mean I get persuade? You have persuade at one. Excellent. And you can roll again on your skill table, whichever skill table you like. Uh, you know, personal development, service skills, advanced education, or uh, free trader. Oh, um, let's... Let's roll it on personal development. Okay, 1d6. Language goes up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seems appropriate. 
Mm-hmm. My friends, this is where we're going to take our break. You've all finished one full term of service. Somebody has been kicked out of two careers in a row. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. But I, and I feel please. like your Great. villain arc is happening. Uh, oh, it is. I, I already, ha- I, I'm very excited to show you my ally. I'm so excited for where this is going to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited about this. We're going to take a 10 minute break. I want everybody to drink some water. And when we come back, we're going to, I'm going to ask them if they want a second term. If you take it, you're going to reduce your luck by one permanently. For reduce every, your what by permanently? Your luck? luck. Who needs that? I like my Greg. luck. It's, been, it's, it's up to you all. You, if you, every, I do actually. Every, <laughs> every extra term, you reduce that luck score by one. So it's up to you. You have to make this just trade off. You know. That's all. We're, gonna go to, we're gonna go to break. Uh, we will be back, everybody. Uh, before we go to break, I should just say, y'all are awesome. Thank you for being here. Um, and we have uh, at the end, I'm gonna read out all of our messages that we got in for tips and bits. Uh, but take a break. Get some water, jelly beans, cookies, uh, psionic, psychic powers, and uh, we're going to be right back in 10. We're in back. We are back. We're back. Um, We're in back. We're back. I'm going to ask them a question. Each one, I'm going to ask one question. You've all completed one term and one pre-education. Greg, does your doctor, Val, want a second term as a physician? I believe so. There's more yet to steal. (laughs) Uh, Please increase your age. This puts you at now 20, 30. You're at 30. I still love it. Okay. In which case, you may choose what you would like to roll on, uh, what how you would like to advance yourself as a physician. Let's do, yeah, let's do physician again, please. All right. Please roll. 1d6. Okay, 1d6. Four. Four. Um, medic. Again. I get another... Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're a medic your again? Medic right My medic is either three or four right now. So I am either there or capped. Yes. Because um, I know you got it at least. I know you got it three times at least, right? One for the thing and right. then you rolled twice on it. So that's at least three. If you didn't get anywhere else, then you're at three. Well, zero, right. one, two. So you, two, right? Because you start at zero, then you get another one. Then another yeah, but I got it again. Yeah, so I, it's either three or four at this point. I so I think it's three. Yeah. Um, let me ask you a question. That's awesome. Could you make a roll for me? Education. <laughs> of for course. Me. That's awesome. This is, by the way, your survival roll. Oh, this is the one I'm not real happy about. Okay. You don't. Nine. Nothing bad happens to you. Nothing bad happens to you. Could you uh, roll your event? 2d6. And this is 2d6. Mm-hmm. No it. bonuses. Eight. You have another opportunity to cheat. You have a lot Son of opportunities of to cheat. What's up with that? What, what What are you doing that you have all these opportunities to cheat? I'm a shitty doctor, so I need to cheat. That's that's why I have opportunities I to do so. Um, or I'm, I mean, I, I, I don't have a whole lot of all the right people. Um, do you want to, cheat? but now I have to roll an eight plus in deception. That is correct. Which or I admin. have now or admin. I don't have that, but I do have deception now. Mm-hmm. I learned from my last mm-hmm. and I'm definitely going to do it. Are you going to do it? I'm definitely going to roll. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okie dokie. Please roll. Did it do it? Did you just do it? I don't think it. That two oh, wait, six. That's asked me for. A, that's you, right? Wait, no, no. It asked me for a modifier. I haven't done it yet. Okay. Nine. Nine. Would you like to pull in someone else into this situation? I will note that Myth is uh, a person who might be super. Swinging cheap. free. 
Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. If, if I'm cheating in the uh, medical industry, I need to have mm-hmm. somebody that knows a little bit more about the, uh, the chemical side of everything mm-hmm. that I'm going to be. Um... So my friend, this shit's where we meet. Yeah. Okay. Um, before you say what happens, let me tell you what you get out of this. Please write this down. Sure. You're going to get a plus two. Both of us. Um, to a benefit roll when you muster out. Nice. You also may increase any skill you want by one level as part of this cheating. Any skill that you have, you may increase it by one level. You're a shitty doctor. I'm a shitty chemist. I'm actually going to be a pretty damn good doctor. That's true. Yeah, Mm -hmm. that's true. (laughs) Uh, What skill are you going to be increasing, by the way? Um... I'm going to leave the, put a little asterisk beside this. I'm going to take my medic to four unless it's already there. If it's already there, then I'll yeah, put I it in deception, it just I, so you know. Yeah, I, I don't think it is, is either. Um, and so I'm, I'm going to max it out. You Using like backwater enemy. drugs. Oh, there you go. Your family. And I want to know now, what happened? How does our good friend over here tie into this? And what two skills do you take as a bonus? I get two skills. You get a skill, and he gets a skill, because you pulled in together. And it's the same skill? Mm-hmm. Well, no, any skill you want. Oh. Um, although Greg has already done two, so he doesn't get a second bonus. But he, you put, but you can pull in Myth. So Myth will get a bonus for this one, but you can't get a, another bonus. I got you. Yeah. yeah. And grab Medic. Would you like to grab I'll Medic? i working with a doctor. Yeah. I could. You could. Um, I need as to know what, what happens. visual did. Yeah, yeah, what the event was. Because when I'm reading these options, things like stealing people's work, using really strange devices, odd, unethical research on people. I mean, I don't know. What did you do? I would say that somebody figured out or, 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 or figured out a, a chemical compound, a, a um, pill, mm-hmm. medicine, whatever it would happen to be, to, ha- to help with something that occurs too much, you know, inflammation or yeah. infection, an antibiotic, a streamlined method Bones. that would save the hospital money. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, right. The, some way to kind of like circumvent right. a lot of the problems, the base problems that the hospital would have. And one of the the interns as part of their, they just came out of university and they've mm. been working on this all their lives mm. and they figured it out now mm. that they have access to all of the hospitals, mm. the, you know, the staff and the, and the resources. And as soon as I saw it, I said, that is great. And mm. then I planted drugs on them and got them kicked out of the hospital and took their work. <laughs> because fuck them was that me <laughs> no not you oh, i was like did you just fuck me out of college because that would be sweet <laughs> no 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 i need to right. okay yeah, yeah you're, you're making an enemy them. do better <clears throat> you're making an enemy got it got it, got it. Uh, so you got you you you, you, pr- you provided the drugs so he could go and plant them on this person uh <laughs> and then help me refine because I didn't yeah. understand yeah. the the yeah. actual medicine yeah. that this yeah. other doctor you know had come does, up with at all. You know, yeah, <clears throat> right. I yeah. needed I needed you, you needed this background you know the puzzle to... piece, but you didn't know how to make the puzzle piece. Mm. Right, and right. Myth had to give me the stuff so I could memorize it and spew it back to the board of directors, so they would think I'm awesome. Oh, so good, which I of course this. I am. Who is your enemy? that really is not happy with you, that wants- It would have to be the kid that I just screwed over. I'm gonna just note that. Make sure all of this is your character sheet so I can bring them back later. Oh, absolutely. Enemy, dad, and- uh, Yeah. And this Young doctor. Who's, you know, got kicked out of school. Just racking up enemies over here. Uh Uh-huh. Would you like to be promoted or tried? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, please, yeah. Roll education. Just totally have your character too. Oh, this is actually working out for me. I'm gonna push my luck because I'm a gambler. Uh, <laughs> oh, hey, you made it. What I get? You. I mean, I just want to make sure I get this actually sort of clear. You steal some young interns' work, frame them for being on drugs, get them kicked mm-hmm. out of their of their like um, occupation occupation. Mm-hmm. Right. And you get promoted for it. Well, I mean, you make it sound terrible when you spell no, it out I'm like just, that. I'm just but clarifying. Let, let's not forget it was this student's then you... life's work. Yeah, right. so I'm so life's sorry. Work. Her life's work. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and since this is my drugs, story. And then using those drugs. Yeah. Right. Now, look, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, 
I'm going to make a little change to this because it makes me sound really bad. And I can create this character the way I want to. So in this little no, circumstance, <laughs> this young doctor was a huge asshole. Sure. Let's just put it, put it out there. Okay, yeah. Didn't care you. about their patients, uh, talk down uh, to their absolutely. peers, you know, just a huge pain in the dick. And like I just really wanted to get awful. rid of him and I figured it out. Yeah. I really <laughs> love the fact that this person that you've created Literary. as an enemy <laughs> is a really terrible person. I'm really right. Excited. They're awful, and yeah. and they're they're highly skilled in hand to hand combat. Yeah. I mean, what? <laughs> We're playing Blades in the Stars, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's awesome. I love it. Um, because Pirates of the Night, Blades in the Stars, Blades in the Stars. Because you got promoted, you get to roll on this table again. Uh, personal development, service skills, and uh, physician. Okay, I better not do physician again because if I get medic, it's not going to work. So let's do uh, personal development. Please do. Uh, is that just a, 1D6. is that 2d6? 1d6. Uh, I, yeah, I think I'm going to get your intelligence by one. Nice. I'm going to grab medic, I think, from that yeah, event. Yeah, I think that's good. And um, you are promoted. Also, you are now, uh, if you do not have... Uh, For science. Yes. Um, your medic is increased. Uh, so you are maxed out at four. That is, you have it. Is, oh, it, my medic was going to increase anyway from doing this? Um, well, it turned could out I, because Could I put that other one in deception then? Uh, absolutely. Oh, okay. Well, then I, I, I wouldn't have been able to predict yeah. that then. Okay. Oh, thank you, Myth. So mm -hmm. um, we're going to note that about you just for that record. Um, and you rolled high enough that you don't get kicked out. 30-year-old. Awesome. Um, let's head on over, why don't we, to Fox. Yeah. Yes. You know, would you like to take? Yes. Okay. Please note, Greg, <laughs> reduce your luck skill score by one. And Fox, gladly reduce yes. your luck skill by one. Luck characteristic, pardon me, by one. <clears throat> done. Done and done. Please, which table would you like to roll on? Because that's what you do when you're in this profession. I'm so excited. To ask yeah. That Let's go with, hang on, I'm in the psionics area. Mm -hmm. um, let's go with social. Uh, it's a um, personal or, development, service skills. Service skills. Go ahead. The yes one. Yes, please. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Eleven. Uh, just one D6. Well, let me redo that then. Just one. Because that clearly was not just one. Three. Uh, not as great. Your telekinesis by one. But I'll take it. Now I need, Yay. Now I need you to roll endurance. Roll six or higher. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> and that's a two, right? Um. 2d6 six or and that's it's uh, it's actually endurance so you roll your endurance if, and if you get a if you have a bonus on that mm. you'll get the bonus or penalty um what i need to get a six. Ten. you don't die that's good um Whew. i live to telekinesis another day roll 2d6 for your event uh five so we know that you have left causing enemies who you're going to tell me about your characters. You're going to tell me all about your enemy later. I know. Mm -hmm. um, and you're doing some kind of sketchy things for people. Well, you know, money's money. Sure. Um, interestingly enough, you have the chance to use your powers unethically to better your oh, standing. Fantastic. Would you like to do this? If you accept this opportunity, roll your psi power. You need to roll um, eight plus. If you succeed, mm -hmm. you get an extra benefit roll or a plus one to your uh, society. If you lose, you, if you fail, you lose one society. Let's see. They have pretty good society. Let's give it a spin. Um, so let me be very clear. So you're going to use your powers unethically to better yourself. I mean, listen, I, I have to work my way toward privateering like that doesn't just happen overnight that's fair that's fair um <laughs> please uh roll uh your uh your psionics you need to I roll love to have a mod in that uh nine okay would you like an extra benefit roll or a plus one to your society 
Uh, let's do a plus one to my society. I feel like I can use that in the direction that I'm going. Excellent. Do you pull anyone else into this? The one person who can still be pulled in and get a benefit from it would be um, our street chemist. Drifter oh, yes. Clone. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, let's say, mm -hmm. because oh. our our friend here is, in fact, a clone, but and what a if... And a baron. And a baron, but what if, like, what if we could just run a little scam where, you know, kind of like he was saying, make people think he's the actual guy mm. and get mm. some things, mm. maybe some valuable things, mm. maybe some things that some people need. Mm. 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 So would you, uh, let me ask you, Myth, would you be okay with pretending to be uh, the baron, uh, the actual baron, you know, with the actual title? Would you be okay pretending to be the not the clone, but the the actual person for like a I don't scam? think so. I don't think he would. Mm. Ah. Mm. What's mm. the predicament? So, like, if if you could be convinced to pretend, I don't think he would to pretend to be, to be the to, original, I don't think you. Yeah. Right. Uh, you, you don't know, at this point in his life. I don't think so. You know, you could you could get in to some places like some baronial places, get some info, which you know, could help our good dear friend here. Hold on, let me think. What if, what if the dear friend, that's me, had, oh, could you. provide information mm -hmm. about that blank space in your life? Mm. Could be some answers. Oh there. my. Maybe this event would answer some of those questions. Yes. And, you know, maybe uh, someone else could get something out of it, too. That's also me. It's a really good convincing thing. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You need me to pretend I'm the Baron. Mm -hmm. Just for a little bit, like, you know, a couple hours. Mm -hmm. Why? What was your, what was the, what's happening for you that you need me to do this for? I am using my powers for not the powers of good but what would that you do want? something nice for me. <laughs> right. What would you want? I think. Why would you need the Baron? I think the Baron would be able to get into somewhere that Harlock needs to get something out of. Can you be Bear. like the plus one? Yeah. Uh... Like a party perhaps or some kind of like event. I mean, it you could be, need to get to a party. Yeah, it could be something need, where I need information to. You got to have get close to somebody important yeah. so you can read their mind yeah. and the to ferry Baron. that information back to uh, my my yeah. bosses, my yeah. supervisors. I didn't realize that the traveler creation system turned us all awful, but yeah. I'm You're loving it. <laughs> you could have said no. Uh -huh. I will never do anything unethical with my. That's power. true. We're also like in the context of being pirates, right, so yeah, like ah, it. we're kind of going into this because yeah, yeah. if we mm -hmm. went into this being like we're going to be great heroes of space, then we'll have, we would have probably played differently. Um, right. Yeah. Which we're is still chaos. great. Uh -huh. uh, I feel um, like, let so... me ask a question. Is this group that you need to get intel on the, somebody, important people in the Third Imperium or in the Aslan Hierate? Because of the two Ooh. big threatening empires. Third right Imperium. Between. The Imperium? There you go. Yeah. Because it would be, I think that would well, that gives be me easier. Notes about... Well, it would be about easier prime. also, like the Baron would be more You're... likely to be there. I feel like your prime was from the Imperium. His Imperium. Yep. Yeah, that has to be. Yep. Sweet. Why you were hidden over there in dry Is that a ice. contact? Or is that, what is that? It's not anything. It's just notes for me. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm just going to write prime here in our little You notes. might want to tell uh, Fox what Harlock read in your empty blank space. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. should. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But don't tell us. I want to yeah. know. Uh -huh. I want to yeah. find that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so my prime is is a Baron mm -hmm. the from Imperium. the Imperium. This is Absolutely. really good because we already have the Imperium with us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Imperium. The to the Imperium. Uh, could you roll? Would you like I know. To, would you like to sort of be promoted, uh, Fox? I would. I would love to be promoted. Uh, Promotion uh, is my favorite. Oh, and what, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Myth, what skill did you get? Oh, from that? Mm-hmm. 
because you get a skill for that, and everybody's now maxed can out. I, can skills. I bump something? Yeah, anything you want. I'm going to see if anything I would get from schmoozing at a party that I don't already have. Any skill you want, because who knows what you got in there, or also things that you learned, right? For example, maybe in that in that flashback, oh you learned something. Oh my gosh, that... in the flashback mm -hmm. that you... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there are all sorts of skills, and you don't have to say it out loud if you don't want to. You know. Like, maybe you don't want people to know that in uh -huh. the flashback, you actually uh -huh. were really good at ceramics. I, I don't, like, I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I don't want people to know that. You know. Brilliant, though, at ceramics. <laughs> little origami, little origami cranes. Oh. I'm going to pick up tactics. <laughs> Interesting. I like it. Uh -huh. I like it. Um, For everyone to go. Huh, huh, why? Yeah. Um, and I'm going to then send this to you, Rocket, yep. and then you can thank enjoy you, you. The, the spicy meta. It, Rocket, could you please roll endurance? You need a six plus. I can. Okay. Um, that excited. would be 13. Okay. So <clears throat> you are now rank two. You are a knight. You gain leadership one. You're a Jedi knight. Yay! You have leadership one, and you may roll on your table uh, to advance something else. Uh, personal development, service skills, Psy Warrior, or advanced education. Um, hmm. Let's go back into Psy Warrior. Please do. 1d6. This is so cool. I'm so excited that uh, yeah, our a two. security is going to be a Psy Warrior. Awareness goes up one. Yeah. So dope. I love being aware. Mm -hmm. um, Ari, you're next. Would you like to take another tour, another term? If so, lower your luck by one. It's up to you. Uh, I, I do. I do want to do that. Please I've do. got a, a solid amount of luck, so I'm, I'm good you do, with but that. You do have a good amount of luck. I do, um, yeah. You may roll to increase one of your skills based on that table. What would you like? Um, Let's do the, eesh, I keep tapping my thing. Let's do, um, you have all the three top and then of course your free trader open to you. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna do the free trader roll on that one. Please do 1d6. Four. Ooh, mechanic. Ha yeah. ha ha ha. Up your mechanic. Nice, nice. Thank you. I so, can fix things. Would you roll, if you don't mind, dexterity six plus to survive? Oh, okay. We have to know if you survive. And I don't have any modifiers? Uh, nope. Just what you have on your decks. Here we go, guys. Oh, I did not know. Ah, uh, that's bad. So, yeah. let's recap for a moment. Yeah. You're a noble. Yeah. You decide you want to have a job, which involves yeah. you running around in space, which your parents do not approve of. Yeah. You have some, re some really tight people um, who may be a little bit questionable. Um, and mm -hmm. your parents do not approve of that, but you go become yeah. a traitor anyway. They try to ruin you legally, and you get some kind of psychic help in order to, yeah, you know, circumvent it was very that. Rude. But then, in your second term, you're now 30, by the way, something happens. Could you roll 1d6? I can, but I don't want to. I gotta be real with you. Hmm. So, clearly you were doing trading not in this area. Where have yeah. you traveled to do your trading? Which sector of space? Were you an Imperium? Were you an Asenheit? Were you, uh, you had traveled somewhere distant to do this trading and you were doing quite well. Where was this place? Uh, Asenheim. Mm. So maybe perhaps yeah. like on the edges of Aslan area, right? Uh, yeah. You know what happened? A sudden war breaks out oh. and it destroys all of your trade routes and all of your contacts. 
and you are forced to flee that region of space. How entirely inappropriate. Do you, but you have a choice. Would you like to gain uh, gun, co- gun combat or pilot? Um, let's gain pilot. All right. You can no longer be a free trader. <laughs> you have been... Stormbender, it's the second term plus their pre their pre term education. So this is technically their third, really. Um, so yes. you're kicked out. You you have to flee, and I hate to tell you this. It sounds to me like yeah. you have to come back home. Oh God! To where your parents are. They are not going to be happy with this. Back in Drynax. Isn't that fun? You know, you really did try to. Um, show them you know yeah i i wanted to be my own person yeah but turns out uh you have to go back home in embarrassment that's awful i wonder what kind of desperate things you might do with that one um just i'm just curious um you know since you've mustered out and you did two Mm. terms you can roll for Uh benefits i can or can't you can oh what am I rolling? Um, you have a choice. Uh, would you like Would you like cash or benefits? Mm. You have two rolls, and you can take cash a total of twice. I think your entire time period. Oh, okay. I'm trying to scroll up to where the benefits were. Uh, that is. I don't remember what they were. Uh, uh, I just moved past merchant. The worst. Uh, it's right on the same page as merchant. It's a. Uh, Oh, there we go. Mm-hmm. I got it. Three rolls if she got a person. Thank you. Three. So you can do a max of cash three times, uh, but you have two that you can make in this moment. And, and you I can, can choose either between take... either cash or benefits. I'm gonna take. Uh... And you have one of it. You can do one of each. I can do one of each. Yeah, or you know, can do whatever yeah. you want. Yeah, let's do one of each. Which one let's first? Split the odds. Let's do cash first. Uh, now, I remember, if I remember correctly, you have a bonus to your mustering out roll. Is that not correct? Yes. Do you have a one well, do you have one bonus or do you have two bonuses? No, I think, oh, I wrote down I have a, a bonus on advancement checks, actually. Right, but I think you also got one for your mustering out, for your benefits. I feel like you got a oh, plus Oh, okay. One. Other people got some plus ones. Uh, I mean, I'm going to take your word for it. I don't remember that piece. So, But I like it. But which would you like to use it on? You can only use it on one of those rolls. I would like to use it on the the benefits roll versus the cash roll. Perfect. Greg has like a plus two I know coming at him. Uh, Please, roll 1d6 for cash. Cool, 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 cool. Aha! I I take it I... 1,000 credits you get. Oh. Which is not a lot for a trader, which means that you you were destroyed. Like, everything was destroyed from you. That's I mean, I... I, uh... It's it's been a tough go, mm. you know. Uh, yeah. Roll for your benefits with a plus one. I'm just gonna note a thousand credits is crappy for a merchant. That was like bad for you. Like, I, I, how bad was this? Oof, so terrible. I mean, I I imagine I'm I'm walking back home right. practically with the shirt yeah. with the vac suit on my back. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what I've got. Yeah. 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 That's embarrassing. But you've got friends. I didn't... Trooper, I don't know if I'm allowed to do this, Please. but my character would never let her go back home in that situation so uh-huh. i mean if they come off the yeah. the shuttle the transport or whatever doc valentine's waiting nice and Aww. that's that that's that's there's no way there yeah. i mean i'm not i don't know if i'm allowed to do that but I, absolutely that's what my intention is so buddies forever yeah absolutely um i love that so I do too. Uh, with a two I didn't add my modifier onto there because I didn't Three. S- do the dice with the advanced. Yeah. yeah, but still, not Three. great. Your education goes up one. Oh, thank God. So you're going to be it. hanging out there not with your parents. I got it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now, myth. Yeah. Would you like to take a third term? Yes. Reduce your left by one. Okay. What career would you like? There are many. That's options. a great question. Mm-hmm. You went to Merchant Academy. They kicked you out. 
for selling drugs and also spiraling. Uh You became a merchant anyway. You got kicked out because you lost time. You don't know what happened. All of a sudden, you woke up and you no, were I was a drifter. Else. Yeah, I didn't, oh, I didn't, I, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I wandered. Yeah, you wandered. Um, so I'm thinking I want to go merchant anyway. Mm. What does it give me? Mm. Now I'm looking at a meta, mm -hmm. a meta standpoint. Mm -hmm. Now let's mm -hmm. see here. But there's also more. Mm hmm. I mean, I'm just looking at these things, and so you you got drummed out of Merchant Academy. Uh -huh. You became a drifter, and something really bad happened. I mean, I don't know. Did you, you become really bad? You mean like real bad? Something really bad happened. I don't. You know, I don't. Yeah. Uh, you I know, know what it is now. Thank did you. you. Did you become a thief, a pirate, an enforcer? Did you become a a, a field researcher, a courier? What do you do? What do I do? Like you, like a number, I have to just say, it's how very convenient the number of people had their lives so upended, you know. Mm. I can get you a job at the hospital. Can you? In this moment. I think I want to go free trader. It's a merchant. One, because it's what I know. Mm -hmm. At least he's trying to prove it to himself that's what he mm -hmm. knows. But also, I think I need to move. Okay. I need to be a little bit more mobile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where yeah. is everybody right now? What's everyone doing in their in their in their skilly skills in their, in their termy term? Yeah, so I can figure out. Uh Recap, everybody, who's not our very questionable person who got kicked out of... Actually, all of y'all are <laughs> questionable, really, to be honest. Yeah. But go on. <laughs> um, yeah, Harlock. You've got some... Harlock is our Psy warrior, right? Yep. Who's got quite a number of psionic skills. It's talents, true. Pardon me. Um, mm. And some combat, yes? Yes. As per skills, oh, combat-wise, I have so gun combat. Not worried about skills. Where are you right now? You are taking your war. You're you're doing your last term was a. You're doing warrior again. You're doing psi psi stuff again. Yeah. Okay. So that is what I had done. Again, and you're still as this. You're still doing the psi agent thing. Mm -hmm. I graduated and we know, next and we level. Know each yes. Other. Yeah, and we know yes. each other. Because there okay. was a. You all did a heist together. Yep, we did a thing. Um, that heist was me schmoozing and you sucking. Th Being neat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and then me being like, that was it. Um, and uh, Ari, what's your turn right now? Um, I am focused on like language and piloting as my two major skill sets. And then I've got like um, a couple of things related to ships. So No, no, I... your term, your term, not your skill. Oh, my term? I'm on term yeah, two. Just narratively. I just out. Yeah. Okay, so, and what were you? Merchant. I was a merchant. Merchant. Who lost um, everything in a war. Yeah, I was a free trader merchant, and I just lost everything. Now I'm in so with my good that's, buddy. That's really cool. Yes, all right. So that's good to know because that may be something. And Greg, you just you're go, you're moving on up in the I'm, in the hospital. I'm the chief of staff of the hospital. I <laughs> recreationally do drugs. I mean, it's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> great. There's no problems here. Okay. There's no We're problem. literally moving in like yeah. opposite trajectories, and we have been for the entirety of this character creation. Yeah, right? it's great. It's so good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go. I'm thinking to go free trader because one, I may be able to tie in with Ari. Uh, you need um, to roll a four plus. Uh, well, you need to roll a four plus on. Uh, don't tease me. Intelligence, but you get a minus one for having a previous career. Yep. I have to make an intelligence roll. That's it. Four plus. Intellect. Intellect. Pardon me. 2d6 this is a and this is a straight 2d6 because i have a plus one already mm -hmm. four you just made it 
You just, oh, of course I did. You just yeah. made it. Of Congratulations, dude. Thank you. Thank you. I, I just... Uh, um, yeah, that is true. Yeah. If you look at that free trader um, spot, I'd love to. The, the, this free trader list of skills, you can pick one of them to gain. Und skill? Mm-hmm. From the tree, free trader, just as coming into the new skill. Back suit. Need back suit. Uh huh. I'm gonna do that. Back suit. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Not bad. Okay. Now. Welcome to living. <laughs> Thank you. You need to. Mm -hmm. roll. Thank you. Welcome to off planet survival. <laughs> you are currently a rank zero. Everybody note your highest rank. Rank zero free trader. Uh, Thank you. you. Finally. Could, if you could roll two d six. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I, I just lied to you. Uh, if you could roll dex six plus, you need to get a six plus on a dex. I have a lot of windows open. That's a two. No. So. No what? I'm just curious. You do not survive. Some of y'all would have been killed, by the way by the way, if we're doing old school. Um, mm -hmm. Roll 1d6. You are kicked out of being a free trader. You try to be a free trader. You try. I didn't even make it? No, you're in, and you work, in those four years, you're working as a free trader. Perfect, but, uh, but now I'm not. Yeah. Please roll 1d6. <gasps> okay. You roll a two. That's a critical fail. Oh, God. I love your character right now. Me too. I'm rolling one. Five. Huh. Hmm. So, this seems interesting with your backstory. Oh, it good. seems like you were doing very well trading. As always. It seems like you it was working. Like this thing that you always wanted, right? It was happening. Uh-huh. And then, for some reason, a bunch of imperial trade restrictions just showed up and forced you out of business. So the Imperium, for some reason, Baron, decided to restrict you so hard that you could not trade anymore and you lost everything. If you like, you can take the rogue career next term without even having to roll to qualify. That's so nice of you. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Going to just note it. I'm trying to think of the narrative reason of why that happened. Well, so I feel like there's some, there's some things. Yeah. Going on. Yeah. And well, I mean, you also keep company with them. Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, some people, Harlock or Jodani, and they're like big enemies. I don't know what you're doing. What are you doing? Who are you hanging out with? Also, who are you hanging out with? Who am, who who am are you I hanging out hanging with? Hanging out with. Also, the Imperium's like, no, not you. They're, they're like, the Imperium is massive, huge, and they just decide to like destroy you. And I imagine you're probably doing yeah. training in the Imperium spaces right now, that area. I didn't lose any social, did I? Nope. You just lost your career. I lost my career. And I'm going to say, I'm I bet it felt petty. Still a baron. What was that? I bet it felt petty. I bet there was somebody out oh, there yeah. who was like, no. Do you have an enemy? But I'm. St I do now. Um. So I'm still a baron. Mm -hmm. But. But your career's been destroyed. Someone. My career has been destroyed multiple times. Mm -hmm. Mo that's weird. Multiple times your career's been destroyed. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, would you like cash? One term. Would you like cash or benefits? 
I could muster out and then become a rogue next round. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to muster out because you're kind have of to destroyed by the right. But it's but it's which one? All right, so yeah. But I could but I could do I could still become a rogue. Um, do I want benefits or do I want money? I grabbed money last time. They ruined, I want benefits. They ruined your career through regulations. They just forced you out, and it was yeah. Then I'm not taking any. Then I'm not taking any money for that. Hmm. Benefits then. Roll one d six. If it was successful, then I would have taken money because I'm a businessman, but it didn't work. All right, so I'm rolling a d6. And this could be a life event, right? I could die here no, this too? Is, this is benefits. You're getting benefits. Oh, benefits. That's what I said. Yeah. You don't get the life event because... You know, <laughs> uh, Just kill me. You got All right, great. Uh, increase your intelligence by one. Ding dong. Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. Mm -hmm. so okay. I... That was everybody, right? It was everybody. Everybody has finished their third term. I want to ask Greg, because Greg has to pick up his son. Do you finish here? Do you take another turn? I do. You, you, you muster out? I saw what happened to everybody else, and I am uh, gun shy. So you're going okay. your to keep your luck where it is? <laughs> I'm going to push away from the table. Well, you have one All more right. thing to do. You can't push away just sure. yet. Uh -huh. you, have, you get to roll two times on the benefits table yes twice cash or benefits um i do have a plus two to benefits because of my mm -hmm. previous thing so i would like to i am I, I mean go figure um i would like to roll for cash first mm -hmm. and do the benefits second if that's yes. how we do that and what would you have to plus two on uh the I think I'm going to go with benefits. All right. Cash first, 1d6. Oh, 5,000. I love it when PCs are super poor because that means when NPCs are like, would you like oh, to become yeah. a privateer? Your answer is going to be yes. Um, yeah. No, it's so good because it gives us reason mm -hmm. to we can only do the things we have to do. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 1d6 plus two. Hey. Right. I'm, this is, we have to make an. You're going to have to make an asterisk here. What you have rolled is one of the rare things, which is that you get a lab ship, but you don't. Uh, oh, okay. For this campaign, you do not get a lab ship. What we're going to get is going to be very, very important. A Labrador. No. The ship you're going to I get, love it. the Harrier, is 200 years old and not in great repair. Every single time you get a ship or ship shares, you're going to be able to improve that ship and make it better. So you can basically level up the ship that you're going to be getting in. Cash uh, in your ship shares. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to be able to level up your ship and make it better, and that is going to be very, very nice because let's say there were some problems with that ship. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Um, nice. Mm -hmm. There are three minutes, and I'm going to say one thing because I'm going to ask everybody else that question. Let me just do a quick ask. Uh, Ari, another term, yes or no? I mean, you've just got, you just lost your career. So excited for this game. Does that um, end it for you, do, or do you keep pushing? Um... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it turns into a gamble at this <laughs> point. That's the gamble giggle where you go, <laughs> I want to play. I wanna definitely the gamble uh -huh, giggle. Okay, uh -huh. here's the deal uh, evens, I keep going, odds, I stop. You need a new career. Odds, you stop. You out. Okay. Wow. Fox, do you do another tour or do you quit? We're going to do one more. One more? Hold on to it. I have a it. question. Hold on to it. Little question. Tiny little tiny question. Myth? We were both freelancers yeah. then, free merchants then, uh, Ari and I. Yep. Did we, do we know each other? Did oh. we work for one another? Well, you already helped her with that heist. No, you, Ari. You and, you and Fox, right? No, I wasn't. With Ari. Oh, with Ari. You're talking about Ari. We don't... But I do think it makes sense for us to have like worked together, yeah, yeah. Prospects, at least, at least. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like sat down, had a conversation mm -hmm. at some point, mm -hmm. maybe talked about having each other's mm -hmm. backs, and then yeah, and I the got next thing up. you hear, you they're like, wait a minute, Severance is he was cut out, he's been blacklisted from all this stuff. Yeah, and then, and then, then right there. after that, it was like war, yeah. so long life, and I was like, yeah. Uh, Okay, What's cool. up, so, Val? Yeah. 
Yeah, we, we shared we sh- we sh- we shared a drink one time, and we're like, hey, well, yeah, here's my card if you ever need help, blah blah blah. And you're like, yeah, same with you. And then you fell into a war, and then mm-hmm. I got um, I got Weird. banned from the union. Weird. The free the free merchants union because Weird. that's yeah. a thing apparently when it's an independent mm-hmm. thing. All right, cool. All right, cool. Uh, I was excited. Myth, another tour, yes or no? Yes, I'm going rogue. Okay, you two, hold that. We need Greg's going to go. So let me yep. ask you this one question. Um. There is a package that you all have access to as a team mm. uh, to end this moment, and then I'm going to find out. And the package is we have Traveler Skills Package all around, Trader Skills Package, Investigator Skills Package, Explorer, Mercenary, what page is that? Starship uh, 50, Criminal. Uh, I believe that really should be Criminal Skills Package. <laughs> you all doing? Me too. Yep. So I was going to say Mercenary or Criminal, but... <laughs> You got a criminal. There are one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight skills. Yeah. I would like Traveler, each of you for to take diplomat. two. And I'm going to ask Greg first. Greg? Grabbing criminal. Is that what we're doing, everyone? Mm-hmm. Because you're all going to be a bunch of, I mean, have you met you all? Uh, the skills are have broker, deception, ever. electronics, medic, persuade, pilot, stealth, and streetwise. Those are the skills that are for free to you all. You each get to have <laughs> Which two. we all have so many of. <laughs> Unless you want yeah. um, the Starship skills package, because pirates. Do they, do they stack? true. These will stack. Unless it, it says stack. one it next It says to one, it. so technically oh, it so doesn't. No. So if you'd like Starship, that would work. Diplomat, clearly not. Um yeah. We get two, you though, mean? you say. You get two of each. Like, you get, you basically, there are eight skills, and you get to pick, each person gets two of those eight. So we, oh, we, boy. You, you oh, 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 okay. out, right? I do feel strongly about the starship skills. Yes, because I that'll, do too. that'll, that'll give us starship stuff. And yes. we're already criminals. I yeah. have yeah. A got that part. Starship. Yeah, we got that part on lock. Um, and we can't, yeah, we can't benefit more from having the skill pack, the, the criminal skill pack. Yeah. I mean, fair. I have a bunch of starship stuff. I don't know if I can actually oh, right. pick up literally any of these. You no, have, I can oh. get tactics. You, you you could get tactics and medic, Able right? Tactics, yeah. And medic. Oh yeah, I could get medic. Yeah. Okay, so I can pick up two skills, so I'm good. Yeah. All right. So I work. Okay. So, uh, Ari, you're gonna take uh, medic and tactics naval. How do I differentiate that it's naval? Uh, on your character sheet, there's a slot, I think, for your uh, specialization. All right, I still have to figure uh, out what okay. profession is. Sweet chemist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, Greg. Uh, what there. were the other ones that were available to uh, that? So there's astrogation, electronics, engineer, gunner, mechanic, pilot. Those are the ones that are left. Um, I think... Somebody else already has. Ari, do you have a bunch of pilot already? I have a bunch of pilot. I have like two levels of pilot. I'll take pilot just as a backup mm-hmm. and engineer. Unless somebody else wants that. I'll try to, I'm trying to spread things around. So to help out a bit. So if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. What do you take engineer and what pilot? Yeah. Unless somebody else wants any of those. Cause I don't think gunner really fits for him or. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, I was I was thinking uh, gunner engineer, but I mean, you you can have them if you. I'll take the uh, the navigation one then. The what is it called? The astro. I'll take astrogation and pilot. That make uh-huh. maybe more sense. Astrogation pilot over there. Uh, Fox, you're thinking gunner and an engineer. Gunner engineer, which means myth electronics and medic. And uh, I think medic was taken, right? Okay. So I think you're electronics and mechanic. Right. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. All right. Thank that you. That is the group skill package. Um, now, for the record, we have two more terms to go, but this is... I'm right, such a nerd. That's it. I love it. Um, I will be giving you things. Greg, I know you've got a, a son to pick up. If you might, could you give us your outro? 
Hey everybody, my name is Greg, Grimjack21502. You can't find me anywhere except on Discord. Uh, but if you go into uh, our wonderful Travelers uh, Discord channel and Academic Foxhole, I will be there to answer any questions that you have. Can't wait to see everybody next week and play these wonderful characters. They seem bad, but I think they have hearts of gold. Maybe they don't, or but it doesn't matter. They're pirates, so it's going to be fun. Uh, you might have stolen them. I'm going to tell you what, though. This is. Uh, right. I'm just going to. We'll just trade them. I'm going to. Yeah. Already I'm just going to hop in on the Zoom call so I have an extra camera com, camera box uh, right here. Let me just join. Yeah, I can also pop in. Oh, too, if, if you, you need yeah, it. that's great. Um, so you, my friend, uh, we will see you, uh, and I've got your name up there, which means I'm going to be able to like the really epic title sequence. Um, Fantastic. You are currently, uh, I believe you are probably on the, f the Floating Palace, as I assume. Mm -hmm. He probably made it. Yep, you, you made it there to the Floating Palace. Do we know Do we know each other when we start? Do we know yet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, because you all have connections with each other at this point. Okay. I think each one of you has a connection to each other in different ways. Uh, I mean, you cool. got him drugs so that he could go and frame somebody and get them kicked out. Right, right, right. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm just like, are we, are, we don't need to, we don't need to, uh, I, never, I was wondering if we were going to, uh, be meeting at a tavern and being like, oh, what are you doing? Or we are going to be like, you're all ready together. Here's your ship. You've, you've already, you've, you've all have, your lives have all been intertwined multiple times in various ways. Yeah. Um, and there's going to be a call from the king. Okay. The king yeah. So we haven't assembled yet. We probably will next. Uh, next week, you will assemble um, when you'll be called to the kings, to the throne room. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Yep. Uh, Next week, you're going to get your letter. Like, we're going to start, like, big grand trumpets. Uh, letters of Mark, you've all have been, going to have been invited. A, a summons from the king himself to make an offer. It's going to be piracy. I mean, spoilers. It's going to be piracy. Spoilers. <laughs> we, we, we thought, at the beginning of the episode, we're like, privateer is different. No. Mm -hmm. no, no. It's, no, these these are definitely pirates. <laughs> Friends. It's not. Not technically piracy because you have a letter of Mark saying you're allowed to do it. Right. Yeah, we are going to milk the crap out of that. Uh, all right, bye, Greg. Get out of here. <laughs> go, go, go. Friends, I love you all. Academic you. Foxhole community, I love you all. See you next Friday for some piratey fun. Oh, uh -huh. See you later. <sighs> my friends, if you'll pop in your... Yes, that'd be lovely. Here it comes. Yes. Perfect. So nice. Now let me just Perfect. swap you all to where you need to be, uh, which means we have uh, we have some terms to deal with, to finish this out. Uh, chords where you need to be, R is where you need to be, they are there. Um, right now, Rocket is Greg, and that's no good. Let me just- Isn't it though? I mean, I have a lot of mind powers. I could be anyone. Perfect. Per <laughs> mm, you have to look at those mind powers, they're very good. So, my friends, let's start with, um, I, wanna, I wanna do myth last because your, 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 your story is making me like, feel full of excitement uh so <laughs> like in a, in a you know i was gonna go with anxious but no i was gonna go with like excitement in a bad way like in a good way mm -hmm. for me you know as a uh -huh. gm uh, i'm excited mm, um fox yes if you would please reduce your luck by one done 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 and done in which case roll on that table uh, what would you like to roll on which one um, let's go with. You are now 34. And still younger than I actually am. Um, uh, let's go save the last doom for myth. And by the way, heterotic, I love the little, <laughs> doom, the little doom counters. If you ever played the Arkham Horror card game, there's a little bag. Uh, you start, reach your hand mm -hmm. and pull out a little token. Mm -hmm. and It might be doom. That's, that's, that's what it's been this entire time is me reaching into the bag going, God damn it. But I want to point out, oftentimes it's other people screwing you over. I'm just going to note that, you know, True. the Empyrean mm. pirate. Uh, let me roll on the the psionic specific. Uh, Psy warrior or service skills? Psy warrior. Psy warrior. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm so excited. That's a one d. Yep, one d six. A one, a nice round one. Telepathy increases. Hey. And you're max at four, I believe. Yeah, I'm not there yet. <laughs> right. um, so tell me, please, if you would, endurance six plus on two d six. Here we go. Here we go. This, of course, is your survival roll? Yeah. To I find know. out if you die. 
by the way, some of y'all would have died. Just noting it. That just mm -hmm. I would have been dead. Would would I be in? Would I have yeah, been yeah. dead? That I feel like, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I would have died. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, seven. 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 You survive. You, you, you don't die. You don't die. <laughs> uh, but that said, roll 2d6 for your event. Which you Five. Ari's character is a clone, and I'm a clone. Five? Eight? Absolutely. Five. I'm actually Terra. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah. I, I'm a, I, the, you rolled this the second time, and I'm worried about you. Again, oh. Oh. you can continue to use your powers. For the forces of evil. For the forces of evil. Oh. Would you like to? What do I have to roll for that again? Your psionics you at eight work. plus. At oh, eight Kentucky. plus. Mm -hmm. uh. How unethical are you going to people's minds? And I want to know what kind of unethical thing you do that helps you out. Benefits hey. you. You know what? I'm going to pass on it this time. Really? Tell me I've about been... that. Uh, well, from Rocket the player, uh, this term I've been rolling very low. So, <laughs> uh, but from, I think from uh, Harlock. So going into this next phase of life, I think um, starting to wrap some things up with the workspace. So pretty busy. Mm -hmm. Um, like going on a lot of missions, yeah. all the stuff. So there's not really time <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you know, outside of you, the work hours. If they catch you in the Imperium, they'll probably kill you. Well, you know. Just noting. I'd like to stay far away from there mm. for the most part, so sometimes. Or yeah. wear a hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hanging out here in the Trojan Reaches, your independent space. It's cool, cool. Just peeking in, looking in the window. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you have in there? Hmm. Does anyone... Uh, Counsel you against using your powers for ill of this group here? Hmm. You know what? I think that Ari would. Because mm -hmm. we've Terica. we we got up into some stuff before. Um, but I think since it's the next term, yo, they've been through some some pretty devastating things. Mm -hmm. Um, and just being like, you know what? Play, play it safe for a little while. There's some civil unrest going on. Mm. There's a lot of stuff happening. Uh, just lay low, mm. lay low. Mm. Don't lose everything like I did. <laughs> That's exactly, exactly what I would have said. Okay. All right, then. In which case, if you would like, you may roll to see if you uh, get promoted, uh, which, you know, uh, is a endurance six plus. Um... Nine. You are indeed promoted. If hey. I remember correctly, this now makes you rank three. Three? Yes. Is that correct? That is correct. That is correct. You may roll on that table again because you got promoted. Whichever one you want. Personal development, <gasps> service oh. skills, advanced education, or Psy Warrior. This would happen to you get promoted. Yeah. What happens when you roll every time you want to do something? Uh, Psy Warrior again. But I do want I like to know those... that there are people who hate you for leaving. Psy, psy abilities. Oh, I'm I'm sure people are, are everyone around me is hating me more and more as, as time goes on. And I relish it. That means I'm important. Mm. Uh, <laughs> 1d6. Uh, one. Telepathy. Hey. I feel like that maxes you out on telepathy, yes? That, ma that maxes wow. me out. <laughs> and you spend a lot of time reading people's minds unethically, right? I'm I'm sorry, just just reading people's minds. What do you? It's cool. I mean, yeah. ethically, <laughs> unethically. Who really decides these rules? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The Imperium. Um, would you? I don't. I don't, I'm not under them. So. And you rolled a you rolled a, a nine. Would you like to muster out? Yes. Okay. Yes, I would. Don't want to push your luck. No, I don't. All right, you did three turns. <laughs> three rolls for benefits. Okay. And uh, yeah. mustering out is 2D or 1D? Uh, 1D. And if you have any bonuses to your mustering out? I don't. No no, no bonuses to benefits. Not no, that. Your bonuses to your no. psionics. Yeah. Um, so you can combination of cash or benefits. 
And if it's going to be spicy. Let's go with spicy. I like spicy. Cash is always great, too. I mean, you know. Yeah, but but I like spicy, too. (laughs) Yep, I agree. I think that's a good choice. Also, none of us have cash. So, like, yeah, it would be weird if I came in with cash. If you came, well, I do have cash. Excuse me. But, hang on, hang on. Hang on, I may have had some issues, yeah. but I do have some cash. I got the back, yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with benefits, though. 1d6. 1, 2, 3 benefits, uh, 4. 4. Interesting. You have gotten a membership to the Traveler's Aid Society. Oh. That membership I don't know what that is. <laughs> that membership is quite exclusive. Not everyone can be a member of the Traveler's Aid Society. Um, oh. They have lounges uh, in various spaceports that you get to go and be at. You can get pay to win. It's a lot of it's a lot of aiding. Like there's and also you can get like free passage, uh, like nice passes on a ship, like every mm. year I think. And you can trade really it in for money if you're not going to use it. Um, so you get okay. like nice tickets. You have access to contacts at starports. Places to stay at starports. It's like AAA or American. It's like yeah, it's like AAA, right? It's like a space where, um, uh, and especially for you who's a little bit questionable, let's say, <laughs> it might be nice to have places in various starports you can stay. And it's a very expensive membership, and you get it. Stay, be hidden, you know, mm-hmm. these mm-hmm. sorts of things. It's very nice. It's like you, you know, when you go to the airport, and there's like special lounge, like the Sky Lounge. I have seen those to. special lounges. Yeah. I, I always get those special lounges. I've never been in one. You get to be in the special lounge. <laughs> Yay! In a business class. Yeah, but it's also contacts and uh, money. Um, you have two more rolls. What would you like? All right. Uh, roll number two. That would be a six. But, what benefits? Oh. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm. Combat implant. We'll talk <gasps> about it. Whoa! <laughs> you are dope. Nice. You're gonna be a weapon. You're just a psychic weapon. Yeah. I'm the robot. I was the yes, robot all along. The whole time. Ba, 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 ba. Wow. Then. Oh, you've made me the happiest girl. Combat implant, my friend. You've been spying and doing things uh, for the Zodani for a while, but now you're not. Now you're not. We should wonder why you're not. Uh, we have some questions about that. Very worried about uh, that. Very worried about her knowing things. Yeah. Um, love it. Um, you have one more roll. Cash or benefits? Yes. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. Cash, last roll. Cash or benefits? Cash. No, okay. benefits. Yes. Okay. Benefits. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> I like the surprises. Uh, three. Um, you have a contact. You get to have a contact. You get to decide who that person is. Maybe it's a contact okay. in the Imperium as as, as, as I'm hiring. Somebody. Some contact that'll be really useful for you. I'm I'm gonna say somebody in the Imperium because I feel like that's the thing I would need. Mm-hmm. Write it down. Write it down. <clears throat> Myth. Huh? You have one more term, if I remember correctly. I do. As a rogue, and you don't even have to roll to a qualify. rouge. That's right. As a rouge. Why? Because of what happened to you. Sketchy mm-hmm. things. So um, you have life happened to me. The Imperium has, has it out for you, for some reason. Oh, Rogue is not even a drifter; it's its own thing. Baron, it is. You have a choice: thief, enforcer, or pirate. I thought it was a drifter this whole time. Okay, um, wow. We so now you're gonna be a rogue. You went yeah. from merchant school to drifter to being a merchant, and then I mean, merchant school kicked out, drifter kicked out well merchant school kicked out because you were selling drugs and you completely spiraled because it turns out you were a clone uh and you had dependencies and it was bad then you became a drifter and then you just lost months of your life and you woke up and not that anymore then you became a, a, a free trader and the imperium decided to shut you down hard and you lost that career and so now what happens to you And just, I'm going to just read the descriptions of these three types just so you can know them. Yeah, 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 please. Yeah, and for, it's for the audience. Yeah, for the audience. Thief, you steal from the rich and give to the, well, yourself, actually. Is, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> enforcer, uh, you are a leg breaker, thug, or assassin for a criminal group. Or pirate, you are a space-going corsair. Shoot, dog. 
Those are all really good. Mm -hmm. I was about to be like, nah, Enforcer, and then I went, wait a minute. Um, I think I'm going to go... I think I'm really liking this, what we have here, where our... Yep, I'm going to go Thief. Thief, not Pirate. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Um, as Thief, you can choose one of those skills from the Thief skill list and add it. Add or bump it. That's Stealth, Electronics, Recon, Streetwise, Deception, or Athletics. I have Stealth already. So you can bump. It's a, you can also bump up. Which I will be bumping. Okay. In which case, please roll Intelligence and you just 6 plus. Or I die. Yeah. This is your survival <laughs> roll. This is your survival roll. <laughs> Six plus. Press the button. Did I do it? You did. All right. You good. were not successful in any of your other careers, but this one you are. This seems to be I mean, it. Appropriate. Roll two d six for your event. Okie dokie. I'm in the wrong screen again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a five. One of your crimes pay off. And you get a plus two to one of your benefit rolls, which will be this one you're coming up. But you also gain your victim as an enemy. What was the crime, and who is this new enemy? Mm, I came from Free Merchant. Mm -hmm, and then you got screwed over. Baron. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be someone in the Imperium. I think it's going to be someone in the Imperium. Now I will note um, that uh, Terica had their entire career ruined by War of the Asin Hirate on the other side of this. Like, you guys are right in the middle of these two big empires. Yeah. So it could be either one of those, really. And I had my life ruined by the Imperium. Yeah. And their life was ruined by the uh, pirate. And you're just stuck right in between y'all. This group is going to start next week, stuck uh, in between these two places. I think I wanted, I was going to do a heist. Yeah, I think I was going to do a heist using the, bar the Baron's identity. Yeah. Because it worked before, mm -hmm. um, oh. and trying to maybe get my mm -hmm. standing back. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. So you can, yeah. Mm -hmm. I bet they and... impounded your ship. Like you had a ship, and they impounded it. You yeah, I mean? yeah. And then, yeah, and then I went to go get it back. And then it, they were like, no. And they just saw right through it. Yeah, but you did get something out of it. They didn't see right through it. They were just like, um, sorry, you, it says here, Baron Severance, was it? Uh, we don't have the documents or whatever. Uh, okay, great, awful. But I did get something out of it, which was an enemy. But also, you're going to get a benefit later. So, um. Right, true. Oh, we'll, right, sorry. We'll okay, think about okay, that. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we'll see what that is. Who's your but enemy? Whatever this heist is, yeah, but I did get an enemy, right? Mm -hmm. The victim is an enemy? Mm-hmm. Yikes. So I, what if I just said the Imperium? It could it be. It can't be that broad, right? Somebody, there's a person out there. There's a big person. I will. I wonder think if of it. it's like the same person who's been fucking with your life. Pardon, messing <laughs> with your life this yeah. long. Can I? Can I put out a thought? You may. Could your enemy be like an Imperial naval officer? You know. Yes. Who like. But the police. That's what I was thinking. Yep. Space police. I did send you something in Discord too. Ooh, I don't you? know if that oh, I did not see you. gives you an yeah, idea. Because that might be important. Just let me know. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So it's so go on go on, Trooper. I think I think I think she's on the same yes. path here. Okay, good. Uh, so whatever you were saying, Imperial officer. I was going to say like an Imperial naval officer, and they're the ones who like you know patrol the space to catch people. Mm -hmm. 
you know, you could give me more, but that's, I was, I was thinking about that. And they're on, like they're chasing, they're onto you. They want to get you. They want to arrest you. They don't like you. Hmm. Well, I also can think of some relatives who might be unhappy with you. I can think of, I mean, I can think of a lot of people who could be unhappy with you. There are a lot of people that would be unhappy with me, mm-hmm. but I don't know if it's your been ex-wife. as. Or your current wife. Yep. 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 Of that the crime, it. you know? Yep. That, that, that trumps it. Mm-hmm. And she's a naval officer. Imperial. Influence. No wonder I was I was banned. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It yeah. all makes so much more sense now. Yeah. We'll talk more about that. Yes. Um, would you like to see if you could be promoted? Didn't I did I make it that far? Yeah. You did not get kicked out of the uh Oh, I thought I got kicked out of being a road. You a did rouge. not. You okay, were successful. Cool. You got an enemy out of it, but you were successful. If you I were... get promoted and muster out, I get a benefit. Yes, well, more you're gonna of my benefits, benefits, but you're going to get more stuff. If I get promoted. Even if you don't, but if you get promoted, you get another skill. Yeah, let's do it. Um, I know where I know this is my calling. It is. Intelligence. He said. Six plus is what you need. Is that an eight? That's an eight. It is an oh. eight. So, my friend, you are now rank one thief. Uh, you can bump your stealth. And you get to roll on that table again. Uh, which one you'd like? Uh, thief? Well, actually, you've not rolled yet. Thief, personal development, service skills, or uh, advanced I'm bumping education myself if your education because is of the. I'm bumping myself because of this term now, not because it's, of... It's, okay. it's part of your bonus for being promoted, actually. Oh! It's a certain level wow. of your promotion, you get a bonus. That's really cute, because that means I'm at a stealth plus two. And what table would you what? like to roll on? You get an immediate table roll. Which you would not have gotten had you not been promoted. On which one? On the same, right? You either get it person development, and... service skills, advanced education if your education is yeah. 10, or thief. I think stick with what you know. We're going thief. Wait a second. Let's take a look at personal development. Yeah, that one has bonuses to skills. That one's got like some cute melee, stuff too. Damn. Let's do personal development. Okay. 1d6. He's good at being bad. That's right. That's right, I am. Mm-hmm. Four. Gambler. Gambler. <laughs> we all know what y'all do. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. So, my and friend. And that's how we all met. And that's how I met your mother. This is your last term. You go out on top, right? Out of mm-hmm. this career. Mm-hmm. Not being, picked, being kicked out, but going out yourself. Roll. For your benefits, would you like cash? Yes. No. Or benefits. Wait. Would my character want to shit ton of money? Mm, yes, but I, the player, want motivation to okay. play, Hold which on. will be zero monies. Oh, so yes. You could also benefits. spend that money on all this gear. I'll just note. Nah. <laughs> okay. No, thank you. Okay. Uh, I believe a plus two. Is that right? To this. Uh... Yeah, sure. I I I, I believe you. To what? What am I rolling? Me? I feel like you just did. Yes, you did. Because because of your of your heist. Because that heist you did, you get a plus two. Yes. Yeah. 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 I have a plus two to whatever this roll is. It a d six? That is correct. Three. Three. Plus one to your intelligence. Wow. E. We've got a lot of very very smart people here. I am bright. Okay. Okay. That. I don't have any other ones, do I? I just nope. have that one. So it's just two. that one you okay. mustered out with each career. Oh, right. <laughs> all right, great. So, wow. This is the end of our character creation. I know you all have a couple of um, things to do. Like, uh, if, what if, if you have any cash at all, grab some gear. We'll talk about that combat uh, implant. I'll give you your ship. Uh, next week, we will be at the Floating Palace, probably in a bar gambling. All of you all, because you all know. <laughs> that makes sense, the most sense. And you'll be called to the king, who has uh, an opportunity for you. 
And we're going to find out who these people, how they're going to make up all the things they've lost, all the things that might come to them. So I would like our crew to give, uh, to give our outros. Ari, if you would, I would love for you to go to first to say who you are, where we can find you next, uh, and uh, tell us something about right before the campaign starts. Where is Terika? Not like physically, but mentally. You know what I mean? Uh, like, where are you at? Um, hi, I'm Ari. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Ari underscore adventures. And um, also at mymindfuladventure.com. I think Terika's brain, though, is in this space of like, what do I do next? Um, so much of life has just kind of been turned upside down and they've seen things that they didn't really expect to see at all in their lifetime. Right. They knew that shit could be hard, pardon my yeah. French, but they didn't recognize what war was. Yeah. So there's a lot of, um, where do I go from here? A lot of dodging people who know their parents and, um, it's because very that small whole palace very small and there's a lot of people um to that extent they actually like dyed their hair recently Ooh. and like that's one of the ways that they're avoiding um being spotted so it's very much in a like I don't know what I'm doing I don't know where I'm living I gotta figure something out but I don't know what that is yet mm -hmm. okay I'm, I'm down with that next Myth, cord. Hi, uh, wow. So Severance, Baron Severance. Are you insist on that title? I like it. Oh yeah. <laughs> haven't haven't even budged from social twelve. Um, Baron Severance is. It's it's hard. I've got to think about like everything. Mm -hmm. Um his last heist you succeeded. Was a success. Mm -hmm. It's just that I feel like but I gained an enemy. The prime's wife has you're on her radar. Right. She's like, I don't think you are my husband, actually. I'm going to talk to right. you. And maybe you're like, oh, I don't, I don't and know. I, and I'm like, well, I'm, I'm close. Um, so the... I think there is, of course, also that same sort of feeling of what's next. But I think more of a there's something I feel like the, the, the theme with with um, Baron Severance is he's always been wanting to be a businessman he's always wanted to be a free trader um, and I think the seed of the character being at the beginning is like he wants to always leave the world with something you know he wants to accrue money or wealth or value or something um because he's a clone um so or at least now he knows he's a clone because we figured that out in the middle of this yeah um so i think he it's not much of a what's next it's where is the next paycheck um where and whose paycheck am i going to grab mm -hmm. because it seems like mm -hmm. he hasn't been very good at earning it um and i think whether or not he may or may not believe in fate or luck um though he wants to believe in luck but i think his intelligence tells him otherwise um he still pushes for 
there's still that part of him that sees a lot of other people as suckers yeah. much like a uh, um uh, there's a sucker born every minute i feel like that's sort of what's going on here with him is he's now starting to understand that with his intelligence it's not the fact that like yes everybody around him is less intelligent than he is but also now he's like oh hold on that means that i can just outsmart them yeah and now that's what's starting to and he's who am i going to outsmart next mm -hmm. not necessarily uh who am i going to lie to next like greg's character um which was who started his career lying and now has become a really good doctor i think um and maybe maybe that's it maybe in meeting greg's character that dr valentine um severance is like oh he's doing it i'm trying too hard let me try to begin my lies but here in this like before the campaign starts yeah i think he's just trying to figure out where the next I don't actually even know that's true because like going into what I know we're going to be called up by by um by and I'm sorry I'm taking forever with this um we're gonna be called by the king I just have a lot of things I've got to sift through um I think that he may still want to prove himself as a businessman mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that could be still throwing his political weight around being a baron Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you might um, and maybe that's why he was called on by the king because the king's like oh you're a baron who has criminal history and he's like yeah i can, I can do whatever mm -hmm. i have to also think about that heist i think that heist is what probably or whatever that job was that i did that needs to be big enough that got the king's attention mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um yes and you get a total rank of what was your total highest rank one one uh so you get one extra muster and ari terica's highest rank was two one extra muster but fox i believe your highest rank was three yeah two extra dope. musters gonna just note it uh, so you get to have them mm -hmm. okay um, also, where can we find you? You didn't say. You didn't say. You can find me. Uh, you can find me on my channel, uh, twitch.tv slash mythomatic, uh, partnered streamer who also works with tail table story. Uh, and I do, uh, spell wind over on Wednesdays at 4 PM there. If you'd like to, if you want to check out a homebrew world that I have created, uh, you could also check me out on Twitter. There's a whole bunch of links there as well, uh, and see what I'm up to and when I'm up to stuff. I do a lot of stuff. Um, it is uh, overwhelming sometimes. I'm going to try to get back out into the forge and start doing more blacksmithing stuff. I recently, today, picked up a drill press uh, and a whole bunch of new tools and things. So very excited to get back out into the garage and to bring you all with me and stream from there. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, I love talking role play. I love talking character development. I love talking RP theory and acting and story theory and telling stories and inspiring others. So if any of those things sound cool to you, follow me on the things um like i said there's a link tree on my twitter that's it i love you all thank you that's it thank you thank you yeah. <clears throat> all right make that 1d6 roll for your muster uh, also you too uh myth and let me know if it's cash or benefits uh rocket where is harlock at and where can we find you where are you where, where can we find you benefits baby um yeah i think uh well first off where harlock is <laughs> Harlock has just cut out from a pretty, pretty fairly full um, psionic career, going here, hither, thither, getting lots of, uh, reading lots of minds and things like that. Um, and I think there's, it's kind of like, I say this from what I've heard because I have not retired, but from what I understand, uh, when you do, Initially, a lot of times you think, hey, I'm going to have all this time to do whatever I want. But then you have a lot of time and you're like, oh, no, what do I do with all of this time? So I think um, Harlock starts going through some of that, like, 
oh, this is so much less exciting than what I was doing before. Um, and so starts to go over to the, uh, this, this little, perhaps slightly neutral zone just to, mm -hmm. you know, maybe keep uh, eyes on the Imperium a little bit because, mm -hmm. you know, there's a contact in there. Maybe, uh, maybe there's some trouble to get into. So I, I think a lot of it's um, listlessness, wandering around in boredom. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And where can we find you? Yes. Well, in the immediate, you can find me this Sunday at uh, 11 Central. Work that out in your own time uh, over on Cybernation Uncensored, where I'm going to be playing some, some chill Minecraft. Uh, come over and hang out with me or I will find you. Okay. Um, yeah. And other than that, uh, yeah. Instagram, if you look up Rocket Fox anywhere, I'll be there. Um, so for the record... Um... Please note this down. Jerica, Terica, pardon me, gets plus one to their education. Myth, Severance, the Baron, gets four ship shares, Ooh. which you will be able to use to help repair that ship that you have that you'll be getting up pretty soon. Um, and Fox? Our upgraded ship. Yes, the upgrade that ship. Can I get two rolls for me? Would you like benefits or cash? Uh, so for the first one, I went benefits. I rolled a two. Mm -hmm. You're at a whole nother page, though. That's right. You know how it is. Uh, get a whole nother page for you. It's, <laughs> it's just one of those things. We're like. Um, I have a question about that in a second. Please, absolutely. Um, you get. Uh, you said cash. Or uh, for the first one is benefits. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finally Did you say go. Cash. That you rolled two, a two. Uh, yes. Two for ship benefits. shares. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then for the last one, I'm gonna do. I I hadn't thought about it before, but I thought I need to buy equipment. <laughs> Catch some cash. Uh, five. Uh, eight thousand credits. Yay. Okay, Myth, you had a question. Yes. When do we when do we test for psychic ability? Um, if you want to test for psychic ability, now there's like there's often a um, a uh, what do you call? I don't it? know if it was at the end or if there's it a, was there's when a we life path be. event that'll do it. So like usually okay. somebody will like okay, so okay. somebody will come across you and be like, hey, let me test. Yeah, you. stick your hand in this box. Yeah. Okay. But I will let you all roll to see okay. if you want. It's normally if you get tested, but you all know somebody who is psychic. I'll right, because maybe she tested me. I'll let all of you roll for it. However, you have done how many career paths? Yeah, this would still count as a this. So like this no, would no, probably this count is, towards this is to the... test your strength. But you've done three. Is that right? Three total. Yeah, Plus yeah. I did three terms. Three career. Yeah, I did three terms. Yep. Four. So roll two d six minus four. Ah, that's how that works. Mm-hmm. Two. Uh, you rolled a two. That is your psionic strength. Perfect. Um, and you had the same, so you're at a zero. So Ari, you have. You have. Wait, did you do? Uh, did you do four total or three? No, you, uh, did, you have a one. You have a psionic strength of one. Okay. Because <laughs> you didn't do the, because it was Fox and Myth who did the extra one. Uh, yeah. And we can get Craig to roll as well to see how he's uh, feeling. Those are very low numbers, which means you have very low, low psionic yeah. strength. Just sort of. Um, totally makes sense. Noting it, right? Uh, that you have it, like you have these very, very low levels, which means you have a lot of, um, like y'all are looking at like minus two, minus three on your rolls, which will make it hard for you to get those things. But we'll see if you have some. You know, run it about. But that said, that's me, right? So that's us. Remind Greg. Greg gets to. Greg gets to get yes. two two extra rolls because he's he. Although he didn't get promoted, I think he only got promoted once, right? I believe that is the case. Uh, 
I don't I know. I, I think there was only one promotion. We're going to have to check the box. Yeah, I think, yeah. He, I think he only got promoted once because he failed that other promotion role. Uh, because, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he gets one extra. Yeah, it was the one, the one lie that yeah. he couldn't tell. Yeah, just one extra. So um, I am Trooper SJP. But before I tell you anything about me, uh, I want to read out our, our tips and bits because that's something very special. And we have been yeah. get, we have gotten messages, and I want to read them out. And uh, everyone who is who is not y'all, not me, if you want, you can go. I can cover it. Uh, but I'm going to read the messages that they gave to us, and maybe they might be for you, so maybe you care. But, you know, just I'm read hanging. them. I'm hanging. Um, so, I care so bad. I, I'm sorry. I I totally booked myself no. back to back, and I have to make another commitment that starts do in it. one minute. No, do it. I do it, do it, do it. apologize. Go. Bye. I Go. love you guys so Bye. much. I'm Bye. so sorry. No, no, no. You're good. No Bye. All right. Can't wait to see you. Can't wait to play with you we'll next, see you next week. week. Bye. Um, all right. Now, you two, get out of here. Mm -hmm. All of you get out of here. Okay. I'm just going to go to a big screen for me. And I'll read out. All the right. Messages. Yeah, you're right. We're ruining it out. Now we're here and we're ruining it. All right. Bye, everyone. See you later. See ya. Let me get us. Let me get myself right up here. And then I'm going to read our messages and I'm going to say goodbye to everybody, which I'm very excited. Wait, this about. one's leaving. Okay. You okay, know, I'm leaving. That's this it. has been great. Bye. Everyone else is you and me. It's just here. Like they can't even see you now. It's just me. Um, Hey everybody. Uh, I've got it. <laughs> I've got the power. Uh, and that's me. So, uh, I'm going to read out these messages because I want to say thank you for everyone who gave tips and bits uh, for being here. Uh, that is much appreciated. And I want to say what, what messages you gave us. And then I'm going to give you like a, a little teaser. So, um, Rissa donated 400 bits and said, good luck cast with Trooper. You'll need it. Hey, that was like their, their choice, right? Uh, and thank you, her uh, Heterotic, for that. It was a uh, marathon session zero but we got them through and now it's just going to be all smooth sailing. Oh, but maybe, maybe not smooth sailing, maybe difficult sailing. Uh, I also want to thank, we've got some subs here. I want to thank, thank Prince Justin for the 100 bits. Also Galfork for the 100 bits. Uh, I want to thank, there was no messages though. Oh, if there were message, I'd read them. Uh, we've got tips from draft here. No message. That's all right. Uh, $26 there. Uh, we have, and I'll tell you all something as, as well, some more gifts. Thank you for all the gift subs. Um, and then we have gifted, followed, uh, gifted. Thank you for all those subs, by the way, everyone. Uh, Volpez cheered, uh, said for all of the crew. And then we have a Voltiel cheered, uh, 1,000 bits, saying, ah, I love this game already. Big hearts. Uh, and then Rissa cheered 100 bits saying, oh, this has been a terrific introduction to this new cast. Cannot wait for next week. Me neither. And Willem donated 100 bits and said, thanks for all the awesome session of a uh, session in character world building. Uh, thank you. Hawkeye cheered one bits and said, this is going to be a wild ride. Cannot wait. Me neither. Um, like a lot. Scabinac donated 100 bits and said, I'm excited for this game. Me too. And then we got 500 bits from Rissa. And I want to let you all know, for all of you who are here, um, I pay the cast $50 an episode, which, look, they need it. Uh, it's like 10 bucks an hour, you know what I mean? Uh, they they deserve it. Uh, and so all the tips and bits and the Patreon we have, which is at uh, Academic Foxhole, goes to pay for the cast. Uh, art, all that sort of good stuff. If there's anything left over, I will get paid. But it goes to the cast first because they're the ones who, uh, you know, are, are amazing. And so all of this goes to help for that. Uh, we have a Patreon at Academic Foxhole where you can go and uh, support that way. And we have a special tier with for with only four slots, and those are our sponsors. And those slots are, oh, this is the beginning of the month, so exciting. Uh, those slots are $200, which will pay for the four players uh, for one week. And if you are a patron, you get once a month a special ad um, aired during the break session. And uh, since we're now doing a new campaign, I get to make perhaps some new ads. We're going we're gonna to see. We'll see. Get to mix them up some old and new, uh, depending on what we've got. And um, and I want to thank, especially, we get the special shout out. I want to thank and get a special spot in our credits. I want to thank our sponsors, Will and TW, uh, who is our bookkeeper. He takes notes, uh, great notes, which then is useful because I can go back and look at them. And I'm hoping for this new campaign, starting off fresh, we can get some kind of cool wiki or something so that we can get like a good recap for everyone in case you miss an episode. Uh, we have got... KY Hawkeye, uh, who is amazing, runs uh, on 
KY Hawkeye's channel, uh, he runs uh, a number of shows, but especially on Wednesdays, he does this uh, Wrestler's Keep, Grappler's Keep, which is this really neat thing where he takes uh, various streamers and the characters they do in RPG in the RPG space and turns them into wrestlers and have them wrestle against each other. And the video game, and, and my particular uh, wrestler, the me, uh, I've just turned heel and I am uh, doing bad things in the world of wrestling, which I, I think is pretty awesome. So thank you for Hawkeye. And then our third sponsor right now, there's only three spots, uh, is a Neo and Amoeba, who I actually played board games with for, for, for a couple of years. Uh, and Neo works in like, driverless cars and is this some like knows like AI and it's like super cool uh, and uh, she is also one of our uh, sponsors and I will say this about a neo she you play she plays a healer she will not heal you that is just how that is <laughs> but she will always go and like tank things for you even as a healer so those are our three sponsors I want to thank them I want to thank all of the tips and bits givers everyone who's sort of been a part of this and I am so excited for this brand new uh, campaign. I also want to thank Drummer Boy. Um, oh, Stormbender, no apologies whatsoever. Uh, Stormbender, I appreciate it very, very much. You know, when you're uh, starting up a brand new campaign, there's all sorts of things to, to sort of keep in your mind. And so I appreciate it very, very much. Um, this, is, this is very welcome to me. And the music, by the way, I just want to let you know, the music is by Drummer Boy. And Drummer Boy is um, an amazing musician and has given us this music. And what I want to say for you all, especially for those of you who run streams, Drummer Boy, you can find Drummer Boy on Spotify and also on Twitter. But also, he did not tell me to tell you this, but I'm telling you this. He's got a, a webpage, streamsounds.store, where he's made sound packs for streamers uh, and like YouTubers and whatnot. So you can go there and pick them up. They're pretty cheap as well. And also... Uh, you will be really excited for the th for the opening credits, which will be uh, next week. Now that I have everybody's names, uh, there will be opening credits, and uh, that is also Drummer Boy's music. And I cannot wait for you to hear it. It's going to be pretty awesome. It is amazing. And uh, so, I feel like um, there was a s title suggestion earlier today because one of the other things I like to do title suggestions, uh, and I believe our. Um, Actually, uh, Jer, I actually did all the I did all the graphics for this one. Uh, I was like, I will do the graphics for this one because I was just like, because you know, if he's got a big time full time job and you know, sort of busy, I'm gonna just fix my nameplate later. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, so I did all the graphics for this one, and um, maybe a little bit too late in the morning, but nonetheless, um, what did I tell you? Right, yeah. So coming up, we're gonna have this amazing cast. Look, here, look, this is what you don't know, right? So this is a. Um, uh, a sandbox campaign. It's a it's a campaign you can get uh, called Pirates of Dranex, but like it's really very open, and they're going to have to figure out how they're going to do this thing, if they're going to do it at all, or, or what they're going to do. And I'm excited to see these players come together and create something pretty amazing. And um, support Drummer Boy, support our players. Um, if you want to support me, you can follow. We've got a Discord, uh, and we're going to open up a, uh, we've got a channel, so you can chat all about Traveler if you want, and our cast sometimes goes and watches it. So you've got thoughts and feedbacks, just dump it in there. Um, I'm not looking at the wrong camera, I'm looking at the right camera, right here, right? Yeah, just right camera. What? Ah, I'm looking at the right camera. I sometimes look over here because that's where the PDF was. I had to look at the PDF to like check it out to make sure I get my my notes because I didn't want to put if I put the PDF over here it would cover up I have three monitors it's it's, it's it is where it is uh, you are oh my gosh you're right you're getting my profile what I'm gonna have to look over here thank you I was looking at you know what it is what it is this is what it is I'm looking here yeah hey how you doing how are you this is what it yeah thanks this, this, this is what it is. It's a nice profile. No, no, we were in the PDF all along. No, I get you. It, it's, it, I know what it is. It's the camera. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, so um, if you like, you can find us. That You can go to the Patreon and support us there, uh, the Academic Foxhole, mostly for the, for the cast, um, or Twitter, YouTube. This will be going up on YouTube as well. Um, I wanted to tell you something. I'm excited for how this is going to go. We're gonna, this is going to be uh, 12 episodes. This will be a 12-episode season one. Uh, and then at the nearing the end of season one, I will ask the cast if they would like to be 
renewed for a second season? And if so, we'll come back with a second season. Maybe, you know, we'll see how it goes. But I am very excited. Stormbender, so Stormbender, if you want to know what it is, what it is is that I have um, two different camera scenes, one for if there is only one person on Zoom and one from my um, my other webcam. And uh, this particular one that I pulled in so I could have something up for when they left was the the webcam one, not the Zoom one. So I, uh, uh, you know, that's what it was. That's what it was. Um, let's see. The PDF needs to be a faction of the game. Uh, yes. So here's what we have to do. And I'm going to chat. Oh, by the way, title for the episode, Gambler's Giggle. That was a suggestion. Let me know if you like it. Um, if you have other thoughts, put it in chat before I leave. But this is what I need to tell you. We need to work out what we're going to do with channel points this time around. Because it's a brand new campaign, which means brand new things for channel points. And uh, I'm going to figure out... So we have support for Gambler's Giggle? Good. The Gambler's Giggle will be our Session Zero. Thank you for being here for the Session Zero. Look, I love... Uh, I love... I really do love Traveler's character creation a lot. Oh, a gaggle of gamblers. Ooh. Mm. Mm-hmm. A few extra luck. Uh, a gaggle of gamblers. A gaggle of gamblers. Hmm. So we're going to come up with some extra credit goals. I've got to figure out what they are, but I feel like, look, there is a lot of stuff happening in this world. They have a lot of things they need to do in, in terms of, like, influencing planets' politics, getting friends, getting ports to like them. There's a lot that they've got going on for them. And so I feel like there are going to be some ways in which we can get some uh, support from Drynax. As long as they keep the the Drynaxian noble, nobility happy with them, I feel like I'll, you can go and skin the, spend some channel points to do something cool. Uh, I'm just going to figure out the best balances once uh, by the time we get to next week, I think so. Uh, oh, channel points for ship shares, ship upgrades? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes. Oh, I see you too, uh, Josh, me, and Art. Mm-hmm. Faction terms. Credits to bribe officials. Yeah. Uh, I feel like getting through a plot episode can help us decide where the channel points could help most. I think that's true. I think what we'll do is we will note that we've got channel points on the table for something interesting. Perhaps some ship shares. We'll think about it. But conceptually, what I want you all to know is that when you donate channel points, you are representing support from Drynax, right? So the nobles are going to, like the, the Drynaxian government, the nobility are going to try to help these privateers as much as they can. And so it will be from Drynax the support that you'll be able to give them. And if they screw over Drynax, then there'll be less support from you. You know, but we'll find something good that will be good for them to help them out some in their, in their journeys. And I am excited for this. And I'm excited, and look, if, if for those of you who are new, have not been, who were not here for City of Light and Shadow, this is a great community. These viewers are amazing. Um, and I want to say thank you to Stormbender for pointing out the, the extra mustering bits. The people here in chat have been, have always been the kindest and the coolest, and they always like throw out cool things to note. Uh, they're like, hey, here's a cool historical fact, or here's a bit of information. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I'm excited for all of your all of your being here in chat and hanging out with us. I'm excited for uh, the things we're doing. I just did a, I'm just doing, by the way, doing the one little, I'm adding luck as a stat, but I, look, every term they do after the first term, they're going to reduce their luck by one permanently because there's, it's the disincentive, right? Because we no longer have death for multiple terms. So we get this. It's our, it's our, it's our balance. And I feel like it's a good one. Uh, and I'm excited for it. So, nothing like chat being the nobles in the Hunger Games. We'll send you a care package if you kiss up enough. Yes, you are nobles in the Hunger Games, and I am excited for it. So, thank you. I'm Trooper SJP, and you can find me here. Uh, today's what? Friday? Tomorrow at noon Eastern on this channel, I will be playing The Outer Worlds. We have not played in a while, and I'm coming back to it. We're going to play it Uh I'm happy. We're going to start the second DLC, Murder on Iridos, and then we can do our end game. And then on Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern over at Praxagora the Smophoria, 
I will be playing Witcher Roads Home, uh, where I play uh, a druid who is really arrogant and condescending. Like, he's just not a very nice person, uh, and he doesn't realize it. It's just, that's the worst part, but he's not a very nice person. Um, and he also doesn't care. So there's that. Uh, and then on Monday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern over at Wandering DM's channel, Wandering DM, you can find me in Montreal by night where I'm playing a Bruja who's very friendly but also will murder people. You know what I mean? Just a little murder. Uh, and that is, I feel like, most of what's going on, I'm pretty sure, is what's happening. Next Thursday, you can find me for uh, Hernias and Hyperthermia, also known as The Long Dark. And um, no, any more travel games? Ooh, Stormbitter, that's a really good question. I don't know any other right now. Oh, you just reminded me, Stormbitter, a thing I wanted to say. Um, I don't know of any right now, but I'm hoping, I hope there'll be more, because I think Traveler's really fun. We actually did, a while ago, I actually have the uh, original Little Black Books of Traveler, old school, and on our Discord, we actually did some character creation for fun, like, ooh, two years ago, two, three years ago. Uh, so please note, that is around. And uh, I'm hoping we can get a little bit more Traveler, and I'm excited for seeing what what may come to be with this crew, because these are great players. Oh, Stormbird, it's, you lo it's one of your favorite games of all time? It's a great game. I actually did a, I ran a, the last time I ran Traveler, it was in GURPS. I did GURPS Traveler Interstellar Wars, and that was really fun. I loved playing the old history at the time when, when the Soleimani are just getting into space, and that was a lot of fun. And I love players who have agency and, like, take the reins and just do stuff. And these players, I don't know why I'm pointing this way. It's because that's, that's where the zoom is. They are going to go and cause some trouble, and I'm, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. So, everyone, thank you. We're not going to raid anyone. But I'm going to go and get some stuff on YouTube, and I want to thank every single one of you for being here and being part of this. And uh, we will be here next week with epic music, a new title, like the title sequence, uh, ads. I, like, And by the way, the sponsor ads, I, I make them, and I always make them like I try to make fun. Like, like, So what I need now is like some kind of like really cool, like, it's the free trader Beowulf. You know, like some kind of cool traveler space thing like space radio oh like maybe like a distress signal from a down ship you know what don't worry about it i'm gonna think about it i'll come up with it and it'll be fun and uh we will see you all next time and next week uh seven to eleven and this will be us and so thank you everybody thank you so much i'm so happy to be running this campaign and i'm so happy that you will all be here and oh let me know one last thing let me know last time I had a special channel in the Discord that was a spoilers channel, but what that meant was it was a channel that the cast couldn't see. <laughs> they couldn't see it. So if you all wanted to speculate or talk about things that the cast, and you don't want the cast to see it, um, but you want me to see it, but you don't want them to see it, just let me know, and I'll make that channel for you so you can all, you know, say things you don't want the cast to hear about, like, oh, there's like a Zidane, you know, plot, or whatever you got going on. We're there, but if you don't mind them seeing it, there's a regular channel for you to put things in there. Oh, everybody says yes. We're going to have a special spoilers chat, which is no cast allowed. And look, here's the reason why we had it last time, because one of the players was secretly undercover for the bad guys, and, you know, the other players could not know about that, so that was the point, point of that channel, so you could talk about the secret reveal that the audience and the player, and I knew that he was actually a turncoat, for like an entire season, but the rest of the cast didn't know, so that was a space for secrets. So, you know, <clears throat> am I expecting to have solo duo episodes or does that not work in this setting? Um, I'm not planning solo duo episodes uh, for this season. We'll just see how it goes and we'll see if something's interesting. That said, we're gonna have two breaks this season. We're gonna have uh, Thanksgiving will be a, a there'll be no traveler on the Thanksgiving and one of those December's near either Christmas or New Year, New Year's will also be a week off, but I might be doing some kind of something else for us as a as joy. So Nobles Court, we're going to have our gambler's giggle. Look, y'all, these people are super piratical, and I love it. So that's it. Take care of yourselves, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Bye, everybody. <laughs>